I'm in the big leagues, Tony don't miss me, ballin' like Houston, hey, feelin' like Whitney, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly, I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all, I think that I'm back in my bag now, so I need that go, y'all, got hits when he throwin' the fastball, just too quick for it, peelin' off like the whip orange, seen the effort, this piss poor, I got too much, I gotta tend to, car payments and the rent due, told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to, too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view, clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new, yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me, ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney, yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly, I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Yeah, told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the raps. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. Dad, kitchen up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big league
just keeps on turning. I can see a searching for an escape. The fire in your heart, it just keeps on burning. Keeps on, it just keeps on burning. Keeps on, it just keeps on burning. Keeps on, it just keeps on burning. Fire in your heart, it just keeps on burning. Got the future on your mind. No hurry, no hurry. Let's take it one day at a time.
I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throw in the fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stepping, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feeling like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the rest. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. Then kitchen up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big lease. Told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I make it. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Peachtree Classic on the PPA Tour, powered by Invited Dave Fleming here, and it is a big day. It's men's and women's doubles day, and on the men's side, the question is, will we get a rematch of the battle at Brigham that saw Riley Newman and Matt Wright win an epic match against the Johns brothers, but there's a lot of other teams in the draw that want that championship Sunday spot, including Tyson McGuffin and Jay Devillier. On the women's side, it's Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright who come in with all the confidence. They won the Grand Slam in Cincinnati last week and they are ready to keep that going. I know a mom and a daughter that want to stop that. That's the waters. We've also got Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith and Catherine Parento and Leah Jansen who want that medal. They want that gold medal and they are going to be fighting for it all day long. We're in Peachtree City. This is the PPA Tour. We'll be right back with all of the action on center court in just a minute. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute GOAT. Nice. Speaking of GOATs, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, get software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. I'm your six, 
ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at footsolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the MacGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club. Not yet, buddy. All right, everybody. Good morning. Dave Fleming here. And what a beautiful day in Peachtree City, just south of Atlanta. And we've got the Johns Brothers on center court ready to play. And as I mentioned in the open, they are going to be looking to avenge their loss in the final at Tournament of Champions when they battled Matt Wright and Riley Newman. But both teams have a lot of work to get there. So we'll see if we even get that rematch. The Johns did win in Cincinnati, so they are on a nice roll. Riley Newman was throwing out the first pitch at a Mariners game, so he was not available to play with Matt Wright, so that's why we haven't had the opportunity for that rematch yet. So just to set the court up for you. We've got Ben and Colin Johns ready to go. Colin Johns wearing the orange. That's Frank Solana ready to serve in the yellow. Let's play pickleball. And Colin Johns off and running with a nice put away. Zero, zero, one. Point. One, zero, one. Oh, Point. and a little back door. Beautiful shot by Colin Johns there. That left side player is often looking in the middle to close it down and good deception from Colin Johns. Same guy. Second serve here to Ben Jones. And just the relentless pressure. You even saw Ben Johns look like he had a ATP, but brought it back into the middle of the court. Frank Solana there returning. Casey K is his partner, who has got that warrior paddle. That would have been fun if that came over, but it does not. And the Johns boys are off and running this morning.
Five, zero, two. Casey K not ready for that attack from Ben Johns. And this is a focused brother duo coming out here on center court this morning. Six, zero, two. Little teardrop third from Ben Johns there, and Kay unable to handle it. Seven, zero, two. This is seven straight on their first chance to serve. Reset clinic from Colin. And just the pressure, and you can see Solana and Kay just backing off the line, and they have seen enough. So the Johns boys on point to start the day. Rattling off point after point here. Can Solana and Kay stop it? We will see after this. This is the Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to, we need to dive into the yellow more. Back, everybody. Ben and Colin Johns are off and running. Okay, and Solana take a timeout, but uh, they need to get the ball down at the kitchen line and try and get that serve back here. And they get a miss from Ben Johns out of the timeout, so that pays off. So let's see if they can, you know, settle down. They got put out on center court here against uh, players, Riley, the top Newman, seeds. Matt Wright, please report to center court two. Riley Newman, Matt Wright, report to center court two. The tape tags Ben Johns. Interesting strategy here coming out of the timeout. Solana and Kay are targeting baby brother Ben here. So Collins just hanging out a little bit so far. That third in Ben's direction as well. And dink exchange with all Eight, of one, the one. different deception that Ben Johns has is going to be tough for Casey K over there, but second he's serve. trying it. Colin Johns hadn't seen a ball in a while, so misses the third there. So second serve. Eight, one, two. that same pattern and if it's left up at all Solano is at the mercy of which attack point Ben is going to choose Nine, that one, one it goes up high and then sets up the next one that one two combo oh. 
And Ben Johns is ready to just command the kitchen line. 10 1 10. Got their first game point here. Just wide and very quickly, it is Ben Colin Johns winning game one, 11 to one. We'll see if they can keep it going. At the Peachtree Classic, I'm Dave Fleming. We'll have a special guest in the booth right after this. Pickleball. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming, and I'm joined in the booth by Alex Newman. Alex, welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thrilled to have you. We uh, had quite the rampage in game one for the Johns brothers. They'll start out with the serve here. Solano in the yellow. Casey K to his right. They've already made a decision to switch who is going to cross court dink with Ben. And uh, the result is the exact same. That's a textbook Ben speed up. I experienced that myself a few times <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, the, it's interesting. They've chosen to cross-court dink with Ben, and 11-1 uh, has been the result of that choice. So, uh, ticked off uh, John's paddle there. So, side out. Zero one one. Frank Solano to serve and. Beautiful black and gold Steeler colors. Ooh. Serve. A nice little attempt at the crush and rush there and just missed the, uh, the last volley. Zero, one, ten. There's one. another one of those pickleball things where your paddle's got to be up and ready and Kay not quite ready for the next one because his first attack was good. If you're going to speed up a bend, you got to make sure it's you know two or three shot rally at least every time. Never going to be one. One, one, one. One, zero, one. That's a nice job by Casey K after uh, Ben is trying to throw all the wizardry at him. They kept resetting it well. One, zero, really nice drop from Colin, but even better return from Casey. Yeah, I think he thought he missed it and didn't come to the <laughs> kitchen line there. His shot was so good. Zero, one, one. He surprised himself. Really good speed up from Colin, not to specialty on the right side. Yeah, he's got Zero, so one, many ten. places he can put that forehand, and Solano gets tagged right there. Right up. Zero, 
Prank Solano is rocking some pretty intense shades on the oh, no, there's, there's no uh, UV coming into those eyeballs. <laughs> That goes skidding off the net, and Collins not able to handle it. I like KCK on the right side a lot better uh, here. Point construction has been a little better. He's been able to handle Ben straight up. Point. So much for that. That's just too good. Sometimes you know he's going there, and still you can't do much with that. Speed up. Because he's got so many targets on your body that uh, a you know the challenge is, is that a dink that has nothing on it just gives him choices. Oh. And Big Brother's like, little brother, where were you? <laughs> really nice get there. I think Frank and Case are excited about that point. Zero, two, one. Oh, sitting on that one. Casey is ready for that. Just couldn't execute. That's the thing, you, 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 you sure, think he's going to go there, he's going to go there, and then instead of punching it, you swing hard and straight down. That's what happened there. Would love to have that. Oh, my. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Right up. The sort of turn sideways, this point's overweight. I got a paddle on it. Yeah. one. Point. Look at Colin John sneak in there. In yeah, that Ernie attempt, I think he realized he was a bit out of position, but he still put it in a place that was hard for them to get back. Three, zero, one. Point. And sometimes just a millimeter of the ball hitting the tape is the best of all. Unlucky there. When you're playing the Johns brothers and you're getting let cords on those drops, it's going to be tough to make it with. Yeah, you're like, come on, Four, man, we got one. our hands full to begin with. We don't need the net participating. There we go. We the the car car. Someone hurt us. We just got to talk about it here, Alex, <laughs> and then uh, Four, zero, it ten. comes to life. I think that's a perfect example of paddle position by Ben. Just no extra motion there. And then he's there, and he's able to identify that next ball has got to be deep. Yeah, both Ben and Collins do a really great job. Right, of Their paddle looks identical no matter the shot they're hitting. It keeps them really composed. They can let those balls go better sailing. Point. Those easy misses are hard when you're playing such a good team. You can't afford too many unforced errors. Good time out here, though. Yeah, you feel the pressure. So the pressure is definitely on Solano and Kay. Can they regroup at the commercial? We'll find out after this. Not today. Breaks over. I dropped something. That's a wicked backhand.
Get loud, folks. Get loud. Come on. All right, welcome back, everybody. Ben Johns to serve the Solano and Kay team trying to find something. Point. Just catches Solano at his feet there and, you know, had the pleasure to play two, yesterday two, two. and senior pro on these courts and the ball is staying low and I don't know if you experienced that too, Alex, but uh, um, got to really bend down on the ball some of the time. You, you don't right get the same bounce that you get some other, it's really gritty. Yeah, the courts are really slow. Zero, seven, one. Yep. Yeah, a little bit uh, coming towards Kay and Solano. Nice little breeze here in September. Beautiful day for pickleball. Peachtree City, just south of Atlanta. That's another one of those. Since the ball is staying low and then you try the big swing at a ball there, you can't get underneath it and you get three squares up from the bottom of the net. 7-0-1. Like a third. A very cash third from Ben that finds the net. Side out. Yeah. So since that is a rare sighting, zero, like a seven, woolly one. mammoth, can they get after it here and uh, get get on the scoreboard? The answer is yes. There you go. So a couple loose errors, you got to take advantage of it. One, seven, one. Can you put a little pressure on? Second serve. I don't think I've ever seen that call before in a live match. Wow. I think one, that was a football, that was a on football the serve. called on the serve. That will definitely kill your momentum. Yeah, Solano is really going for the serve, but it, much like you tennis players that may be watching your Side toe up. cannot come onto the line when you go to serve and our referees were all over it that was Norm Clink Scales making the call Don Morgan his second referee so we put Alex Newman in the booth for the first time and we get ridiculous shots Ooh. like what Ben just put and football calls. So uh, we got a little bit of everything. That was nasty right there. I don't there. know what you call that shot, but <laughs> just, just it looked pretty. The perfect pace. Eight, one, one. Nestles it an inch inside the baseline. Just goes Point. deep. Nine one one. Nine one one is the call. Oh, and just Point. filth from Colin Johns down the line. He he throws his body into the middle of the court and then leaves the paddle out there. It's Ten, so one, one. well struck. Match point for the Johns. Like a serve. <laughs> okay. I think Ben just decided to go for it there <laughs> in match point. Try to get a body. Looking for that bright gold target of Solano there, and he got it out of the way. Because that hit the advertising on the fly. <laughs> Almost hit us. <laughs> yeah. And we're not close to the court, so. Uh, one, message sent at 10 1 in the, the second game. Point and that will do it. So Ben and Colin Johns looking very good to start the day. Solano and Kay will try and find their rhythm back in the 
Back draw, but uh, really well done from the Johns brothers. Focus coming off a Grand Slam win in Cincinnati. I'm quite sure we will see more then. We'll be back with the next match on Center Court. Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. It's all up to me, nothing can get in my way And when they ask, what are you gonna do next, I'll say I'm going Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. Oh, but you have a... Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh -uh. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow? A gas card. I could use this. Hey, that... <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. How do you get what you want? Eric Weimer? Blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will.
great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that, and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy, optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey Cameron, how's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper. Because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. Ah. Our pickleball paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. You don't get the moments everyone talks about without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. 
You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddletech, let's go again. All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Up and Coming Pro, Alex Newman. Alex, love having you in the booth, brother. And looky here. This is not Groundhog Day. We've got the Johns boys back out here. And uh, quite a formidable, formidable duo on the other side, Chuck Taylor and Pat Smith. Tell everybody about those two. Pat Smith had a really awesome comeback win yesterday on center court yes. with Lacey Sheeman in mixed doubles. I think he plays his best on center, and uh, Chuck's also a great player. He beat me pretty soundly yesterday, so definitely not a team you want to see in the quarterfinals. No, you're going to have uh, Chuck Taylor very aggressive with his Ernie's and his movements at the at the kitchen Game line. One, Pat Smith's in, zero, feeling zero, great. He's moving really well. Let's play pickleball. Point. And... All gifts are welcome here for the Taylor and Smith team. One, zero, two. The great voice of Derek Prince calling this for us as the head referee. A little flick from Colin sails deep, so a nice little early start. Love to get that on center. Never hurts to get two free points against two, zero, top seed. Two. Side out. Drives a little high, and that is crushed by Ben John. So zero, two, two quick one. points for Taylor and Smith, and see what the Johns boys can do with it. How many ATPs can we hit in one point, Alex? A really nice reset <laughs> from Pat on the first one, yeah. but it's just too much on the second from Pat. One, two, one. All right, we need to see a point with three ATPs. Now that's the that's the ask from the booth. That's a nice job by Chuck Taylor, and you can see he was ready for the Colin John's forehand. Yeah, Chuck hits soft all the time, has some weird softer balls, One, but two, you go two. hard, he has some of the top hands in the game too. And Pat Smith says, okay, you bring your ATPs. I got, I got one uh, for you, Ben Johns. That's a big boy forehand right there. One of the hardest and Two, heaviest one, one. in the game, and you got to stick the volley. There's so much on that. Just wide, and there's the first Ernie. We will see many from Chuck. He likes to take away that dink down the line. Yeah, he won't always hit it hard on the Ernie, but he'll put it somewhere weird. Makes it hard to get back. Yeah, just went for almost too much there instead of sticking in the middle of the court. And Colin gets tagged Lights. coming in. You don't see that very often on a drive. <laughs> no. John's brother's getting tagged. Wonder what happened there. Sometimes uh, there's an expectation of baby brother Three, taking one, the, that, that ball and it gets through. A little Light low out. for that uh, choice you saw. Colin jumping out of the way. He likes to fade to the right and one, sit on three, that backhand one. to defend. See that throughout this match. Look at serve. I'm noticing Ben with some shorter shorts than I've seen in the past today. I don't know if you saw that. One, three, two. Well, not, not exactly the... Uh, Target of my eyes here, Alex. But uh, yeah, he's got some new, new got the new fit Light here out. from Yola. So uh, go, go, get it, brother. Three, 
three, one, one. Just widening here. Pat Smith Answer. will be talking to himself in several languages during this yeah. match. That Three, one was one, easy two. to hear. Not happy with his shot selection there. And there's the Ernie that Chuck Taylor is known for. Yeah, that was just really well executed. Jumped on time. Had the right angle for it. Yeah, the last one he went hard back across. Four, that one, one just two. punched it in the middle. Well done. Side oh, out. and Pat Smith set the table for himself. I like one, the aggression four, though. You're one. up four one, playing well. You got to keep going for your shots. And same move, different result. Point. That's the risk of that Ernie is if you don't execute it perfectly, the court's wide open. Two, four, one. Ben just sends that right back to Sesame Street on that Ernie. And let's see if this pat. All morning, everyone's been choosing to dink with Ben. So it's Colin that's watching. You wonder when the patience meter is going to run out and Chuck throws up a lob in the lob. Point. With the wind at your back is very Three, difficult four, to execute. One. Made that exact same mistake against the exact same player a few times yesterday. Would not recommend the lob. Point. And that's the level of precision you need. If it's up at all, it's going to be attacked. Four, four, one. And the four, one lead is gone and we're tied at four here. Game one, quarter final. And now it's up Point. and CJ demolishes that in the middle of the court. Yeah, this is the worry against the top five, teams four, is four or five points can go away just like that and all of a sudden it's tied up. Point. That's five straight on this service. Again, 76 beautiful Six, degrees four, here one. in Peachtree City, Georgia, on a Saturday afternoon or morning. Point. I feel a timeout coming. And there it is. So, I like when people make the tee out of their paddle. You know, we're clear. Absolutely. Usually they chuck it on the ground, but uh, desperately needed time out there for Smith and Taylor. John's? What do we got, Prento? Another one. Shame. Third one this week. Any suspects? Not yet. We'll send these to the lab. All right. Let's take a look. What do you think? Bring me the jigsaw.
Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Alex Newman here. And One after time a great mode. start, Pat mode. Smith and Chuck Taylor have Seven, been four, forced one. to call timeout after watching six straight from the Johns boys. And then, Point. you know, we talked about it. The ball does not come up on that serve, and it is 8-4. 8-4-1. And... Colin Johns just, oh, wait, overruled by Pat Smith, probably the best, not probably, is the best sportsman in, in the game. Saw that ball land on the line. And, uh, wait, I don't know what's... I think Pat might have been, no, so it ended up being out. So, uh, okay. after a conversation. No one seems upset. No. Point. Replay looks slightly deep there too, so nine, got the four, call right, two. but then Taylor misses the next one and it is to nine here on this humongous run. Yeah, there's that Side same out. shot we saw in the earlier match, Alex. Yeah, yeah, it works pretty well, and I think he's totally fine missing some of those. As long as he makes Four, nine, one, one or two of every three, you know, it's, it's a good shot. It works most of the time. These guys are all about percentages. They're going to serve. Just keeping the ball down, down at the feet. If they're back, keep them there. Four, nine, two. Look at that ball dip in. Point. Yeah, great drive from Taylor. Looks like the wind might have confused Colin on that one. Five, yeah, I think he nine, thought that two. was sailing deep because of the height of the ball, and that thing had big top. His, so does his serve, so getting good action off the Yola paddle. and then Pat Smith puts the dink in the net. Yeah, it looks like Smith and Taylor have made the choice to start Nine, targeting five, Colin one. after this timeout. We'll see how it works out for him. Point. And that can happen when you are trying to get out of the stack position, actually going back Ten, into the five, middle one. because you're anticipating that being filled into the hole. Yes, Smith missed that and... Ben goes for a big serve there, catches the net on the serve. 10, 5, 2. Beautiful Point. finish from by CJ. Right amount of topspin, right amount of placement, right amount of winning game number one right there for the Johns brothers. So after being down 4-1, they win 10 of the last 11 points here. It's the quarterfinals of the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Uh, a lot of us missed hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so the for more forgiving. <laughs> We 
are invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide, with 973 courts across the country. Our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts, with 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first-class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. Welcome back, everybody. Game two about to get underway. Good look at Colin Jones two, there, set to serve. Zero, zero, two. Right out. They will definitely take a net cord to start off Absolutely. the second game. I think Ben was beat on that anyway because he zero, read it zero, inside. One. Beautiful finish by Pat Smith here again. Uh, first Point. quarter final of the day. Bring you all the great action from the men and the ladies will be on the court this afternoon, of course, as well. Taylor and Smith have the wind against them now, so we'll see if they do more of that drive. Now they have some room behind their backs. Side out. Miss Serve is certainly not going to help as you try to get a game two lead against the Johns brothers. Second call. Zero, one, one. Irina Tereshenko. CC2, second call, Paris Todd, Irina Tereshenko, CC2. Oh, and Taylor. Point. Perfect yes. setup. Irina, Not perfect oh, finish. That one definitely hurts. One, one, one. That's a beautiful ATP, and you you look at what happened there, Point. and it's actually Pat Smith who's upset about what happened, and why is that? One, one. I mean, Pat Smith just hit the angle a little bit too wide on that ATP, and, and a lot of times if, if the angle is just barely there, um, a good player like Colin Johns is always going to hit the ATP and has a really tough shot to return. Oh, that's pretty by Ben Johns there, and a big nod from Chuck Taylor. And point. just to finish the point, if you drill cross court, make Three, sure you one, allow one. your drilling partner to hit ATPs, or you will set up a bad habit in your game. Because you'll think you're hitting these beautiful angles, and then everybody's going to just be pounding ATPs against you. On the flip side, though, it looks like Smith and Taylor started to target the middle after they went too far across, and the middle gives Ben a lot more opportunities to speed Three, up and one, use his weapons. Yeah, so then there's a very small area of the court you feel Point. comfortable with, and missed return on the big serve. Ben likes to bring that big serve from singles to doubles. Oh, yeah. Four, one, two. And again, Point. just on the line, reaching in. Yeah, and we have Smith and Taylor changing up their stack, so putting Smith on the left side. And it can be hard when you've played a whole match on one side to Five, instantly one, transition two. and feel comfortable hitting those dinks very precise. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, not sorry from Pat Smith Side right out. there. Leaves it up again. One, five, one. So four point lead here. See if Taylor and Smith can get something going. Just high third just has Second no third. chance against these guys. And that's all the footwork too. It's one thing to hit a bad third, but if you don't hit a great one, third five, and you move in quickly, there's no shot you're coming in. This is going to be a heartbreaking point if Smith and Taylor don't get it because that first drive by Pat Smith was absolutely crushed. What a way to finish it off. No doubt. So it took a while, and Pat Smith's Ernie sets up Taylor. So a nice point from the, from the jump there and the jump of the line sets two, him up. Five, two. Smith and Taylor sticking with that stack, keeping Pat on the left side. And that's what a great athletic player can do because a lot of people love to drop the ball to that backhand corner, but Five, it is not two, available one. if you take it away out of the air. Same thing as the ATPs. The corners give you more room on your dinks, but it also gives your opponent more to work with. Point. Pat Smith didn't get that backhand cut return Six, two, where he one. wanted, left it short. Oh, dear. Pat gave the switch sign because we saw it and didn't switch. And they get out of it. I can serve. I haven't seen either of the Johns brothers drive a single ball in this match. And I think you'll notice that they won't Six, really start two, driving throughout two. the tournament day until they feel like they need to. Huh? Well, there you go. Or until the announcer says it and we'll prove him wrong. Welcome to the booth, Alex. Players don't always participate the way you'd like. Good dinks there. Point. Just heavy and aggressive, and they just get you just a little off balance, just a little. Really, not much special seven, from the John two, Brothers. Two. Just really fundamental, solid pickleball, not a lot of errors, and all of a sudden we have seven two in the second game. Side out. So let's see what they decide. They're gonna go. Two seven one. Keep Pat on the left. That's a nice move by Chuck point. Taylor there. Yeah, at this point, 3-7 down, second game. You want to see them three, try something seven, different, one. mix it up, at least give themselves a shot at, at coming back. Point. That certainly will help in this return. Yeah, and again, when you are stacked, you are in a hurry sometimes, and Four, the Johns seven, boys one. are rarely in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know you have some ground to cover. That's that same aggressive cut dink from Colin Johns. It's gotten misses Four, from seven, both two. Smith and Taylor. Just the slight extra margin of those dinks makes it so much harder to hit back. When you know you have two of the best players in the world on the other side of the net, you've got to hit that dink perfectly if you want to be safe. Side out. Pat Smith frustrated with that. Takes the hat off. Sometimes you see that the louder and the more frustrated Pat gets, the better he plays. So we'll see if he starts bringing it. Yeah, after here's, that some, here's some German here. We haven't Seven, heard it yet. Four, uh, they got to go now, though. Get that ball back quickly. Okay, Ben. So lob volley Point. into the wind, that's the way to do it. That lob just so smart, you saw it landed right in the center of the court. Anyone could hit an overhead on it if they were in position, but he knew both players were leaning in the wrong direction and he caught him guessing. And it's hit from the same look and paddle position. That's that's why it, I, you're like, how in the world does a lob that short work? Well, that's why. Point. Now a short return and again, running through the fourth. If you don't hit a great return, just stop. Nine, yep, four, yep. One. Anytime your feet are still moving as you're hitting, you're probably not in a good position. All 
That's a beautiful finish by Pat Smith right there. Nice combo platter here in Peachtree City. Nine, four, two. Oh my, that's in too. Look at this chaos. And what a Taylor point. Taylor and Smith take it. That lot was ridiculous, and Chuck Taylor, impressive to get back there and sky hook it yeah. into the court. Very Four, nine, Chuck. one. Another one of those balls on this court that stays low. Second serve. Yeah, and you talked about just the patient, no mistake Four, style nine, that two. the Johns boys play. The dink misses are six or seven to one on the side of Smith and Taylor, and that's just rough to deal with. That speed up from Pat is a little bit too greedy, I think. Yeah. He sped it up from his from his shoelaces. And folks, if your opponent's paddle is down, Nine, yours four, should be one. up and vice versa. The concern. One of the things I find really impressive Nine, about the Johns four, is two. even after those unforced errors, a missed third, a missed dink, they never really seem frustrated. They stay so composed through their errors. Baby brother came into older brother land and Side left out. it up there. So uh, stuck at nine. Let's see if Taylor and Smith can find some energy. Four, nine, one. Oh, tweener. So Taylor returns the favor with the lob. Beautiful lob. I don't know if Ben needed to hit the tweener, but it did Point. look pretty nice. <laughs> I was more Five, entertained, nine, so by one. all means, brother, keep it up. Some extra style of points. Yeah. That doesn't ring the register, but uh, certainly fans enjoy it. Great yeah. speed up from Ben, sir. back of the line. Yeah, Taylor's like, ah, ah, no, shoot, in. Five, nine, two. That is a great get from Ben Johns on that drive. Side out. Again, to your point, Dave, you missed dinks, missed drops, probably 10 to 2 this game, and that's really the margin. So, the Johns boys sitting on nine. Nine, five, one. Chuck Taylor is able to finish a long, patient point. A little help with the net. I think we had maybe four or five net cards yes. in a single point. It tells you the margins that all the players are going for. You have nine, to or five, you're leaving two. the dink up and you're in trouble. So been on nine for a little bit here. That sails deep, and we Point. talk a lot about it. You see Ben go to a place that's not perfect, but he knows where the reply is likely to be, and he's just Ten, sitting five, there. Two. That's a shot that he knows is coming back, but he's ready for it, and it's a perfect one-two punch. 
Let's see if they close it out here. First opportunity to do so. And it is older brother Colin who gets it done. So Smith and Taylor put up a nice fight, but such precision from the Johns boys today. Just too good. Gentlemen, give it up for the Johns brothers. Moving on. They have clinched a spot in the semis. We've got great action coming up right after this. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute GOAT. Nice. Speaking of GOATs, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the McGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the McGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the McGuffin Pickleball Club. Pickleball.
folks, welcome back. Dave Fleming with Rising Pro. Alex Newman in the booth, first time, doing a great job. And Alex, this could easily be a final with the talent on the court. This is a quarter final, and it is going to be something else. We've got the two seed, Riley Newman and Matt Wright going up against the seven seed. That's Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. What do you expect to see? You know, I, I do have the inside scoop. JW told me the team he wanted to play most this weekend was, was Matt and Riley. So I think he's extra hungry for this one. Um, and like you said, Dylan and JW are, are much more than a seventh seed in most tournaments. So this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, the, one. Give it up. Come on. If you have that desire and you put it out there in the world, now will you be able to back it up and deliver it? So. Uh, you know, this is a duo that played a lot, and now J-Dub's been playing a lot with Duckle Bar, and so seeing J-Dub and uh, Dylan back on the court together here will be interesting to see. Hands for days on this court, oh, so yeah. we're going to have some delicious firefights. Matt and Riley speed up better than anyone else in the game, and Dylan and J-Dub have some of the best hands in the game, so recipe for a lot of good points. Yeah, so this is going to be something special. Again, quarterfinal. <laughs> Winner of this match will play the winner of A.J. Kohler, Ben Newell versus Tyler Loon and Spencer Smith. The Johns have already advanced to the semis. They'll get the winner of Callan Dawson and D.J. Young versus McVillier, Tyson McGuffin, and Jay Devillier, who have started to put it together and are playing much better as a team here lately. So. The firefight is about to start. This is going to be great. Let's play pickleball. And it is Riley what? Newman with the first. One zero two. Point. So good start for right new, and this is going to be interesting to see how does the two, zero, two. kitchen points develop. Where do they want to put the ball? I guarantee you, these two teams are going to have patterns. They come into the match trying to focus on. Side out. Unlucky off the tape there, Newman gets tagged from Dylan Frazier. College kids showing zero, up here. He's going to the University of Missouri. Just started classes last week. And Second look serve. at the syrup on that pancake. Unbelievable. Off the tape, he's able to just get that paddle zero, out two, in front and finish it. That's a ball 90% of players aren't ready for just because their grip is different. That's a beautiful angle there by J.W. Johnson. Again, wind in the face of Newman One, two, and Wright. Two. Really good job from Dylan, too, of coming to the center once J.W. got pushed back on the lob and keeping that aggression on their side. And J.W. Johnson reads that straight ahead dink, takes it away, and walks back to the line smiling. So two, two, two. tied it two here. Again, quarterfinal matchup. Side up. And it is Riley Newman that catches J.W. Johnson and finishes what he starts. So, two points both ways two, two, to start one. the day here. A rare miss drop from Matt. Yes, the Riley Newman willpower two, usually two, two. is transitive to his partner there, too. It didn't quite get there. Point. Really smart drive from Riley. He went probably 70 or 80% power to get dipping over the net, causing an error from JW. Two. Yeah, and they're so quick, you go for a little more angle sometimes on a, ang on a volley like that. Got the mistake. 
Oh. Side out. I think that's the third time JW's hit Matt so far. Two, three, one. Matt and Riley after early in the year not knowing who's going to play what Second side. Serve. It is all about Newman on the left, right on the right. Makes it easy for the announcers. Both players can speed two, up so three, well two. from their yeah. respective sides. Newman in trouble and you know Styles make a fight in in that classic battle with the three, Jones three, brothers two. that Newman and Wright were able to win they were speeding up everything Side out. this team is dangerous on the speed ups because the counters are so good meaning Frazier and Johnson three, yeah three, Newman one. right have to be really careful to pick exactly the right spot every time to speed up or else it's going to come back even harder Unbelievable hands by Newman there. Yeah! That's a point that you're going to win 99% of the time, but against this team, <laughs> just too good. Just tremendous defense to offense. And Newman Four, three, and Wright one. like to play to the crowd. They'll be chatting with everybody. They're chatting with the other players. It's part of what they do. You will have none of that from the other side of the court. Yeah! Point. There they go. The roar is coming out, starting to smile a little bit, looking over at the crowd. Five, three, one. Point. And now they get a loose backhand volley from J.W. Johnson there. So six, three, one. Six, three, quickly for Newman and Wright. Second serve. Even though we saw a few of those errors, still Six, no three, reaction two. from Johnson or Frazier. They're no. really composed. Yes, they, they trust their games. Six, three, two. Point. And that stays in and catches the line. So it is right able to go to the left of Johnson. And that speed up, he's holding his grip where you know he's going to speed Seven, it up. Three, but even two. still, he has multiple places he can go. And just caught it up guessing. Side out. And that one JW Johnson is sitting on and right unable to Three, catch seven, up to one. the next one. Nice start for Wright and Newman though. Let's see what Johnson and Frazier have as a reply. And the Second decision third. has been to dink to Johnson so far here, Alex. Three, Looks like seven, it. Two. I would say, you know, JW doesn't really have a two-handed speed up as much, so you at least know what you're getting on that side. And so far it's working out for Riley and Matt. Point. And there's the danger of the speed up. Frazier's got obscenely quick Four, seven, hands. Two. Side out. Good leave from... Riley Newman there. I really like what the Selkirk Labs 002 paddle has done for Dylan Frazier too. A little more pop in that game. Yeah, it's really helped his singles game as well. He's yes. had some amazing singles results the last few tournaments. The time Newman's reading that angle. Point. Yeah, as good as Newman and Matt have at, at their speed ups, they're also some of the best defensive players in the game. You saw Riley cover the angle really well. Matt slid over. They, they always know where their opponents can go when they hit it too high. Point. And J.W. Johnson won't show it to the Time opponent, but Nine they four will four. show it by calling timeout. So, Wright and Newman nodding their heads with confidence as they go over to the timeout area. A very good start for them. I expect a strong push from Frazier and Johnson coming up.
Ben, you've got to give it up. You're stepping out of bounds. I'm so close, Parentel. This goes all the way to the top. I'm talking refs, commentators, food vendors! But how can you prove this? It's so simple. Bring me the jigsaw. Tate Fleming back here with Alex Newman and uh, Time in. got a Newman on Nine the court spelled one. differently. So let's spelled just differently. let's just be crystal clear on that, Alex. There is one good way to spell it. I'm not gonna <laughs> say it once in a while. Oh. Second Riley serve. Newman sitting on that, but uh, it got just past him where he couldn't keep it in the court. Yeah, he has that pancake style where he kind of sits 14. down in his, on his hind legs and holds his hand up, but if he gets out of position, it can be difficult. Is that same Matt Wright forehand attack that has been so effective as this team just continues to rise and gel together. Oh. After impressive defending. Thought they could quickly turn O to D there, but maybe wanted Four, to reset ten, that and get into the point after all that defense. Yeah, it's tough after such a great defensive shot to not want to just rush in and, and win the point. Second serve. And again, Four, ten, two. that forehand to the J.W. Johnson backhand is effective. And then they get a missed third, so. <laughs> Not expecting to see those types of errors from Johnson. I'm sure he'll clean that up. There is some wind going behind their back. I wonder if that's affecting his shots right now. 10 4 2. Point game. Another error. And that will do it. So, Wright and Newman. Impressively take advantage of some gifts they got, but uh, they were dictating the play. So Absolutely. We'll see if Frazier and Johnson have an answer right after this. Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. It's all up to me, nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. We're going to Margaritaville. You can go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. All right, we are back. We expected a tight, gripping first game, and we did not get that. And Side it was up. 
Because we saw a bunch of errors on the, especially on the Johnson side, unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, I'd be shocked if Johnson and Frazier don't pull together a few better runs here. They're not a team to go away easily. Second serve. Zero, zero, two. There are the Side hands out. from J.W. Johnson. The elusive J.W. Johnson smile just came out, <laughs> which could be a sign of good things yeah. to come. Zero, zero, one. Point. And now a uh, little one, zero, one. net cord help. And we've got some fans cheering on Johnson and Frazier, including Johnny Goldberg over here. So uh, that... That'll give him a little juice. Really good earning from Johnson there. He, I think, was ready for that three shots early and planned it out perfectly. Again, if you know you're being isolated two, two, as he one. was in game one and they saw some unexpected errors, they're going to keep putting the ball there. So that's the way you make them change. Dylan Frazier's hands were... Ridiculous. That is nuts, folks. Come on. So the youngsters have raised their level Three, zero, immediately. Look at that get. Hands are just too good from this team right now. They have the wind going against them, so a little bit easier to get those balls back. Four, zero, one. Four in a row as Onisha Smith calls our score. And that's the win there, helping him out. And that stays in, and Riley Newman not happy. Paddles are down five in a row. And look at this. Frazier and Johnson a minute ago weren't smiling, but they sure are now. told you. Matt Wright is my lawyer. Well, Matt Wright isn't here, is he? I've got nothing to say to you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Bring me the jigsaw. We are back, and it is J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier on a rampage. And again, Ernie me this and a smile. They're, they're loving it right now. Both, both players smiling. Have missed a shot in several points. They're locked in. Six, Six in zero row. one. There's the willpower. Second serve. It's almost like Riley's body movement after the shot somehow impacts its path and gets it over the net. Does it adds height? Side okay, out. So they get a couple forehand mistakes from. J.W. Johnson after some impeccable Zero, pickleball. Six, one. Second serve. And that is not the way to start a comeback there with a third well Zero, six, into the bottom two. of the net. Side 
right and those drops are just too high and giving Johnson way too many options. Yeah, really great speed up from JW. He went right at Riley's body, kind of handicapped him, and then that ball was easy put away. Six zero one. So the zero remains. Whose paddle can get there quicker for that choice by Matt Wright as he chose to speed the ball up from his ankles? And my goodness, it's seven zip. And now Point. Riley gets tagged. And what a 180 here, Alex. Yeah, I've noticed they're speeding it up or dropping mostly at, at Riley's hey, right hand one. corner, which then opens up the middle more to target Matt's backhand. Now we're shaking, we're baking, we're smiling, we're laughing. They're even talking to each other over here. Alex, what is going on? 9-0, not much to say. I think they're both just locked in playing some really, really exceptional pickleball. 9-0-1. And we are... And we are at a pickle point here. And that'll do it. So an absolute take me out to the woodshed game for Frazier and Johnson. They dropped the first game pretty decisively. And then they just dropped a goose egg on Wright and Newman. What's going to happen in game number three? Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. But you have a... Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh -uh. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow? A gas card. I could use this. Hey, hey. <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. The scoreboard is accurate, Alex Newman. 11 zip was just dropped on the heads of Matt Wright and Riley Newman. We'll see how this game starts. That goes well deep. And Side out. You don't want to try and do too much. You wanted to get that first point and stop the momentum. That didn't happen. You really need a couple stops here. If they get three or four here, this is going to be a tough hill. They're obviously capable, but... You don't want to feed the momentum. Yeah, we've seen two really quick games, and both times the team playing against the win is one. Yes. So we'll see if Matt and Riley keep using that win to their advantage and get out to an early lead here, or if it's really just Johnson Fraser special. Middle dink is the safe place to put the ball against Wright and Newman. Point. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see if it is side. Obviously, One, the zero, team two. on the side where Newman and Wright are have won decidedly in the first two games. Point. 
so much defense and relentless attack. Frazier catches Newman, two, two, two. can't find it. Side out. There's a nice finish from Riley there. So that's 13 in a row, though. Zero, I don't think I've ever seen them lose 13 points in a row. And that was the question we had. Do the speed ups two, two, work two. against a team with hands as good as Frazier and Johnson did in game one, did not in game two. We'll see what happens here. And that was the place that was working. The, finding the J.W. Johnson backhand from right. So he goes back to that, and 13 is the One, two, two. end of the run. Incredibly impressive. Point. Beautiful backside flick from Matt right there. Yeah, that middle of the kitchen is so precise. Two, if you don't two, get two. it right to Riley's forehand, then you open up Matt's forehand, and that's what happens. Side out. All right, just wide. So tied at two. Game number three will switch sides at six. Again, the wind. Two, two, one. Not a huge factor, a little bit, though. And uh, Newman and Wright are on the alleged good side to start. Just wide on that dink there. Same same holds if they speed it up, meaning Frazier and Johnson, you're running into a potential problem two, two, with two. Newman especially ready to counter quickly. who finds a spot and that time brought it into the body of J.W. Johnson. Two, two, yeah, Matt has a really interesting speed up. Most players disguise their attacks. You always know when he's doing that, but he's just so good at placing it that it's really tough to return. Point. And that time, Dylan Frazier leads it up and Riley Newman looks at the crowd. The crowd is packed in here, but they're not jumping energy Three, two, to him right now quite yet. They're enjoying it. Because Newman and Wright love to feed the crowd and get that energy back. Not getting it back yet. But the speed ups Point. from Matt Wright are the difference here in game three so far. Exact same pattern. Just brings that racket back. Flicks it perfectly to the Four, body. Two, and one. Riley's there for the put away. <laughs> that time, Frazier's there. Ready. 4-2-2. Two, two. 4-2-2, two, two, says Anisha Smith. Appreciate all the referees. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of pancakes there. That's not the short stack, ready to go. Newman shouting at us that he pancaked that one, but Five, actually two, the start two. of that point was a intentionally high third shot, just high enough for Johnson to pop it up a little bit, and they came in and were able to attack on the fifth. Side out. Yeah, Matt Wright is like, I think I hit an out ball there, and Riley was quick to agree with him. <laughs> So they get to five, Two, not five, six. One. So, boy, you would love to have switched with a four-point lead if you really think the side matters. Oh, Second and serve. Now Riley Newman's speed it. So outside trouble two, five, with these two. two. Inside less likely to speed it up. That was a ridiculous Point. get from Frazier there, and then an uh, error by Newman. I think he thought it was over with how good his shot was. Missing the easy Three, one. Five, two. Again, the wind is in the face Point. of Wright and Newman. 
that time John says ready, I think he's gotten a beat on the last three forehand speed ups from right. Yeah, so. I mean, Four, five, like, two. This is not going to keep happening. That is a Side great out. volley on the move by Matt right there because he was in trouble off a deep lob serve. Again, we'll switch sides at six. It is 5-4, game five, three, four, quarter one. final action. Point, switch in, six, four, one. So, Wright and Newman, after losing game two, 11-zip are now up in game three, six, four. So, Alex, you're talking to Dylan and J-Dub. What are you saying at the switch? Down two, but certainly far from home. Yeah, you know, I think you trust your game. The win here has really been the deciding factor so far. They're playing great. The win gives both teams such an advantage with their hand speed. So you say, let's keep playing our game, use the win to speed up more balls, and trust that the win plus our talent on those hands is going to come out with the win in the decisive side change. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, if I'm their coach, I'm saying, you guys haven't lost a point on this side, so what's the, what's the big deal? Exactly. What's the big deal? Okay. You only need to win seven, not 11 this time now. Yep. And right. they've done a great job of understanding the important part of the kitchen to hit to. Riley's forehand speed up, or backhand speed up, and Matt's forehand speed up yep. are the two weapons on the court. But the one spot that you can go to more safely is the middle of the court. Riley's not going to speed up his forehand as often. Well, so. so we'll see if they put Coach Newman's thoughts in play here. Oh, and goes for too much of an angle, and it's wide. That's the tough thing with Newman and Wright is they do a great job defending those angles. It makes you feel like you have to hit an extra good overhead on those easy ones. And that's what we saw Second live third. in game number two. So, Seven, four, see if two. they can get to eight or get the ball back. This feels like a big point here. Johnson Frazier to get it as Wright just sort of left the ball without anything on it in the middle of the court there. A little too high, and Johnson can take a ball from his waist or lower and still get it hard and yet underneath the net. So hard to return. for the Matt Wright speed up cross court. Yeah, that time Wright chose to speed it up cross court like you said, and that's a hard shot to hit because your opponent has more time, more angles, and usually smarter to speed up down the line if you're trying to attack. See the wind cause that return to end up short. Just the fact that Frazier got a paddle on that. He had to, it was going right at him pretty hard. It would have hurt if it hit him. Five, seven, two. So five, seven, two, game three. Frazier sort of stepped in to let, take it out of the air and then just wasn't balanced. Just didn't have his feet set there. 7-5. Seven, right, five, seven, five. Riley Newman to serve. Alex Newman to talk about it. Gonna blank. That's point of match so far ends with the body back. So Matt Wright speeds it up, and now J.W. Johnson is ready for it. Seven five two. Yes. 
point. That time the cross court attack works. And points are so difficult to earn now, yes. but uh, three points Eight, five, for two. moving on are right in Newman. What a get. That stays in. So after the defending, we're now chest bumping. Unbelievable defense. That's what makes pickleball so different than tennis is the lobs are actually harder to put away. The ball doesn't bounce as high, a little bit slower. So unable to take advantage of being way ahead in that point. We'll see if they can regroup when we come back. Look, if we don't figure out this gravity situation, all of those astronauts are gonna die. And the proof of alien life will be gone forever. But we've tried everything. Mm, we haven't tried everything. Bring me the jigsaw. All right, we're back. Timeout called by Johnson and Frazier. 9-5. Nine, nine, five, five. Matt Wright to serve. Yeah. And the Shut third up. is just a little high. Give Johnson a chance to attack. So I'd love to get that out of a timeout. That is exactly what you want when you call five, that timeout. Nine, so we'll see if you can get a few points on the board here. Newman there with a little extra showmanship yeah. on that speed up. I think it gave it away. Those elbows were waggling. <laughs> Six nine one. Point. Okay, and get a. Miss Dink from Matt Wright, and now the lead is but two. Timeout, receivers, 7 9 -4. And Wright and Newman have seen enough, so they'll take a timeout. Back and forth here in Peachtree City. Who will get to the finish line? Johnson and Frazier within two. Second serve. And they get a miss on the reset. A little high on the third. With Seven, these close nine, points, it's so important to keep your errors to a minimum because one or two points, the match is over. Point. And there's a miss on the drive. Short return. Eight nine. Eight nine two. And that 
speed up hits the tape and stays on that side, and we are tied at nine. Two quick errors. Looks like Johnson and Frazier are hoping to pull this one out with nine, patience nine, two. and wait for their opponents to make the mistake. J.W. Johnson catches Riley Newman, and we are at a match point from being down 9-5. Time out, receivers. And the second timeout is utilized by Wright and Newman. So, five in a row. 10-9. Alex, what are you saying if you're Wright and Newman? I think you're making sure you get your return deep. Um, and stay an extra patient here. You don't want to lose the point on, a, on an easy air. Um, at the same time, if you're Johnson and Frazier, you're probably planning right now, what's our third shot? You want to have a really good strategy going in. You don't want to do anything unexpected. Um, they seem pretty calm, though, as they always are. Yeah, you know, Dylan's going to spin that paddle 850,000 times before this point starts, no matter what. And it's, uh, again, the willingness to speed it up into the wind has been the differential yep. here. And can they finish? So here we go. Match point two. on a two. And it is right that speeds it up right away and gets a miss from Johnson. Wow. Johnson looking up to the heavens. He knew that was coming. His paddle was there. Just pushed it a little bit long. Newman, he did not hit that dent cleanly, but he gets the miss from Frazier, and ten, now ten, we're at 10. It's going to take more than 11. This is what we expected from this match. Just took three games to get here. Peachtree City right now. And that is wide point. and suddenly we have a match point on the other side, 11-10-1. 11-10-1. Second and final call for Jerry Meyer and Brian Campbell. Brian Campbell. And it is point Matt Wright and Riley Newman who stave off a match point, get pickled in game two, and win 12-10 in the third in a wild match. J.W. Johnson's going to be thinking about that forehand he had in the middle that he hit a little too crisply, quite frankly. Wow. So Wright and Newman will move on to the semifinals. What a match. We'll be back with more after this. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. How do you get what you want? Eric Weinmare, blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will.
owe great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that, and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy. Optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your... F All right, welcome back, everybody. Wow, what a match there. Alex, you said it in the booth. That's the match that J.W. Johnson wanted. He got it. He had match point on his paddle. Just clipped it a little too deep. That one hurts. That's, that's the one you think about afterwards for several weeks. Yeah, that's... You know, you, you've done everything you can. You came back, you were behind, you got ahead. Wright chose to speed it up early in that point. We thought we might have a point like we had on the points after that where they were very careful. Read it well and just hit it deep. And then to Newman and Wright's credit, they win the next three points and get out of there. They held strong. I mean, that's what makes the best players the best is not only do they play well, but they could lose the game 11-0. They could be down 9-5, up 10-9. They play the same no matter what. So let's set where we're at here. We've got on the court now a intriguing matchup of Talon Dawson, DJ Young versus McVillier, which is Tyson McGuffin and Jay DeVillier. We'll talk about that here in a second. The winner of that match will get the Johns brothers in the one semifinal. The other semifinal will be Newman and Wright versus the winner of Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. Hello, Utah. And A.J. Kohler, cuz, is in here, so he's got Ben Newell along. And uh, they won 11-9 in the third against Riley DeHart and Jack Foster, so that was a quite a match. And here we're going to have the Callan Dawson Lob Show. We're going to have the DJ Young Flick Fest, and then all the goodness from Tyson and Jay. A very intriguing matchup. Tyson and Jay play pretty fundamental. Won't do too many crazy things. Like you said, DJ, very aggressive. Callan's the Lob Master, so. And there's just, get that drive the heck out of here, Tyson. You might be the most electrifying guy in sports, but I got some skill over here. Even with the mustache, those drives aren't going to work to the DJ <laughs> forehand. So again, if you're new to these players, that's DJ Young serving and uh, his partner to his right with some very festive shorts there, Callan Dawson. Oh my. Jay DeVillier had a good shot at that, just too much. Drive from Callan Dawson just wide. So, here we go. De Villiers is like, come on, man, that's my beautiful face. So tall that sometimes you can't get out of the way. Not to miss from DJ, but those are the points he wants to be in. A lot of aggressive yes. speed ups, always wants to be the one uh, dictating the points. That's an in-between there for Davili. I think he's like, I, sh I can drive this, I can drive this. Chose to drop it and a little one, late one, on two. the decision. Laura Smart, our referee here today. Way too Side high up. from Davili there. And again, this is a quarter final. One, one, one. 
Four seed Davillier McGuffin, fifth seed Young and Dawson. Colin Dawson playing very aggressive here early, Alex. It's easy when you have a partner like DJ one, set one, you up. One. Very nice there. The room service off the tape looked like it would put McGuffin and Davillier ahead, but uh, couldn't get it down. Two, so. One, Looks like he's got board shorts on today, the surfer, Callan Dawson. <laughs> it looks like both Tyson and Callan could go surfing after this yes. match together. Don't know of any oceans in the Atlanta area, but uh, he also has that ace of spades paddle, does Callan Dawson, and that thing is full of pace. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the dreaded HTP. Went for the ATP, but hit the post, so. Brought it back inside too much because sometimes you see that's going to be defended well and you want to take it to the other side of their body but doesn't clear the net. Wow, so Davilia looked like he lost his footing and then goes flying out there, uses his 11-4 wingspan and hits a beautiful ATP. That is the J special. He can turn almost any shot into an ATP as long as he gets his arm around it. Wow. That wing. What a ball. And there's McGuffin sitting on it now. Okay, now we've got full contact from these two. That's the way they like to play. Oh, yeah. A lot of energy. So there's the DJ Young. He's going to throw his hands everywhere, try and disguise everything. Went inside out, but caught the net. Four, three, one. And that pushes wide. So nice run here for McGuffin and Davillier. That's just textbook from Tyson. He's a great singles player. So if he gets a drive and doubles, he'll, he'll go for it. Oh my, and the lob master gets lobbed. What a track down from Callen. That's a great job neutralizing a beautiful lob. Second serve. Jay wanted the ATP, but a little bit too close for comfort and on to server number two. Great driving shake and some bake there from the Frenchman. A nice French pastry there for uh, De Villiers and McGuffin. That time he knew he was driving it and it was set up by a really good serve. Yeah. Short return. I don't know what Young thought he wanted to do with that first volley, but just sort of left it up in the air. Yeah, that's the DJ. He, he can be really good or sometimes a little bit cold. And he has so much, so many options with the shots that he can sometimes go for the wrong shot and pop it up. Finally grind a side out here, so great run by McGuffin and Davillier. Yeah, let's see if Dawson and Young can change with their patterns. I haven't seen a lot of opportunities for them early on, so they might have to change something up to, to get some points on the board. Beautiful finish from McGuffin there. And that's what you can't do in men's doubles is rush the net on a bad drop. You're gonna get passed every time. Just silky, <laughs> DJ. That is a shot that only DJ is going to hit. Oh my, there was maybe a millimeter of room to get that around the post and he just layered it in there. Just put a pillow on the bed. Beautiful. 
But again there, you know, one, one point's right. okay, but then a quick miss. Yeah, got to make that reset to keep the momentum of a beautiful shot going, especially when you're down. So we're at 7-4-1, game one, quarterfinal. Winner takes on the Johns brothers in the semis. They get a miss from DJ there. So the, the target is obvious. We're going to make DJ work at the kitchen line on that backhand side. Second serve. That is, so you get the wizardry going. It's just got to be more consistent. Yeah, you know, even though they lost that point, I think they're happy with it. They're getting mostly airs out of, out of Young and Dawson. And, like we've seen in most matches, the winning team isn't doing anything too special. They're just staying really, really consistent and slowly putting points on the board. Oh, and as I say that. <laughs> and look at Jocelyn DeVillier hang out on the outside of the court. He's on the Shums the Lise and just hanging out on the sidewalk and then puts it away. Well done, Jocelyn. You don't usually get another ball when you go for the Ernie, and he did, and then his gigantic size enabled him to stay out of the kitchen. Great job and great athleticism. Wow. Jade de Villiers, two, Law mm. Master, zero, and then he misses the reply. See the speed, the former college baseball player, Callan Dawson. Yeah, interesting move to pickleball. I haven't heard of a lot of other baseball yeah. players entering the sport. And he threw a sidearm pitcher, and you see that serve is exactly like that. So brought it to pickleball, also has that unique grip. He chokes up on it and gives him those real solid short hop dinks. That time DJ is ready on the ball before that, a little bit of trouble, but uh, yeah. got the skill to bail himself out. Still though, you know, they're they're driving a lot of their third shots, which I don't think is the smartest move against a team like Tyson and Jay that again are great singles players, have really good hands. It's working though so far. So they get the shake and bake there to work and a little run for Dawson and Young. Within three. Unbelievable hands just to get a paddle on that from Young, but uh, really got that point discombobulated. So, lead is three. Yeah, they will take that net court. And after a, a small comeback, they're hoping to finish this game off pretty quickly, I'd say. You can hear the wind picking up in our microphones. Great hustle by DeVillier there. Nice what hands well. from DJ getting yes. that overhead back. Callan gets away with a lob and a dink combo there. Oh, hi DJ. That goes well deep. So getting the wind at their back, so a little harder to keep the lobs in. That's why you haven't seen them from Kyle and Dawson. We got a game point here. Really nice. good spot right at Jay's feet. Yeah, you saw him say be better to himself. Just can't be moving. Talked about that a lot in the last match. We're not going to always make perfect thirds, but that, let's not compound the problem by racing in behind it. Yeah, there's really no reason to rush. You have all the time in the world as long as you move your feet smartly. But. Side out. 
That's a great return from Davillier and kept him ahead the entire point. So, second shot. the board from McGuffin and De Villiers. So they're clean. They take advantage of opportunities and they win game number one, game two, after this. Reprofile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. All right, welcome back, Dave Fleming, with Alex Newman. No relation to Riley, nor does he spell it the same way, just to be clear. All right, the side that Dawson and Young are on has been winning a lot, and we'll see if that continues. Yeah, Dave, I think the wind here is really going to help both Dawson and Young. Dawson, like you said, loves that lob, and DG likes to get creative, and the wind gives them some extra margin. One zero two. There it is. Right away, the first log. And Tommy sees in from DJ Young. Got the tomahawk going, so okay. All right, we're seeing all the tricks now. That's exactly how they wanted to start it. A log from the log down. master and the tomahawk from DJ. 2-0. Unable to follow that up, so they do get the lead to start game two. Zero, two one. See Tyson McGuffin to serve. Beautiful video boards here on the PPA tour, adding to that professional look and feel. Weird point here, not sure if they called that ball yeah. out or if Callan just missed the drop. I think they're going to say that uh, Callum missed that. So either way, they win the point. point. And Dawson tries to change the angle of a low ball and goes for too much of an angle. Yeah, that hurts after two really good points on their serve to just make two errors and you're back tied up at two. De Villiers and pulls the trigger a little early. So uh, a few errors, a few nice points from Dawson and Young. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Oh, hello, Tyson. 
Mason McGuffin. That's nice. What a place from the Muffin Man. He held that, faked on the line, and then just put it perfectly in the middle of the court for a winner. and lets that go, and it does sail just a bit wide from DJ Young there. So 4-2 here. Let's see if we get a timeout if Dawson and Young don't get back their serve. Nice job of using that length from DJ Young. Don't let them get away with a high ball. Nope. Can't do that at this level. For folks who don't know, Dawson actually holds the paddle in a very non-conventional way. Yes. He holds it all the way at the throat, which allows him to take a lot more balls um, off the or out of the air. Second, sir. But also makes it harder on those baseline shots to get more pace on it. Yeah, so now he's got a paddle that sort of helps with adding that pace because that thing is hot. Hot and heavy. Side out. So it's nice when you don't have to do a lot of work to get the ball back. And McGuffin and Davillier just had to watch a couple balls there. So easy side out. See if they can add to their lead here. Wind picking up now, just change directions. Second serve. And even the resets now become a little harder. How do I take the wind and let it go to a place that's good for me? shows his patience and then he reaches in and finishes. Yeah, even though it looks like Jay's length helps him with that speed up, it really won the point is the footwork. He was taking 10 or 12 steps on every single drop and it helped him get exactly the right ball to speed up. It's interesting, McGuffin and Davillier, unlike most of the top teams, just are choosing to play straight up, switching sides when they're supposed to. And nice job by Davillier going behind Young, who keeps easing into the middle of the court yep. throughout the point. That's nice. So again, I don't know of anybody that has more shots than DJ Young. More variety. It's all in the wrist. He holds his wrist so extremely for every shot that he can go one of four directions with every single shot he hits. Two lobs back to back. And finished by Davillier. So lobs go both ways. That's what's amazing now, Alex, and you have to do it yourself. The lob gets people off the line, and they're so good at tracking it down and throwing it in the kitchen. There's ultimately no win. That's nice hands from Davillier there. Yeah, it's one of the things that's really exciting about being part of a growing sport is every year there's new shots on the tour. Last year, the lob wasn't really as big of a factor, especially in doubles, but almost every top team uses it now. Jay Davillier, lob overhead combo. Oh, and just kisses off the net, and then a ball going deep. Davillier can't get out of the way. Really great defense. Just lob it up, lob it up, and wait for the right overhead that just is slow enough. You can try to drop it back in and get back to the kitchen. Side 
Big swing into third there, grabs the net. So let's see if Dawson and Young can find some momentum. Haven't really been able to put a few together here. Haven't called a timeout either. I'd be interested to see if they try to pause if they aren't able to get more points here. And Second not serve. enough on that lob, and De Villiers is not just really tall with pterodactyl-like leaping ability, but uh, tennis player background too, so knows what to do with that ball above his head. Point. <laughs> nice drive there. And that serve just a bit deep. So, again, start stop. It's like a car that's just not clicking, you know, missing. Yeah, just too many errors from Dawson Young this game. They put together some really good points, but you know, you only can win so many if you're if you're making an error every every few. And De Villiers is able to get it behind Young. He goes for behind the back. We wish it would have gone in because we would have loved to talk about it. So does he, believe me. Yes. Look at that madness. That ball that DJ Young hit before the finish was like tomahawk inside. I don't even know how that block happened. His wrist dexterity and strength is obscene. Yeah, you gotta think his gym regimen is really wrist focused because he can move it so many directions. <laughs> Head fake, so DJ Young's feeling it on this point, oh. but then pushes it deep. Oh, we got everything DJ right there. Just unfortunately for him, goes deep. Smart recalls the score, 8-3-2. Davillier and McGuffin already have game one in the bag. It's a good attack from Callan Dawson there. So still no timeout. Dawson and Young are just going to keep fouling away and try to get points on the board. Yeah, if they can put the best of their game together consistently, they will be getting right back into this. You know, in that angle there, he had the ATP, but he was so out of position yes. that even though he hit it, he was not really in a good spot to finish the point. And you talked about how each year things change. The ATP used to just be a winner. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you hit a winner. What can I do? And now it's defended, and it's like, yawn, nice ATP. Let's get back to the kitchen and find another opportunity. And you're starting to see a different ATP, which is fake ATP go other direction yes, around the corner. especially in singles. Mm -hmm. Especially in singles when somebody is overcommitted to cover that other side and then they get beat behind them. And that is when DJ Young just looks unstoppable. Just steady, wristy, Easy finish, doesn't overdo it. Yeah, the, the less his feet and body are moving, I think usually the better his shot ends up. Nice hops from Callan Dawson. Look at McGuffin play defense. Look at Davillier play defense. Oh my, and fifth to finish it. Fancy back to back. That is a tough point to lose for Tyson and Jay, but I think they feel okay about it. Great defense. I mean, they made him hit seven different trick shots and then inside out winner on the backside. Look at the Villiers smiling away. Nice job by Young. So can that get the engine running? It's a weird little one-footed volley by the Villiers. It's okay. Yes, please. That's pretty. And the come on from Jocelyn. Unbelievable hands.
crowd is loving that. A big come on from Davillier playing very well. Got the bronze and mix yesterday with Jesse Irvin. Smart lob from Colin there. <laughs> yeah, and again, he knows. His lobs are into the wind lobs, and that's the, that's the magic. Okay, get a Callan Dawson lob, get a miss on a fourth from McGuffin. Five, eight, two. Within three. Play out. That's the one they just have to have. Yeah, again, if you're going to win two points on airs, you don't want to give the air back, and all of a sudden you're still down 8 5 back on your opponent's serve. So 8 5. On a one, McGuffin and Davillier have first game in their pocket and are looking at an opportunity to face Ben and Colin Johns. The winner of this match will get that opportunity in the semis. This again is a quarter. Big swing at that volley instead of just sticking it. Yeah. With the ball that hard, you really can't take your paddle back at all. Now within two. That's a heavy volley on the move from Dawson there. Impressive. Hound does a great job sliding over with his body to put his paddle in just the right place to block that back. Look at McGuffin. Reset. Now he's barking. Got the tongue out. That's, that's him at his finest. And we are at match point. 10-5-2. And a poach from De Villiers trying to finish with a flourish did not do it. So it's always nice to finish the match on a, on a highlight reel. Unable to do so there. Dawson, after watching his partner get every dink until that one, sometimes you can get just like that isolation focus problem. Yeah, one of the hardest parts about the kitchen rallies is if you're not getting targeted, your mind starts racing. Yeah. Oh, that's. Fight out. That lob goes over. Every other player's head on tour yes. except for Jada Villiers. Really. And then again, the tennis to be able to hit a backhand overhead from that position, not easy at all. That's where high-level tennis really helps your pickleball game. Match point number two. And that will do it. So McGuffin and Davillier, very impressive. Boy, did Dawson and Young have their moments. Some of the some of the most exciting points went their way, but the consistency of play goes to McGuffin and Davillier. They're going to play the Johns in a semifinal. We got more action after this. Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey Cameron, how's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper, because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. Ah.
The Pro XR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. You don't get the moments everyone talks about without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddle Tech, let's go again. miss hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so hey, speak for yourself, for getting... yeah, <laughs> ah! oh! We are invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide, with 973 courts across the country. Our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts, with 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first-class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. All right, what's up, everybody? Dave Fleming back here with Rising Pro, Alex Newman. Make sure you spell that right, everybody. There's no W in Newman. N-E-U. Hello, Newman. Hey, the men have put on a nice show for us, especially the J.W. Johnson, Dylan Frazier, Riley Newman. Matt Wright match goes down to the wire. Match point saved. They move on. Ladies are on the court, and look at this matchup. We got Mother Daughter Waters, we'll talk about them, but Tarashenko and Paris Todd. Fill everybody in on that duo. Yeah, if you're the Waters, this is a team you don't want to see in your in your first match. Uh, Paris is one of the up-and-coming players in the tour, but I wouldn't even call her up and coming anymore. She's no, been she's, she's, on the she's scene arrived. winning gold, yeah. and she's probably been the best, uh, the best singles player to, to make a quick move into double. She's really gotten the doubles game down, so um, you'll see a lot more speed ups, I think, in this matchup, women's doubles than you did in the previous ones, um, and Annalie and Lee definitely have their work cut out for them. Yeah, the uh, the beauty of the way the Waters play is it has elevated all the other ladies to bring that attack from anywhere. Yeah. They don't care. They don't care. And they will back off the line and attack to give themselves a little more time. It's an interesting thing, but it works really well. And that strategy is paying off. They've won a lot of titles in 2022. Yeah, you won't see it as much in men's doubles, but both the waters will speed up, like you said, from almost any spot on the court. And their footwork allows them to basically speed up and, and always be in, in the right spot to reset if, if needed. So there's a good look at the huddle before the match here. Big trophy up for grabs. Oh, yeah. And we've got, there's a good look at Anna Lee Waters with the trophy in the back. Paris Todd is in the red skirt, warming up there with Arena Tarashenko. Arena Tarashenko needs no introduction from me or you, a long time champion here on the PPA Tour and in so many other venues is a terrific player. You're going to see her with that nifty, crushing, teardrop thirds on oh, that yeah. forehand side. Todd is more likely to put pace on that, and then the waters will be switching. They've got their new fix on out there. They're ready. They're looking the part. This is going to be something else. Again, the two seed, the waters against the seven seed. Waters haven't played yet. Tarashenko and Todd beat Hessert and Rule in their first match. So here we go. Two out of three. 2-11. Ultimate goal. 
play tomorrow on Championship Sunday. That's what everyone wants. Looks like Tereshenko choosing the match ball. Yeah, the interesting part of if you win the toss and you choose to serve, you know, I'm going to just give out the fact that I do to the world. This is free. If I've warmed up with a ball and we choose to serve, I've hit that ball. My opponent hasn't. I want that. 100%. I want that. So, folks, use that idea if you like. It's, it's, I think it's Game a little one. bit of an advantage Nine because I've hit zero, this ball zero, and my opponent two. hasn't. Here we go. Let's play pickleball. Paris Todd to serve. Anna Lee Waters. Let's go. Point. And a dink from Lee finds the net, and Todd and Tereshenko have the early lead. Point. Quick 2-0. Com no complaints from Todd two, and zero, Tereshenko. Two. Point. And three quick ones from... Lee Waters find the net. Three zero two. Be stunned if this third doesn't go her way. Also, and Lee steps Point. in front, trying to do a little too much. And four points in, we got a timeout. Maybe thirty timeout. seconds it took Receiver, to get those four, four points. Zero, two. Wow! So a sloppy start for the Waters here. <laughs> Todd and Tarashenko are like, we only got to get to seven. Okay. See if the Waters can get this straightened out. Quick timeout. No way she gets this. Oh, let's go! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Call oh. one one Hey, uh, Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. This is why I stay out of kitchens. Well, the waters are known for strategically using timeouts for whether they need it for hydration, they need it for strategy, they need it to stop a run. That's probably the quickest timeout they've ever called. They had to. Sloppy start, four Time zip in, quickly. Four, zero, two. Todd and Tereshenko not going to apologize for that at all. They stay in the same position. And you will see Mama Waters run outside right the out. court and play off the logos painted to hit that forehand and trusting Anna Lee to fill the middle. Yep, she's only able to Zero, run around four, so far one. because Anna Lee has likely the best women's backhand in the game from the center of the court. defense by Todd at this point. And then just Point. wide. A yeah, really good point. You're going to see a lot of those shots from Anna Lee where she speeds up as she's moving one, in. Four, um, one. Somehow she's able to hit them really low to the net, stay composed as she runs. Point. Win gets that one all discombobulated on Tereshenko and suddenly it's 2-4. Two, 2-4-1. Four, two, four, yeah, Anna Lee's got a physio she's working with this year. You see she's not wearing knee braces like she did last year. And is mo Point. she moved great last year, but now doesn't even need the that. Feels better. It's growing. Is 15 and the composure though. All right, we had a bad start. Now it's three, three four. four yeah. one. Zero four isn't going to face a team like the Waters. All right, back at it now. Second An turn. absolute hammer time from Paris Todd there. She was sitting on that one like a chair. Three, four, two.
Point. And that just sails deep. Good read by Tarashenko. Just didn't finish it. The waters actually had parted. The seas were four, gone. Four, two. You, you don't could see, that see the bottom often. of the ocean, but they missed it. Two-handed backhand again from Paris Todd, and she will match your come-ons with plenty of volume after it four, as well. Four, one. Yeah, she has the power, but she also has the vocals to match when she hits a shot like that. Just Second deep serve. there, so that's twice they've had the ball with an opportunity to win in the middle, but too much on it. And it can be hard. You feel like you have to do a little bit too much sometimes against four, Emily in the four, middle there. Two. Go for a bit too much, the ball sails long. Side out. And that's proof that sometimes a short return, but it's low, creates more misses than almost anything because people think they have an opportunity and they don't. Four, yeah, four, one thing you won't see in singles as much, but short serves, slow serves can really help you with different types of patterns and doubles. And Second Lee serve. Waters trying some handball, not legal. Caught looking in the middle four, there. Nice four, shot two. by Tarashenko going backside. Side out. And that third goes well, well deep. So unable to get the lead. So here goes Todd just focused, urging Tarashenko. Four, four, steely. One. This team has a lot of practice playing together. We'll see if that helps them against the two seeds. Second serve. Again, wind has slowed a bit, but it four, is in four, the face two. of Tarashenko and Todd. And there you see the retreat of Annalie Waters Point. and Todd is sitting on it. She was on that one again. Both the forehand and the backhand and Todd on the right side are going to be really hard Five, four, to one. speed up against. Just too much power. And that's what you talked about. The transition of her singles game to doubles continues to improve. Incorrect score was called. That was the second serve on this ball. The point is good. Point. It's a whole lot of, uh, there's like a We're paragraph from our referee there, but uh, just getting the score right. So 4-5. Four, 4-5, five. Four, five, one. Anna Lee got what she wanted, but too much on Second it. Serve. Yeah, trying to take advantage of the switch from Tarashenko and Todd and hit where they weren't, but uh, just a little four, bit too much five, on, the, on the back end. Todd tries Point. to slide and hit a forehand when that dinks in the middle. That's a really hard ball to make. Yeah, one of the things when you have such a great forehand, it's tempting five, to go for five, those two. fun forehand rules, but not always the smarter decision. Annalie now on the left side, changing up the pattern. And just perfect Point. pace there. She has Tarashenko running around everywhere. Don't need to clobber that because then it's up. Just roll it at her feet, make Six, her dig. Five, two. And two much Point. in Lee Waters. Just so good. Yeah, she took over the whole court there, but probably only took three or four steps. She knows where the ball's coming based on where she hits that hard shot first. And after a really ugly start for the Waters, four mistakes. They call timeout, what do you think so ease far, into the match. They're up 7-5. We'll be right back.
My name is Kathleen Parento and I've been playing pickleball for almost six years. I travel a lot uh, to play in tournaments. I'm always on planes and I see a lot of people when I travel. I need to make sure that I stay healthy. I need to support my immune system. So that's the reason why I use the Pure Way C+. All right, welcome back, everybody. There you see Todd and Tarashenko up early for nothing. Now staring at a two-point deficit. Lee Waters to serve. I'm sorry. Recalling score. Seven, five, two. And Todd unable to get out of the way of that, and they chose not to go to the positions they started on, that being Todd and Tarashenko. They are going to switch here. Eight, five, two. It's not magic. We can see their signals. Yeah, so Todd staying on the left side, too, to put her straight up against Lee. They've gone back to the switch, though, now. And there you see Anna Lee Walters just... Her anticipation is, is as good as her finish. Like you said, Dave, that first speed up wasn't hard. It was just placed Nine, well. five, allowed two. her to get that second one even higher. Again, Point. athleticism, pace, smarts, timeout again. Yes, so my Time how out, things receiver. have changed, Can't. Alex. It's the waters. Up 10-5. They've won 10 of the last 11 points. That's what we call a rampage. I felt like I had to always drink water over and over, but I still felt a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But once I tried to incorporate more electrolytes in my daily life, it really helped me out. My favorite thing about the pickleball cocktail is the flavor. It tastes great. I drink the pickleball cocktail every morning to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the whole day. It's important to drink first thing in the morning. If you wait until you play, you're usually too late. You start feeling dehydrated. When it comes to hydration, don't wait before it's too late. Paris Todd screaming, five, come two. on with two big two-handed backhands, and suddenly we're at game point. And Anna point. Lee Waters, game. so silky down the line, says, we're going to play me on the left, and all is going to be well. So 11 to 12 points, no mistakes, and just really high precision. Unbelievable job by the Waters there. So, can Todd and Tarashenko find what got them off to a good start? We'll see game two after this. we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. 
Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute goat. Nice. Speaking of goats, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. We are ready to go. Game two. Time in. Game zero, zero, two. two. The waters are feeling it. They put Anna Lee on the left, and everything was beautiful. Point. And they don't care. They're just driving it from the midcourt. They don't care. Same story as game one. Anna Lee takes every backhand, one, zero, speeds it up, two. and has not missed so far. Now some Point. love off the tape, and this is what Anna Lee taking over a match looks like. Even the net's on her side yes. right now. She has made a commitment to the net. We've got an egg hunt over in the corner to find the ball. Hope they get the one with the $20 bill in it. So if you're Tereshenko and Todd, you're obviously trying to get the ball more to Lee, which you might need to actually push Anna Lee off to the side, hit to her first open the court up and get it over to Lee as a result. We'll see if they try that out next. Yeah, but they haven't, the, I completely agree, they haven't been able to put two, Anna Lee zero, in the two. bad spots where they could get a ball to dictate the point. Because she's just cracking two-handers. That is ridiculous right there. Down the line winner in doubles is something that does not happen no. very often. You're not going to see that on your on your home rec courts. Three, zero, two. That's 14 of 15 points for the Waters. Uh, Point. Now Todd's two-hander catches the net. Four, zero, two. Four off the gate, just like the first game, but that went the other way. Look at that get. Oh, my. Not right only out. the get, but where she put the ball. It was a perfect lob. If they won that point, it would have been unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so Todd and Tereshenko just need to, need zero, to take four, a deep one. breath. Make Lee Waters play. And she is happy to play as the former Gamecock tennis star rips a two-handed backhand volley. Every player in this court with a really strong tennis background. I think Emily also was a soccer player. Yeah, so uh, obviously no college tennis in uh, right young Anna Lee's career except for Pickleball U. So uh, she's, uh, yeah, but Four, zero, one. we talk about her as a prodigy. Paris Todd was a tennis prodigy. It was amazing as a young teenager. See a lot of that obviously translate very nicely to pickleball. Yeah, no college tennis for Todd either because she went pro at right. age 14. So a lot of talent on this court. Four zero two. Tereshenko played for Texas right Tech out. out there in Lubbock at Red Raider. Zero four one. There's a good look at Todd and. Tereshenko just trying one. to get this going. Second serve. He just jammed up Tereshenko just enough to get a miss. It's that patience we've been talking about. She sprinted in on that third. She hit a pretty good third, but no need to put yourself in a bad position with all that footwork. Right that third's just too high, and Lee Waters knows where to put it down. Down is much more important than pace. Four, zero, one. Point. That's the other thing Anna Lee can bring to the doubles game is the big serve she hits in singles. Five, zero, one. Second serve. It's a good return. Tereshenko's slice back in return is just a work of art. Yeah, deep and right to the middle too, Five, which makes zero, it hard two. when you're stacking with Anna Lee in the center to know who's hitting that ball. Side out. So they'll be able to get the ball down to Lee Waters, so 
Zero, Todd five, and Tarashenko one. have not scored forever. Good hustle by Todd, but cannot Second keep third. it in the court. A yeah, really good effort on defense there, but those drops still just sailing a little bit too yeah. high, and you can't afford that margin against one of the best teams in the world. Zero, five, two. And there's that right out. dink in the middle that's got to get down or your partner's in trouble. And great reach in by Five, zero, Emily one. there. Point. So a 17 to one run, if I have my math right. Still no timeout Six, zero, from Terry Todd. We'll see if they take one soon. Second serve. Annalie smiling. She knows that's her shot. Yes. Six, zero, two. She also heard mom say out, so that can always mess you up. And a Side little out. overzealous on that one. So, again, can Tarashenko and Todd, I'd love to see Todd zero, finally six, just tattoo one. a third just to see if a uh, heavy ground stroke can get them going. That's going to be in. Look at the hustle by Tarashenko. Oh, what a point. Second serve. Just too good. Nice little touch there by Anna Lee Waters in the middle of that. They got lucky on the reset Zero, volley six, that two. ends up a perfect lob. Not intentional, but when things are going your way, things are going your way. Point. And Anna Lee I'm and sorry, Lee take full swings at side that out. ball, but it's Anna Lee that gets there first. Yeah, so a little back and forth here. We haven't seen the Waters get too many points recently, but still not seen a lot of patterns six, that are working zero, for Tereshenko and Todd. So still 6-0 in game two. See Anna Lee go for the lob serve to try and get a miss. Look at that stay in. My goodness, what a point. And it is Anna Lee Waters point. down the middle after both teams had to play defense. Best point of the match and ends with an Anna Lee Waters back end down the middle. Everybody invested there. 7 0. Time out, game receiver. Two. 7 0 1. Timeout is called. Great point, but Todd and Tarashenko got to find something because it is all about the waterfall. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Does he do that every time? Every time. Wow. Happy birthday, Matt. Aw, oh, thanks, Lucy. Oh, wow. And another one. Oh, you shouldn't have. I have one more surprise for you. OK. Come on. I love it, babe! All right, welcome back, everybody. My goodness, the waters are playing well. Time in, seven, zero, one. Point. Oh, and then out of the timeout, they get a missed return, so. 
And that's where a timeout can hurt you, you know, you're trying to take a pause Eight, zero, to stop one. your opponent's momentum, but sometimes they can halt yours as well. Back and it is Lee Waters coming in hot, but just a little too hot there. Just goes deep. Yeah, she wanted that one. 802. 802. 19 to the last 20. Oh now, come on, Anna Lee. Now she's lobbing and on the way to the kitchen line. That's a good point from Tarashenko and Tom. Right out. So, a lot of work to do down Zero, eight zip. Eight, one. I love to see Todd here just drive the ball as hard as she can and try to get something going for this team. Oh, and even the net cords are going their Second way. Serve. Yeah, and smartly, Anna Lee and Lee are not even giving those returns to Paris, Zero, so eight, she doesn't two. have a chance to rip one. Yeah, part of the issue with having the aggressive player on the right side is they can't take the middle as easily. Unless you're Anna Lee Waters in a tune, it can comes flying over in Point. front there. Does make the mistake there. All right, so can Todd and Tarashenko turn one into many? One, eight, two. That's nice. Right out. Again, that drop just a little too high. Yeah, and those of you with a two-handed backhand, you can see how it's easy to pull that wide if you put too much left hand, so just punch Eight, it. Great one, job one. by Lee Waters there. Paris now on the left side. Really good get. Second serve. So it's dictated by their score but I'd like to see this for a while from Todd and Tarashenko I mean don't if if you get beat you get beat but don't get Eight, beat the one, same two. way mix it up and make them do Sorry. something different right out big swing from Lee Waters goes off the green monster for a double so uh, we got a one, blue monster eight, here one. actually off the invited sign back there appreciate them hosting us here at this great facility just south of Atlanta Peachtree City every street in Atlanta's Peachtree something close call here looks like both teams think it was what they yeah. want it to be confirmed little out in, little inquiry there ball is ruled deep Okay, bunch of signals given by Anna Lee Two, there eight, to one. her mother. Decide to stay. Point. And that catches the tape. So after losing 19 of 20 points, that's three in a row for Tarashenko and Todd. Three, eight, Todd one. standing now firmly in the center of the yes, court, like indicating kidding. their strategy has changed. Second serve. But if you do that and the serve doesn't have a lot on it, you can put the ball in the corner if you're a good singles player like Anna Lee, and Three, now you got to hit a third two. on the run and cut it. So point, counterpoint. That's why this is chestnut checkers right there. And that's where Todd's doubles game, if she's going to be a left side player, and I think she has Fight all out. the skills to do that, you have got to put that down. Yep. Big, Eight, aggressive three, forehand one. in the middle has got to put that down because you've got a ball to attack. I'm going to switch Tarashenko back there. Oh, and a little one-hander floating through the middle. She's pulling out all the tricks <laughs> on center court today. <laughs> Lee Waters talking to the crowd about Nine, yeah, that's three, pretty good. One. That's my daughter. Point. And now a ball in the net, and we are at match point. Timeout, receivers. Ten, three, one. So Todd and Tarashenko are emptying everything that's available to them, but the Waters have everything working for them. We'll be back with the conclusion after this.
I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to we need to dive into the all right, welcome back. There you see young Annalie Waters has been putting on a show for this packed house here. Time in. 10, 3, 1. And we got a match point on her paddle, and she goes with the lob serve, and oh my, look at this play. Lee point. Waters comes Game. flying in, Pass. knowing she cannot touch the next ball as a crazy little think about the it strategy. A legal serve and volley on match yes. point. First ever on the live stream. So I've seen them do it where they stand there on purpose. That's the first time I've seen a charge knowing Lee Waters cannot do that. That's a 10-3 strategy wow. that works. You never know what they're going to get. Creativity from the Waters. Man, they look good. After a really sloppy start, they were fantastic. They're moving on to the semis. We'll have more great action after this. It's the Peachtree Classic. On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the MacGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club. Not yet, buddy. Pickleball. Each shot has its own strategy. Each player 
their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. Welcome back, everybody. What a setting here. Peachtree City. It's the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Beautiful Invited property here. A lot of tennis, a lot of excitement. Amateurs playing everywhere. That's the beauty of the PPA. You can play right next to the best players in the world. And I've got an up-and-comer to my left. Alex Newman, what's going on, brother? Appreciate you being in the booth. And uh, looky here, we have your mix partner from yesterday on the court. So we got Kovalova and Smith. A lot of familiarity. Why don't you fill us in on Rachel Recker? And hey, Rachel Recker, Fudge. also an, an up and comer. Um, really, really consistent player. A really great forehand drop. Really great forehand resets. Also, a, a very underrated forehand speed up. She can okay. take her forehand and crush it down the middle or crush it down the line. Um, and I'd say most importantly, probably one of the most positive players on tour, which is so important in doubles to have your partner build you up. Um, and then her partner, Megan Fudge, up and comer, but it's definitely, I'd say, broken through. Um, her and her husband, Ryler, played mixed yeah. doubles, both former very high level uh, tennis players and one of the only teams to, to bring their kids on tour with them. You yeah. always see their kids playing around afterwards, dinking and, and having a good time. So family affair for, for Fudge. And, and her husband. Indeed, and uh, you know, Callie Smith, a mother herself, who I've seen the Smith kids running around as well. So uh, when you think about, you know, you and I talked off, off air about what it takes to stay competitive with these players who are practicing and working so hard all the time. And then you're a mother, you got to take care of young kids, everything that that requires. The dedication is impressive. Yeah, a lot of respect to people that have um, other things besides pickleball happening in their lives. I think, like you said, the, the dedication, the training, the time that it takes now, you know, as, as compared to last year or two years ago or let alone five years ago, to become and maintain a top level of pickleball is just so much more. And having to balance a family or a job on top of that is becoming really, really hard to do. It is, and uh, we don't see the off court. We see a little bit of it. Callie Smith certainly puts out her workout Wednesdays and you're like, wow. Okay. I got you. Uh, it is not just something you should do. It's something you have to do or you're going to get run over out here. Yeah, absolutely. I can say it myself. I'm balancing a job in pickleball and uh, definitely is not the easiest thing day to day. Uh, taking a lot of days off and um, traveling more than I should be. So. So here we go. We got Retger and Fudge versus Kovalova and Smith. That's Rachel Retger to serve. Let's play pickleball. And uh, there's the aforementioned forehand speed up right on cue, Mr. Newman. And obviously, Kovalova and Smith are a talented team. So getting out and running early is critical for Retger and Fudge. Zero, one, one. Good look at Lucy Kovalova there from Wichita. Go Kelly ahead, Smith from Utah got the coordinated Zero, one, pinks going over there today. Kelly tries the same shot twice there. That time it kisses the tape and throws Fudge off. Yeah, and Fudge and Rick are, are switching, but looking a little slow on the, on the movement there. So hopefully they figure that out before Kylie uses her power again. Yeah. 
That is such a smart choice of shot by Recker when somebody has to come flying in for a ball off the tape, throw it over their shoulder, just missed it wide. Yeah, I think totally fine to go for that shot, especially yes. early on, and better to miss it now than at 9-9 at in the third game. Well, that sort of didn't come up. We've talked about that all day. And the forehand speed up, smartly let go by Kovalova and Smith, and it's tough to not try and do too much early on these center court matches. It, it's a different thing. We've got cameras, we got people named Newman talking about you. Point. Yeah, it's a good point, Dave. You know, there's five, six other matches going on with no spectators for the most part, but the center court is a totally different feel. It can be hard to go from one match to right into the center court. You got the audio, you got timeouts. Um, you can hear the fans next to you. It really changes your mindset for newer players. And that's that two-hander where you don't want to pull it with too much left hand. Unfortunately, Wrecker does there. And choo-choo. Kovalov right, and two. Smith are coming. Oh, that's, that is Side what up. they want, too. That was a blistering forehand drive by Kovalova. Yeah, I see Kylie laughing. She just had her pot a little bit too far back there, but she knows that's the ball they want. And just too much power from Kovalova. You see the great footwork from Fudge. Gets that split step ready. You can see the tennis background in that. That's beautiful footwork. One, five, two. And again, just perfectly placed. Fudge trying to sneak in there off the drop, but uh, handcuffed and couldn't get the ball to bounce. That's what you got to do against five, these one, ladies. One. That's a nice spot by Megan Fudge there. Yeah, both Kylie and Lucy have really great forehands, especially at the net. So we'll see if Wrecker and, and Fudge can target their backhands more from the kitchen. That's going to be in. Oh my, it's still playing. And a great finish by Callie Smith. Offense to defense, both teams scrapping from the baseline. Beautiful point. Yeah, just too much power from Callie. She stayed at the kitchen, didn't take her toes off the line, and that ball was easy to put away. Timeout receiver, six So Rutger and Fudge need timeout from both the score and probably from just, we ran a lot on that point, so let's let's use it in a couple ways. Kovalova and Smith looking very good here in game number one. Yellow war. Not today. Breaks over. You drop something. That's a wicked backhand. What's up, everybody? Beautiful day for pickleball. Yes. Lucy Kovalova, Callie Smith looking great. Recker and Fudge have called timeout. Try and stem the momentum. There's a nice stick tennis volley by Fudge there. Played at Illinois. Got to make those in this match, though. Just so good from Callie. You can see how low she gets to the ground on all those shots. And I thought she was out of position there, but got that ball back nice and low and 
Got the point. She does not miss leg day, and that's Number so one, critical two. to be on the point of getting your body to where you need to be. Side up. Yeah, it's a miss there, but one of the things that you know folks might not realize is these players have already played two days of pickleball. Um, Kylie, you can one, tell us it look like she's played a day in her life. She's so she's still <laughs> so fit, good. so like that's the level you got to be at for these for these top players. Yep, can't can't miss stinks and serves one, seven, in this ten. match if you're Fudge and Wrecker. Retker's head goes snapping back. I think it caught the, the handle. Seems to be fine. I know it didn't hit her in the face. At least I don't think so. Seven, one, one. So they tried to play a real safe slow point, and Kovalova and Smith are going to be just ready to pounce on something like that. Point. Yeah, now they try the switch, and you know, Fudge isn't used to that backhand volley from the right side. And yeah. Quick on forced air. Yeah, Take and that one, tennis one. volley where you're stepping into it is tough to do in pickleball because... Oftentimes that'll put you in a position where you're gonna Point. end up in the kitchen as well with that. So uh, Come out receiver. trouble. One, one, one yep. It's brewing. Smith and Kovalova just bringing power. All right, you played with Rachel yesterday. They've called timeout again. What are you telling them? What you just said, Dave, on that volley, one of the things that tennis players sometimes don't do at first in pickleball is punch the volley with more of a flat wrist as opposed to a cut. Uh, when someone's driving at you in doubles and you cut and slice it, you pop it up, give them an opportunity to come in and crush and rush on you. So I'd like to see them stay strong at net and really punch that volley down, take away um, that, that crush and rush technique coming in. Yeah, and unwinding the stack is a problem here, too. We've seen them not do it real efficiently, and it's getting them behind, especially because the returns have been short. Yep. If I'm talking to the ladies in pink, I'd just say, keep doing it. <laughs> Don't it's stop just, the train. Yeah. Keep moving. Nope, nope. Keep attacking the forehands. They're used to it. They've been here before. Nope. I, I, I chose to make a train whistle sound earlier, and I'm standing by it, but uh, they, are, they are playing well. And this is a motivated team. This is a team that had a real nice run in the middle of the first half of the year and now haven't won a title in a few tournaments here. They're focused here Nine, in Peachtree City. Second That's start. a good ball by Rutger there. So they get one on the timeout to see if they can get two stops. Yeah, a better job there at punching that ball Nine, down one, at the feet. Point. Not good contact there off the Yola paddle for Wrecker. And one, two. We're at game point in game number one. And it's point the same game. pattern. Final They've got to change one. that because Kovalova is absolutely tattooing forehands on the switch. So Kovalova Smith looking fantastic here on center court on a beautiful Saturday. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. Go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. <laughs> it's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. But you have a... Mm -mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh -uh. Still no. 
Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow. A gas card. I could use this. Hey, <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming, Alex Newman in the booth. Alex is watching his mixed doubles partner, and his mixed doubles partner needs to find her top level quickly because Kovalova and Smith look fantastic. Yeah, you see Fudge sliding and reaching. That cut volley from Fudge is just not going to cut it. This team likes to attack, and that, that slice stays up a little bit too high. Alex Newman, of course, played with Rachel Redker yesterday in the mixed pro division. I played a little senior pro doubles yesterday. Heard you pulled home a medal, is that right? I did I did get a gold, so that was fun to, fun to leave the booth for a few hours and show I, have a, I can play the game a little bit as well. So thanks for bringing that up, sir. Um, Man, just, just out of sorts over there. Yeah, something's not working. You know, when you're down this many points, sometimes you need to stay a little more composed between points, not let points go by so quickly. So I'd like to see him take a little more time after the point finish, finishes and have a breath between serves. Side out. And you see Rachel backing off the line there and then hitting, swinging down, because that was not a good attack from Callie Smith there. That's when you've got to punish. If they're getting away with that, then you're in big trouble. Second serve. Just out, but again, that return a little bit short. And, um, they're going to keep punishing those thirds. A lot of drives. I today. mean, honestly, it's like it's feeding time at the lion cage here with those One, short two, returns. Side out. Okay, so they get a couple misses, and now you can just see Retker and Fudge like, all right, come on. They're Let's nodding their heads. Middle, one, one. Fudge jumping around. I mean, the, the energy is good over there. It's just got to get the execution going. Yeah, body language is half the battle. And there's Callie Smith. When she finds a dink, she can attack. Just surprises Rutger on the outside. And that's, again, trusting who's covering what ball because if Rutger says I'm covering down the line always and anything to my left is fudge you don't have that problem and again just the patterns are so convincingly in Kovalova and Smith's favor yeah and the footwork tells you a lot about a team's confidence you can see Kovalova and Smith are on the line they're moving quickly and Fudge and Rack are a little bit more back and conservative with their feet, which is exposing more lines, more space. Beautiful fight on line eye overhead there by Fudge. Point. But then Rutger can't handle the ball at her feet. Hey, Got some one. encouragement from the crowd there and smiles, so uh, that's a great drive. Nice handle by Fudge. But you see already Rutger backing up. Now we got University of Utah overheads. Just wicked pace from Callie Smith. Good try from Rekker. I don't mind the speed up because, you know, you're trying to figure out something that works. But yeah. Still haven't found that pattern. Just just not going their way, and they're playing a very talented team. That's a tough cocktail here on a Saturday afternoon. John's? What do we got, Prento? Another one. Shame. Third one this week. Any suspects? Not yet. We'll send these to the lab. All right. Let's take a look. What do you think? Bring me the 
Jigsaw. All right, we are back. Here's a good look at Callie Smith. They are bringing the fire here, Alex. Locked in. This team wants it badly. They're ready to close this one out. Just relentless. They got a couple balls down, but they're not going to back off this. Yeah, when you have your right side player close in the middle and taking a forehand <laughs> drive, you know you're feeling it. Five, zero, one, two, three. Another just. Point. Just that return has got to be better. Boom, the avalanche of the snowball Six, coming zero, down the one. hill. Yeah, Power City out here. No answer so far for the drives. And that time, Point. Fudge isn't even able to get three more steps. She couldn't get near the kitchen there. Yeah, when you're down this much, it can start to feel like every point, every return matters. But in reality, it's okay if you miss a few returns at the expense of all of these short returns, creating really easy patterns for Kylie and Lucy. Much better return there, and look what happens. And Rutgers like, ha, oh, I'll show you. That's all we needed to get back. Yeah. I mean, it's it sounds simple, but that is the formula. Get that return deeper. And that one wasn't. Oh, okay. So they got a little something off the tape. You know, Rutger, as you know better than anybody, fiery player, likes to walk around slapping high fives, see if they can make this something when they've got the ball. Yeah, she'll stay positive. As, as long as she's still in the match, she'll, she'll be ready to take a few points and scream a come on or two. But just need to get a point on the board. And that third's way too high. Just, again, feeding what... Smith and Kovalova, Kovalova love to do. Point. And a rare clunk from Callie Smith there, so they get a point. And they're on the board here, so 1 7. That's a nice point from Rachel Rutker right there. Yeah, throwing back some of their own medicine with the with the one-two punch, and I think what created that op the, uh, opportunity for her was going to um, Kylie's backhand dink, which is a little bit slower sometimes than her forehand. And they quickly choose to just keep Kovalev on the left. That just catches the line. Look at Callie Smith hustle. Look at Lucy Kovalova hustle. That's going to be in. And Kovalova keeps that in, shoots the fist to the penthouse and says, this is what my pickleball is all about. That was a great point. Much better point by Rutger and Fudge that they were in control. Yeah, by Rutger and Fudge, I'm happy with that. We have our patterns figured out. Now we just got to really hold strong here, get back on serve. Great play from Rutger. She's really feeling that backhand dink. Well, and they put her on the left. Again, we talked about it last match. Don't lose the same way. Change it up. Great read by Callie Smith there on the Ernie and just swats it at Fudge. Yeah, that one hurts. You're starting to come back. You're figuring things out, and Ernie never makes it feel good. So. And the Ernie says, my paddle's going down, and I'm calling timeout. I did not enjoy Callie Smith roaring right at me, says Megan Fudge. We'll be right back.
Ben, you've got to give it up. You're stepping out of bounds. I'm so close, Parentel. This goes all the way to the top. I'm talking refs, commentators, food vendors! But how can you prove this? It's so simple. Bring me the jigsaw. Welcome back, Smith and Kovalova in command. Hey, hey, hey. And that backhand a little low for the choice of shot from Retker. We can hear it too. She knows that one was a little bit ambitious. Right, right, right. You can hear people on rec courts everywhere saying, too low. It's just such a nice reset. Side and up. Kovalova tries to sneak one. Called deep and confirmed by our referee. So, Retker and Fudge going to keep Retker on the left side of the court, I believe. 2-9-1. 2-9. Can they? Find some mojo. Hoy. Nice job by Fudge there. As Kovalova went for big swing down the middle and caught a little bit out of position. Three, nine, one. What a gut. And then just too much blunt force trauma from Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova. Three, nine, ten. The Nets have no fear of speeding it up because the counters, their counter of the counter is better. Yeah, when you know you have the hands advantage, it's a pretty Nine, simple solution. Three, Two points for moving on. Hey, a very short lob from Kovalova, very nice overhead. Yeah, I don't think we'd see that lob come out if the score <laughs> were a bit tighter, but yeah. nonetheless. It did come out. And it was crunched. Wow. That uh, fourth volley wrecker got away with something there, but uh, they'll take it. Three, nine, one. Second serve. It's good speed up from Wrecker, I think, just having a few extra steps into the kitchen so she's yes. ready to take just advantage. Walking into that is the problem, not set. And then you take the big backswing, and these two are going to know what's coming. It's a good serve. So 4 9 here. Feels like a big lead, but at the same time, four a few points here, a few sure. points there, and things can tighten up. Yesterday was comeback city and mixed. Everybody was coming back. That ball would not come over. And that says not today. Not no today. No comebacks on my watch. No. No, there were 8-2, 14, 5 holes in the back draw. There were people coming. Point. And just backing up that higher yeah. shot, I think Record could have actually blocked back and won the point with, but as your feet move back, you have less space to take those balls high. And here we go with a match point. Good stick on the volley there. Still smiling out there, I having a good it. time. No, that's, that's 
Every Good chance on center is an opportunity to improve, learn, and show what you can Point do. Game. Unfortunately, Smith. that is a Final tough way for this to end. So Kovalova and Smith literally overpowering. That's the difference in this match. Just too much pace. They look like a focused team today. They want to get back to Championship Sunday. They got work to do to do there, but uh, looking very good right there. We'll still have the ladies on the court. It looks like Dazan and Jones will be playing Irvin and Bright when we come back. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. How do you get what you want? Eric Weimer? Blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here with Alex Newman. And looky here, we've got the ladies from Utah, Megan Design and Elise Jones. Elise Jones is going to put on a show for us. She's going to dive. She's going to be in the marketing. She's going to be in the new video board. She will not give up. Volleyball player, softball player, tennis, 
all that. Megan Design's going to hit that ace of spades paddle a billion miles an hour. And then you've got the hottest team in the women's game, Jesse Irvin, Anna Bright, come in here having won the Grand Slam in Cincinnati at the Lindner Family Tennis Center. This game is game one. Be a good time one. in zero zero two. Well, let's play pickleball. Yeah, Irvine and Bright fresh off a gold medal and two players that you do not want to see on the other side of the net. They are fearless zero, zero, when they compete. You can see it in their eyes. They do not like to lose. So the Second contrasting serve. partners here from the Utah duo is Jones is going to be defense resetting. Zero, zero, two. Dazan is going to be bringing power. And the best ATP in the women's game is seen right there. Jesse Irvin, Side just out. vicious. Design kind of in position, but you're not set, and it's zero, zero, one. low and fast. Yeah, Irvine never misses the forehand ATP. That is her bread and butter. Point. Same attempt there, just in the net. So first point on the board for Irvin and Bright. One, zero, one. Just huge pace from Megan Design Second serve. there. <laughs> one, zero, two. Anna Bright, the cow bear. Great tennis player. Side out. I feel like we say that a lot here. It's the tennis players are coming. More and more, too. Zero, one, Saw one. guys in the, in the single straw this week, and I hadn't seen before yep. that play lights out. Look at Elise Jones say, not going to happen. Such good defending. Incredible footwork. She did a great job Second of keeping serve. her body still there, using her paddle to respond, and that's just really, really Zero, one, you know, two. You, We talk a lot about the tennis, but being a volleyball player and getting used to digging that is so critical. Side out. One, zero, one. That's nice inside Point. out by Jesse Irvin there. You'll see Irvin just so patient. Her first drop was a little bit high, stayed back, gave herself five or six chances, and ends up with the uh, Two, aggressive zero, one. speed up for the winner. Yeah, she is never in a hurry either. Take a couple steps, come in, take a couple steps, come in. Beautiful ball by Second Elise serve. Jones, though, as that speeds right past Bright. Yeah, back and forth early on. Two, zero, two. Yeah. Point. yeah, and Dazan retreating off the line because she knows she's in trouble. We saw that a lot in the prior match where it was Smith and Kovalova forcing Three, people zero, to back off the line. It's hard to win. Can't dig that one. Point. The precision of Irvin and Bright is on. We have a timeout. Point Receiving here team today and four. Team Utah says, "All right, four is plenty. Let's go 
regroup here. Well, Irvin and Bright look like a team on fire, and they are a team on fire. So we'll see if the fire can be put out after this. told you. Matt Wright is my lawyer. Well, Matt Wright isn't here, is he? I've got nothing to say to you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Bring me the jigsaw. All right, welcome back. Utah has called timeout. Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright are looking very bright to start. And there's the power. Anna Bright's team in her backhand. And what she needed to do is find a partner that can complement her left side game and clean Five, up zero, two. as she gets better and better at doubles, clean up the middle, and my goodness, these two are starting to find it. And yeah. that is a dangerous bit of news for the rest of the ladies on tour. As an up-and-coming player, there is no one you want more than someone who's experienced zero, five, who understands one. the game, and I think Urban knows doubles more than almost anyone else on tour. One of the best strategists. And so solid. I mean, if you want to look at somebody who keeps their eye on the ball, I mean, just look at her steely glare every time. Point. Yeah, and she has all the shots in the book. She's probably the most consistent player on tour, yeah. but still she can lob, she can speed up, one, five, one. she can attack. Yeah, it might be the most powerful. She doesn't use it all the time. And uh, we start Point. talking about her and we get a couple errors, so uh, I'll write the postcard. You'll have to co-sign. So. Two, five, one. Timeout got things settled down a bit Second serve. for Dazan and Jones. That drive two, five, way too two. high, and high drives to these two is going to be a problem. Oh, that's a nice ball by Jones. Great handle by Bright. has an opportunity there on the dink that sailed just a little far, but uh, unable to find the court. Five, two, really nice lead from Bright. One of the hardest things about coming from tennis is letting those outballs yes. go, and you can see she's already picked that up. That's just Point. really good from Irvin and Bright because the first attack from Design looked good. Yeah, really good job there of not going 100% on that speed up return, but putting it just low enough where it was hard to get back. Goes in the net. And there Point. is the power of Jesse Irvin right there. Yeah, just too good. You can see her feet are already ready for that two-hander. She's almost looking at you as you hit Seven, it to her. Seven, two, one. Okay, you're you're going to do it? You're going to do, do, do it? You're gonna, you did it. Here it comes. A little deep from the Point. lob there. Definitely the proper side to be lobbing from as Eight, the two, one. wind is into their face slightly. Beautiful day here in Peachtree City, Georgia. Yeah. 
Second serve. Irvin loves to do that full extension reach and then go inside out to set up the next ball, but misses in that occasion, not a typical result. 8-2-2. Two, 8-2-2 two. Two, two here. Point. And that dink stays up and Irvin just crushes. Nine, two, two. Oh, and Bright cooks that a little bit, ends up in the booth here with us. But you can see the power and the force on that. And then she has a ridiculous two-handed roll. You don't even want to put the two, ball nine, on the dink. Yeah, with her backhand cross-court dink and Jesse's cross-court forehand dink, there's not a lot of spots in the kitchen that are safe. There's that inside out again, catches the net, play on. Way too high, Jones scraps it back a few times. Oh, and just wide there. Yeah, pressure, just like it's pressure, third. pressure. Too good, what makes this team so, so hard to beat is both players, Bright and Irvin, can come close the middle. Two, and nine, take advantage two. of their partner's yes. aggressive, aggressive shots, so really tough patterns. And that lob again is Slide not out. effective for Elise Jones. And that's this is a frustrating team to play when they're this shot Nine, two, because one. they're just going to sit there and make the dinks, and their dinks are better than yours. Yeah, they're not getting tight. They're not getting nervous. They're going to play their game all day long until something needs to change. Awesome get by Anna Bright. Second serve. Anna Bright, when it doesn't go away, does one of the fastest 180s Nine, two, back two. to the line of anybody. Like, come on, man. I missed that 200 backhand. Boop, pirouette. Back to the kitchen. Point. Yeah, and the. Timeout, receiver. That cut. Ten, two, two. Dink of Jesse Irvins is just so consistent and so penetrating. Really impressive. It's a bright day here in Peachtree City, and it is all about Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright. Look, if we don't figure out this gravity situation, all of those astronauts are gonna die. And the proof of alien life will be gone forever. But we've tried everything. Mm, we haven't tried everything. Bring me the jigsaw. Welcome back, everybody. Jesse Irvin, Anna Bright, looking as good as they did in OHIO. Time in. 10, 2, 2.
And that's Fire a out. good ball there from Elise Jones. So they walk back to the line very determined. Two, there. ten, one. So must have see. discussed something in the yeah. timeout. I mean, okay. Second serve. to that, and just just a one-handed wrist, just get that two, out. Ten, it's like two. a fly that's slow. Just boom, dead, flying against the wall. Look at this defense. Oh, just comes up short. Really like what Anna Bright did there because she just made them miserable. And it's hard to be patient when they're getting all these balls Ten, back. 10, 2, 1. Absolutely. Attention players, Bo Petro and Jim Jacobs. Please report to court 6D. Bo Petro and Jim Jacobs. Plentiful so from Irvin. Point much, J. Jesse Irvin. So Bright and Irvin. Impressive in Ohio. Have brought that down south. They look great in Georgia. Great first game. We'll see if Dazan and Jones can come up with something different. But this team is saying, hey, everybody, we are here. We are here. We have arrived. We are ready to roll. So really impressive game one. Dazan and Jones will try and make it more difficult in game number two. I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy, optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Welcome back, everybody. It is game two. Time in zero zero two. Team Utah ready to go. Point. And the rare two-handed backhand miss from Anna Bright there. So good start. One zero two. Such a good dig from Jones there. That's going to be well deep. Jones might want to put the lob away. It's it is over. Yeah, against Irvin, that is a difficult shot. To Zero block. one one. Design who tries to speed one up there. That's a tough ball because one, they one, see one. it coming too. That's probably going to get just plastered right back at her. Shake and bake. Point. This team can be one, one. in different ways. And now it is Point. Anna Bright sneaking into the middle and rolling it between them. And 
They're smiling. They're playing at a high level. Danger. Three, just one, one. The ball. They're just going side to side. Both of them feel confident taking the middle. And we got Dazan and Jones switching sides. And there's one of the heaviest overheads on the Second tour. Second serve. Nice job from Megan Dazan. Not the smartest lob from Bright, but no. I guarantee you she will not try that again. She definitely doesn't make that Three, mistake. Three, one, two. And runs a 4-5-40 back to the line to serve there. They are ready to play pickleball here today. Oh, look at look at Irvin be able to get out of an aggressive mindset in a half step. Such good cover from Anna. Point. Yeah, the, a lot of the two-handed backhand, especially rec players trying to add that, yeah, she is. love their little roll, but you they are? stay on the sideline, and then the middle is just wide Four, open. One, two. Yep. Bright rallies beautifully into the middle to protect one that she left up. Point. And again, that dipping... Aggressive dink from Bright catches Jones trying to do a little too much. Let's Five, see if one, she's two. frustrated with being on that other side and switches out of it or not. They do. Nice dig, Megan Design. Mm. And now she goes middle, Point. and Elise Jones a little out of sorts here, and that Yola paddle's going on the ground. Timeout receiving team. Bright and Irvin. Precision, power, perfection. Up big here in game two. Welcome back, everybody. There's a beautiful look at the gorgeous club we're at here down in Peachtree City. You can see the flag not moving a lot. There's a little wind down in this little ball Time of the court. Six, we got one, a little built-in grass amphitheater around it, and the crowd is getting treated to a display of talent from Design and Jones trying to stop it, but it's Irvin and Bright who are everywhere and even making good Point. decisions and letting balls go. Yeah, if Team Utah's going to win, they're going to win with their defense. They're not the Seven, most aggressive one, team, and you can't afford mistakes like that. Look at that dig. That's, that's just really good. Clinical right now. Their defense is on, their offense is on, their footwork is impeccable. Eight, one, two. Tough team to beat. And that is a Point. clean winner on the dink after all that. 
Earlier in the point, Bright had a chance to keep Dazan back and went in front of her, and that required 20 more shots, but just setting up Jesse Irvin for a clean winner off the deck. Nine, I one, mean, all two. credit to Jones and Dazan. They played a fantastic yes. point, but I just don't know what to say here. Too much from Irvin and Bright. Dear. Now Jesse's throwing up perfect lobs, and Bright is finishing complimentary pickleball everywhere. Winner of this gets Kovalova and Smith. Ten, one, two. We are at match point. And that's just wide point. and Game. Match. Bright and Irvin. They didn't smile until that last point there. That's how focused and driven those two were. So impressive is not even a good enough word for these two here. So what a matchup that's going to be with Kovalova and Smith versus Irvin and Bright. My goodness. That'll happen a little later today. But uh, this is impressive pickleball here today. The the top seeds are acting like the top seeds today, Alex. So we'll see more of that when we come back here from Peach Tree City. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey Cameron, how's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper, because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. Ah. I guess I'm sort of unique in how I was introduced to the sport because I was sort of watching from the sidelines for years as my brother was ascending to the top of the sport. Pickleball was kind of funny and then it crept up on me in terms of what it was to me. So I started playing in early 2016 and in that time there were a couple professional tournaments. I didn't have any plans with it. I just thought it was fun. I played the US Open for the heck of it. Ben and I are both competitive. We like to win all the time. And of course, in a gold medal match, there's more on the line, so you want to win those. Ben John's having a moment. It was all John's brothers in control from the start. They had their foot on the gas pedal and did not let up. If you're the target, that means you're in a good position when it's where other people want to be. So I definitely don't underestimate or undervalue that. Really, it's about trying to trying to stay on top. You know, I mean, people say you don't have upwards to go, and that's that's never exactly true. It's a constant fight still, and that's really what it's more about is the the grinding, the fight. My number one reason and why I continue to play pickleball is is the fact that I get to spend time on court with my little brother. It's just really cool that we found a sport that we can compete in and play together, let alone actually be at the top of the sport. So pickleball really did, in many ways, come out of nowhere. It's very sociable, so when you go to play, you might have a billionaire, a janitor, and, and just your average housewife on the same court and wanting to win, wanting to play well, and enjoying themselves. Out of nowhere might be the title right now, but years from now, it's gonna be something very different.
The ProXR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. ProXR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. ProXR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. All right, welcome back here at the PPA Tour. Dave Fleming with Alex Newman. Thanks for joining me today, Alex. Enjoying it quite a bit. So much fun. And, Good pickle. Uh, we got dudes back on the court here. We got uh, a game to 15, and Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson had about as heartbreaking a loss as you can have in pickleball. When you fight and scrap against the team that's on fire, like Riley Newman and Matt Wright, have a match point on the paddle of J.W. Johnson, it just sails deep, and then they lose the next three. Lose 12-10. Now you got to grind out in the back draw. And... Uh, who do they have on the other side? We haven't seen young Ben Newell and A.J. Kohler. Tell the folks about these two. Yes, yeah, so we got A.J. Kohler, a known commodity on the PPA Tour, with a partner we haven't seen before, Ben Newell. Up-and-comer, fellow Team Carbon player. Um, he's really been making some, some inroads recently. I think he played in the Selkirk Showdown yes. with Tyson. Um, just a guy with unbelievable hands. You'll, you'll see him drive a lot of balls, not afraid to get up there and hit him hard with the best of them, and we'll see if that works against... Johnson and Frazier, two guys with uh, some of the best hands in the game. Yeah, so these just, I mean, Ben Newell will hit a one-handed backhand 100 miles an hour. He'll hit his forehand 100 miles an hour. AJ's a good complement to that with his hands to be able to shake and bake some of that stuff. And then Newell's going to be flying all over the place. If Kohler doesn't lob 10 times, I'll be upset. And, Loving the black and gold shirt there for A.J. Kohler. Thank you, brother. Those are the colors of, of football season as far as I'm concerned. Okay. I'm in jail, jail jail too. tomorrow, and uh, let's play pickleball. A nice first volley. Hey, you'll see Newell. He likes to cheat on that Ernie and try to give that space zero, zero, to A.J. One. middle of the court. Yeah, Second just, it's going to be heat all day from Newell. One thing you don't see a lot in pro men's doubles is two. more than one drive in a row. Yeah. But you saw that in the first point right there. Nice point. matrix dodged by Newell. Got the chicken and pickle hat out of the way. Yep, and that's a classic AJ Kohler speed up, former hockey player. So one, zero, two. has really strong wrists. Can take a lot of balls from the kitchen, hit them hard. And he's used to vulcanized rubber coming at him. So you think a little plastic pickleball is going to bother him? Absolutely not. And that hockey puck's even Zero, one, one. All right, Dylan Frazier serving. There's a Missouri Tiger. Second serve. Zero, one, two. That's nice Start by out. Newell. Caught J.W. Johnson thinking line there and went back inside. Almost a no look. It looked yeah. like on, on the left. It looked line. One, zero, one. Okay. Let's bring it down some rain. Not that that's in the forecast. And Newell is so quick that he... Second Stole the ball that Kohler was going to pulverize. Oh, yeah. 1 0 2. Still smiling about it. Third shot lob. Fifth shot, seventh shot lob, and eight shot, shot overhead. Let's have some fun out here today. Uh, you know you're going to get it with Kohler again. This is one game to 15, too, just to make Zero, one, one. that clear. We are in the back row. We'll switch sides at eight. Point. Good drive. That's really seen Dylan Frazier's singles game rising. Like what he's doing with the Selkirk Labs paddle, really pounding the groundies, and that one, is one, one. coming over to his doubles as well. Ooh. 
Point. Ow. That's gotta hurt. JW Johnson just standing there, just so Two, one, one. in control, just swats. Oh my! Second serve. That's exactly what Frazier and Johnson want. That's a beautiful two-minute backhand from J Dub. Yeah, Johnson and Frazier definitely aren't happy about two, that one, loss two. in the quarters. I guarantee you, they're going for bronze this afternoon. Point. Good job of Newell to be ready for the first attack, but uh, couldn't get it in a dangerous Three, one, two. place for J-Dub, and he finishes. Side out. Nice job by A.J. <laughs> Kohler hitting down on that. One, three, one. Don Stanley, the head referee on the call there. If there's a foot fault, I'm warning you now. It's the alarm will sound. Okay, that lands on the line. And Kohler gets tagged. The mistake Second there serve. by Newell is follow that in, brother. You yeah, got he hit a great lob. I think he line. was too busy admiring it. It was a beautiful shot. So but look at the arc. One, three, two. Thing, man, this is beautiful. It's like he was looking at the St. Louis Arch. That's a nice spot there. Side out. Yeah, these guys aren't, aren't going to let a, a high dink sit. Every single ball is going to no. be punished if you let it even an inch above the net. Yeah, Newell's dink was high, and then Kohler's holding backhand got hit on paddle side. That's a problem. 3-1-1. One, one. Second serve. Hands battle galore there. Kohler just so, so compact. 3 1 2. Swing and a miss by one, but uh, track down. Lefty overhead. Oh, back to the kitchen, but it's Side wide. Up. That did not go deep. Yeah, this looks like tennis doubles out here. You got lobs <laughs> and switching and other lobs and some overheads. One, three, one. Second serve. Yeah, one thing Johnson and Frazier are doing a great job of right now is keeping that ball low. They know Colin. Newell just want to speed up every single ball One, three, see in their eyes, and they haven't gotten the chance to yet. Uh, Newell did exactly what he Side wanted up. there, but then can't execute. And this is a tough matchup for Newell, who gets a lot of three, one, winners one. and pop-ups off those heavy drives, but these two love having big, hard groundies hit at them. Second They're just serve. waiting for it. Yeah. If you tell them that they're not going to get a drop and they can just punch back drives, they're happy. Three, one, with it. Two. Good news. Side out. <laughs> Noel just doesn't even move, doesn't even bother to look back and call it out. One, Rocking three, one. Bright pink, bright blue polo shirt. Yeah. Interesting look. I like it. A lot of fashion statements we expected from the ladies, Second, but sir. the men saw some board shorts from Callan Dawson or something that looked like him, and he's got One, serving three, chops to, to back that up. <laughs> if I go about out there with that, that is an absolute lie. Pull me. Pull me from the tournament. Shut yeah, out. I brought out the visor yesterday, caused some ruckus. Uh -huh. Kind of makes sure you're having fun on center court, give people exactly. what they want. We like a ruckus here, Alex. Let's go. 3-1-1. Oh, Dylan Frazier missed an opportunity there. Double bounce. That's wide. Point. Kohler disgustingly slaps the air. Like, how did that happen? 
Yeah, a little wind moving around one, right one. now. Probably best to lob in the center of the court so the lob will end up somewhere between the lines. Second serve. Johnson and Fraser still have a lead, but have been moving a little slow the first few points. So four, one, two. Kohler still have a chance to get back into this one. Yeah, it feels like a lot more than 4-1-2 just because you haven't seen a lot of the Kohler and Newell magic. Nice try by Newell there. Hope he's okay. Point. Newell reminds me of Agassi the way that he likes to kind of ballerina on his toes and get the balls with great balance. 5-1-2. his feet. Out. That two-handed drop comes up short. So 1-5 is where we're at. 1-5-1. One, one. And that's point. the first time where I've seen AJ being in control of a point in this match. He's certainly done some other things, but that's him dictating. Two, five, one. Second serve. First missed drive from Ben Newell. Two, yeah, five, two. You don't want to have him change his game. Keep firing. That's nice. Point. Really good shot there from Kohler. Looks like a drive and sort of a drive, but he's going 50%. More about placement and lets Newell take advantage of that return. Step Three, in five, for the two. shake and bake. Oh, and Point. chicken and pickle on chicken and pickle crime there is right in the middle of the logo off the tape. Yeah, Ben's drives are so low that you know, that's going to happen more often than you think. Hit the tape and get a lucky bounce. Shut up. And you hate to give it back after you got a nice lucky break. 5-4-1. So 5-4 again. 1-15 to 15 here. Fighting towards a bronze medal date is what these gentlemen are striving for. That's a beautiful ATP from Second Ben serve. Newell right there. You got to be patient on an ATP and he just let it travel and then flicked it into the open Five, court. Four, yeah, a lot of folks will get excited about the opportunity, but really it's all about timing. If you let the ball wait for the last second, it's pretty easy to hit. Point. Rare miss from AJ on a pretty simple dink. Yeah, the spin got just a little bit away from Six, him there. Four, two. 6-4-2, says Don Stanley. Out. That's the point they want, AJ taking over, sliding over to the forehand side. Nice. No time to waste in a game to 15. No, you want to hit one. those mile markers. Mile marker eight's the first one. You want to switch with the lead. There's A.J. Kohler, crap, Point. walking the line. That's a shot that only A.J. Kohler can pull off, take the entire court, hit a relatively simple speed up, and be Five, there six, for the one. overhead winner. 5-6. Nice hands, Ben Newell, okay. Oh, dear. Second serve. The sun is up, so that would be slightly in the eyes of Five, six, Johnson two. and... Frazier as well. Nice hand by Newell. He just is so compact on it. He just slides back in and ready. Yeah, that's the shot that Newell wants is speed up. He's using his opponent's pace. Not really hitting the ball hard at all, okay. but just absorbing it right back on him. Him there. We're good. Six six two. 
That is a point. nice point by Newell and Kohler in trouble. Fending off attacks, and then it's Newell again who tags J.W. Johnson on the outside that, that really stands. And that speed up Seven, came about AJ. after Newell yep. slid into the kitchen. I don't know if you heard that from his shoes, but he got up so fast that he actually slid with both feet. Okay. Still stayed What's behind the line. 7 4 two. I guarantee uh, seven, six, you on the point before this, it felt like Ben Newell served to that court. All right. We'll Side carry out. on. That's a new rule I think they introduced this week that the ref can correct you if you're in the wrong position and yeah. that team won't lose the point. This might be what happened. Six, so seven, one. We might have played a point out of position, but uh, that's okay. Point. Really a good job from Frazier there. He probably could have tried around the post on that ball, but he knew he was out of position. So safe dink back to the middle and won the point. Seven, seven, one. <laughs> Second serve. Nice cut return from Kohler there. And again, I do like, let's get everybody in the right seven, spots. Seven, seven, two. Let's just play. Yeah. Let's play pick ball. No easy points. All pros out here. Oh, dear. As I say it, point <laughs> switch in. Overhead into the fence. There's your carbon, buddy, huh? <laughs> so Newell frames one off the beautiful video board, and it is Johnson and Frazier that'll switch with the lead, but it's tight. Who will get to 15 first? We'll find out. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Oh. Call in one one. Hey, uh, Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. Why stay out of kitchens? All right, we are back. Great crowd here at the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. We are in Peachtree City, Georgia, about an hour, a little less than that from the center of Atlanta, a little south. West yes, and a uh, gorgeous day for pickleball. Come in. Yeah, eight, great seven, match two. on the court right here. A lot of fun styles. Kohler looking for the Ernie but didn't get it but still has the athleticism to get Point. back. And Johnson's like, all right, you won one of those where your backhand got me. Newell, not again, brother, not again. Nine, seven, two. Start out. Good first volley from Newell there. So, down two. There's a good look at Kohler. Newell. Seven on one. Video boards. That Second, little third. flick lob. <laughs> AJ's like, uh huh. Smiling to the booth. He wants yeah. to do something out there. But oh, yeah. Seven on two. He's too good of a drop from he, knows. he and I talk about lobs a lot, so a little short on that one. Bad luck off Start the tape out. there, Newell. Impressive hand eye just to get a paddle on that. Yeah, a little too fast for his own good there. He got up there right, right away, and the ball was sailing out. Nine, seven, one. Man, that reset Second, is obscene before that. Didn't look like a lot, but that that's a winner on 90% of the players. Not I mean, his hands, Kohler's hands are not moving at all, but somehow the ball just escapes from his paddle. And into a safe Point. place. 
But part of the problem with being that talented is it makes you want to go for yes. really fancy shots, and that one went straight into the net. 10-7-2. He likes to run in front of his partner and then drag that forehand back across the body of the person in front of him, but it's a risky ball because it's got to be low. Now it's Kohler's turn to watch a lob. This one goes deep. Side out. 7-10-1. Second serve. Just a little too much there from Johnson. Newell telegraphed that speed yes. up, held it a little long, and Johnson was on top of it. Yeah, Kohler able to dig yeah, a little bit out of it, but not all of it. Set out. Great return. Creates a high third and a short point. 10-7-1. Dylan Frazier getting those RPMs on the paddle spin. Point. Really Another good place from yep. Frazier. They see Newell sliding over, and AJ tries to take the middle, so he drops 11, it right in that 3-4 spot. That forces AJ to take a step back. Great partner protection there by AJ. Um, Point. Now, paddle clank in the middle, and it's all Frazier and Johnson right now. And they're smiling on the way back. And 12 7 1. Point. And that is a beautiful flick for J.W. Johnson. And this is looking like that second game against Newman and Wright where Frazier. And Johnson could do no wrong. Yeah, I mean, every ball, whether 13, it's seven, a dink one. or drive, they're speeding it up in the right spot. Haven't missed a ball this second half of the game to 15. And that pressure forces a mistake Point, from Kohler. Point, 14 one timeout quickly, receiving team. And they're going to go think about it. So, Frazier and Johnson, one point from moving on. It's very close. 8-7 at the turn is now 14-7. My name is Catherine Parento and I've been playing pickleball for almost six years. I travel a lot uh, to play in tournaments. I'm always on planes and I see a lot of people when I travel. I need to make sure that I stay healthy. I need to support my immune system. So that's the reason why I use the Pure Way C+. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Gorgeous day for pickleball here in Peachtree City. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to you watching at home. Dave Fleming with rising pickleball pro Alex Newman. And Tommy in. two young players 14, on the court one. looking very good are Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Second serve. Unable to close it out. They don't want to think about the last match point they had. I think it might still be Johnson serve, but <laughs> he was so focused on that first point that he threw the ball back. 14-7-2. Newell thought he missed that wide, but he caught the line. And that AJ point, says game, was man. good. So that caught the line as well, and it is Johnson and Frazier. It was 8-7 at the turn, and they win all seven points after the turn. That's impressive. They have put together streaks where they look unstoppable. That time they're able to finish. Really well done by Frazier and Johnson. So they're moving on. They'll keep this going, and we'll have more great pickleball action from the pickleball capital of Peachtree City. We're at a beautiful invited property right here. You don't get the moments everyone talks about. 
without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddle Tech, let's go again. Miss hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so speak for yourself, for kids. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide. With 973 courts across the country, our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts. With 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute GOAT. Nice. Speaking of GOATs, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the McGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the McGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the McGuffin Pickleball Club. Not yet, buddy.
back, everybody. What a setting here, Peachtree City. What a great day of pickleball here, Alex Newman. Uh, we've seen it all. We've seen ATPs, Ernie's lobs, track downs, and we've seen the cream has been rising. The top seeds are advancing. We're going to see another game to 15 here. And uh, this is going to be a fun one. Got Talon Dawson and DJ Young up against Chuck Taylor and Pat Smith. We saw both of these teams earlier. Lost some tough battles. We'll see who can prevail in this one. It looks like Chuck has brought out the uh, tank top. And Pat's obviously rolled up the sleeve. So we'll see if showing the guns helps him out in this game to 15. You know, if it's a gun show Saturday, that's when you are really feeling it. Of course, Pat Smith, it's always right side only gun show. Left side closed. One side rolled, left side keep the stun protected. Yeah, that's exactly right. Time in, zero, right, zero, two. Be fun. One game to 15, let's play pickleball. Side out. Two really patient players in, in Dawson and Taylor, so we'll see how their counterparts, Smith and, and Young, try to zero, take over zero, and one. be more aggressive in the center of the court. Yeah, you've got a couple of patient players, one kind of in the middle and Pat Smith, and then the tricks of the trade of DJ Young. And look at Pat Smith get serve. off the ground. I did not think he was going to touch My that ball, goodness. let alone pound it down for that a winner. That kid is so much zero, healthier zero, in 2022, two. and it's great to see. It is that dink right there, so deceptive. Because DJ can pull that out wide too, but Chuck Side says no. -uh. Left it a little high and yeah. then kind of just stuck his body out and paid the price. Yeah, because DJ is always cheating middle, so zero, you can catch him outside one. hip sometimes. They're going to serve. Taylor reaching and swinging. That did not work out well. Zero, zero, two. The distinctive voice of the Prince, Derek Prince, on the call. Point. One, zero, miss. Those are the shots you don't get back in a game to 15. Okay. Every ball you miss two counts when the score One, finishes zero, up. two. Oh, Pat Smith. Right out. Has such a beautiful forehand drive. Just misses that one wide. Ends up here in the booth. Zero, one, one. That law from the law yes, master not going to work against no, Pat. It is not. So Smith Zero, and Taylor, one, Dawson and Young here. This moves you a step Side closer out. to bronze. You'd still need to beat the losers of semifinal matches later tonight. So this is as far as you can one, go until zero, we get one. those played. Yeah, getting a bronze in these tough PPA draws is arguably more difficult than a gold or a silver because you got to play tons of matches against serve. best teams yes. in the draw, and you only get a game to 15 to do it. So one mistake and you're out. One zero two. Indecision on who's taking that ball, and then at the last second, Pat Smith pulls the trigger, goes well wide, or well deep, Zero, excuse one, me. One. Good look at the sidearm baseball star, Callan Dawson. Second Great speed from Taylor, caught Dawson on the run, gave him the advantage of the hands battle, ends up with the point. Zero, one, two. <laughs> yeah! 
Nice job by Pat Smith. A little scorpion in the middle of that and then finishes again. Side gets out. beat backside. Yeah, that's the Smith special. Hands battle, come out with one the wind, let out one. the roar. Yes. You know he's feeling it. And decision there. And look at Callan Dawson's camper. And we're going to play a little pitter patter. Something. And just a Point. forceful ball after Young left one up. Yeah, when packets go and it's a train that's hard to stop, we'll see if he keeps speeding Two, on the ball. Zero, one. He's definitely feeling the aggression right now. That's a nice attack from Callan Dawson. He has that unique style, but he also is one of the best at reaching into the kitchen. Yeah, it's because he holds that paddle so high up on the grip that gives him an extra inch two, on zero, the reach two. inside. Side out. And a rare mistake from Chuck on the forehand dink. Yes, everybody staring down at the ground as Zero, if that two, was one. the reason that dink was missed. It always is. That or a hole in the paddle. Oh, the paddle. Well, some of those cell carks just saying. Second serve. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, my guy Tyson on the stream. Zero, two, two. Great transition defense, Point. and then Dawson decided to pull the trigger and got away with his up, and Taylor didn't get his paddle in the right position. One, two, two. Side out. This is what we saw from this team earlier. They'd have streaks of just brilliant play and couldn't stack them. Yep. Even more important in two, one game, one, if you one. have areas that are going to add up quickly, and all of a sudden you might find yourself in a big hole. Again, Young cheating middle was beat, but deep and wide. A little lucky there. He gave Taylor too much time to think about how to disguise that attack and ended up with a wizardry two, shot one, that two. flailed long. Side out. And a pretty simple side out for Dawson and Young, so let's see if they can get something going. One, two, one. That's a strong first volley Second there serve. from Pat Smith. Yeah, as these teams get tired, as the day gets longer, it's going to be hard to One, two, will yourself two. to play these long kitchen points. You're seeing some more drives, shorter points, easier volleys. Point. Pat with a really smart speed up, but got unlucky with the net. Yes. Almost got himself out of that one, but back end goes long. Two, two, two. Okay, a little lob serve. Mix it up. That speed up also Point. in the telegraph looks like they knew exactly where Taylor was going there. Yes, Dawson and put it away. Impressive job by Dawson to just Three, not overcooking that. There's the classic lob doctor. Oh, and the drop shot to go with it. What an elegant little course for two. Point. The lob drop shot combo, nothing feels better than pulling that combo off on the court. Let's see if they can pull through a few more points here. Plus, Four, as we two, talked about, two. it's getting later in the day, the wear and tear of just making them go back and forth. And 
There you go. Point. Get a miss from Time that. Out. And the Apollo team. is Five, chucked. Two, two. Timeout is called. So lob, drop shot, miss. It's all going the way of Dawson and Young here. We'll be right back with the rest of this game to 15. I felt like I had to always drink water over and over, but I still felt a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But once I tried to incorporate more electrolytes in my daily life, it really helped me out. My favorite thing about the pickleball cocktail is the flavor. It tastes great. I drink the pickleball cocktail every morning to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the whole day. It's important to drink first thing in the morning. If you wait until you play, you're usually too late. You start feeling dehydrated. When it comes to hydration, don't wait before it's too late. Welcome back. Good look at Callan Dawson and DJ Young. Just getting some last minute strategy decisions. Thrilled to be joined all day with Alex Newman. No better way to spend a Saturday than watching phenomenal pickleball here in the PPA Tour. Yeah, a little yellow ball going back and forth, but it keeps us quite entertained Indeed. for several hours. Two, five, one. Athletic from Dawson, he jumps back, hits the backhand overhead, gets it inside the kitchen low at Taylor's feet. Two, five, two. Look at that staying off the hand or the handle of the paddle by Pat Smith. Yeah! And a big yell after that. So fortunate to stay in the point early and then nice point. finish by the big man. Three, five, two. And it was 60%, 70%, 90%. One, two, three. Uh, Patch just obliterated that third ball, but like you said, set it up with two well-timed, well-placed speed-up attempts. And now we got a 4-5 comeback. Point. And that dink battle is won by Taylor and Smith. So now they're on a nice little roll. You see Chuck Taylor there. And five, five, two. The deficit from when the paddle was rolling across the court is gone. Side out. Like that speed up from Pat. Chuck was on it, just a yep. little bit too low, but they're happy with that point. Yeah. And they've neutralized everything. Five, so five, five, one. five apiece here. Yeah, a lot of pickle to go. Still basically a game to 10 for both teams. They can serve. Just missed there on the drive. Got the short return off a good serve. Which team can get to eight first? That's the. Five, five, two. Very good trying to hit right now. 
Fallon Dawson has thrown up the lob serve a few times and it has gotten some weaker returns. Side out. Taylor just crunches that one that just sat, just begging to be attacked in the middle. Hit me, that ball said. Chuck was happy to oblige. Five, five, one. We're in the shade, so I can't tell what his eyes look like, but I guarantee you he enjoyed hitting that ball. No one can tell because he's got those sweet, sweet shades. Oh, yeah. Those poker players love Second to wear serve. those shades sitting at the table. Definitely intimidating if you're on the other side of the court. Five, five, two. Great shot from Chuck. Just the wrist point keeps that ball right inside the line. Just stays in. So they have their first lead yes, since they were down Six, big five, early. Two. Side out. And Pat Smith very nearly turned his paddle into a sandwich there. He has been nine by six, one. <laughs> shot lob, fish shot lob. Pat Smith makes a good decision, lets Second it serve. go. Both teams struggling to put a lot of points on the board in a row. I think whoever gets to eight first Five, is gonna feel six, a big two. sigh of relief on that Yeah, this out. is a wonky match so far. Just like Side that, out. just like no energy, no, it's a grind. Yeah, that's what happens in the back drives. It's not just about six, how you play, five, it's one. the side of things, how the body's feeling. A lot of factors to serve. play. I mean, look at this. We had an awful missed third and then a serve that wasn't even hit hard that sailed Six, a foot five, long. Two. Double hopper off the tape. And that speed up a little too Side early out. for Pat, I think. Yep, he's pointing at the place he wished that would have gone, but uh, there is no rewind Five, six, button. One. Yeah, the DJ Young forehand is not where you want the speed up to go, generally. Another lob serve. Second serve. So Young's hitting lob serves. Callen's been hitting lob. We're just, we're trying. We're yeah, trying anything here. Could be the strategy, could be the time of the day, but a lot of funky Five, shots, a lot six, of lobs two. out here today. Miss return. And Point. we're gonna clunk our way to eight here and then maybe turn it on. We've seen every non-ideal shot possible. Reverse Tommy. Oh, and we've got a footfall call here from Point. Our second referee, Don Morgan, over there has got his eye on that. And that's Seven, the six, danger of the flying Ernie. You don't know where you come down. And Taylor comes down. We've got balls jumping off the tape. Is that this pickleball? Day? It is. It is. It's uh, pickleball without momentum. So let's see what can happen. Six, here. seven, one. That's a real nice point from Pat point. Smith right there. I like that from Pat. I think right now the teams both seem, like you said, a little bit low energy. I think the team that comes out a little more aggressive, a little seven, more seven, is one. Find themselves with a lead. Yeah, and there's a difference between effort and energy. The effort is 100% here from all four players. Oh, oh Pat Smith point. is happy that did not Time come out because that was his Eight, seven, body one, one that, that was labeled for. So it, it is. Smith and Taylor who get the lead at the switch. They get to mile marker eight, but only up one. So Alex, this has been a little disjointed, let's be honest. But uh, they are in a very nice place here. 
as far as switching, even though the lead is only one point. What do you tell DJ Young and Kyle and Dawson who are, you know, trying to find the best of their game? So they've inched their way to basically a tie game. I guarantee you they're not hoping to play another 30 minutes for the final eight. Um, at this point, you got to play a trick on yourself. Tell yourself, I'm only playing a first to eight game. One quick half game, let's focus on that. We're tied up, let's start fresh, start new. Um, and, and make yourself realize that it's really only seven points to go. Yeah, you see... Uh... Chuck Taylor's over here in the corner getting some nourishment. Shallon threw a banana. Just anything you can find. Sometimes it's literally that. Get a little energy from some, some food. Get hydrated. Talk about one little thing that we want to do, either improve or different or... Yeah, and then find that energy. Every team uses these timeouts differently. Some of them don't talk, put their head in the towel. Some of them um, really talk strategy, figure out what they're going to change up. But those breaks are always important to try to reset, figure out what to do next. Yeah, this, uh, this break appeared to be just individual get yourself as, as sharp then, as you possibly eight, can mentally seven, and physically one. here. All right, here we go, 8-7. And that's a good handle because Taylor had a vicious swing on that and Young was able to deal with it. It looks like DJ is already coming out with some more energy. You can see in his eyes there. He wanted that Eight, ball. Eight, seven, two. <laughs> that's just nice Point. by Chuck Taylor reaching in and just taking placement over power. Just a nice little angle. Gets DJ Nine, reaching. Seven, two. Side Tried out. to go for the exact same play there, drop in middle, and then go hard at DJ's backhand behind him, but he was there that time. Yeah, I think Pat Smith's like, I'll take that one. point again. I'm, I'm hitting really nice, hard, low rolling backhand volleys. Yep. They're going to serve. Dawson a little in a hurry there. Seven, and nine, you see two. Callan and DJ. Oh my. Taylor lets it Point. go and it's a foot inside the line and three feet inside the baseline. So mm -hmm. young painting. Eight, nine, two. Beautiful brushes, but Taylor's like, that's gotta be hit, man. That's a much better ball. Point. So two short returns, and this is what DJ Young can do to you. He can score five points in 15 seconds, no doubt, with some of the best ball you've ever seen in your life. Nine, it's not nine, just the ball two. you're seeing, but it's also how he's imposing himself, rushing into net with that big frame, and there you go, three points. Point. And there's the lob serve where the returners got to put all of the energy into the ball and the pace. Ten, nine, two. And you got to mix it up. So now Callan comes back with a ball with pace, gets a short one. Oh, that was sailing. I Side think out. that ball is going to hit the Pro XR pickleball logo without question. But there was a Dawson in the way. So uh, good for Taylor. Shades are coming off now, it looks like, for Taylor. We'll see what that means. Nine, ten, one. There's a mistake, Point. so not at a 10. So next mile marker, we got both of them in the double figures ten, ten, as you can one. get to that 14. At this point, it's all mental willpower. Who wants it more? Look at both men hustling. They're both there, too. You do not have to run together. That's not a rule. Oh, and Pat Smith just can't believe that sailed deep. It was like they were tethered together. That was beautiful partner running there from Let both players. Serve. Pat fell to the ground. I think he felt ten, he deserved ten, that two. point. Unfortunately, the backhand went long. Great lob by DJ set up all that chaos. Ah! 
Nice job again, catching DJ. Point. Slide and watch him slide to the middle here. And ball goes where he just was. Again, if he leaves it up and guesses middle, you have a 11, lot 10, of open court two. that you don't have to do anything special. All right, 11, 10, 2. Side out. Smith. Can't quite get there, and you know it's it's cumulative. So tracking down the the lob and that drop shot, 10, 11, your one. legs are a little less lively than they were before that point. Yeah. Can lead to speed ups like that. Where you say I don't want to play this point for too much longer. Let me speed it up and win it quickly. And sometimes it doesn't work out. 11, 11, one. Let's see if Pat Smith can handle this one. He does. Oh, oh, Callan Dawson. Second Double serve. bouncer, Pat Smith, like, glad to be the beneficiary 11, 11, there. Two. That one's got to hurt when you hit such a great volley like Colin did and just couldn't get to that net court. Oh, and that's the, that's the Side pattern out. they want. And then Young just smashes that down and unfortunately rolled it and went 11, deep. 11, 1. And what a struggle to get to 15 here. Oh, hello. Hello, flying Tommy, Ernie, Angle, Geometry Teachers Unite. The DJ special, he loves that shot. Hitting, Seven, hitting into the crowd, jumping before the ball was even hitting. 11, 11, he knew where it was going. That is why this is one of the most exciting players to watch because you're going to get stuff that is so entertaining and so athletic. Now you got to back it up at 11 apiece. Point. That's Chuck Taylor. And take another look at DJ Young flying through the air here. 12, 11, 2. Here he comes. Boom. Beautiful. Nice finish by Dawson there. Okay. Inching. Trudging. Inching our way to 15 here. 11, 12, 1. 11, 12, 1. DJ Young serving. And the ball kisses off the tape. Nothing Taylor can do there. 12, 12. Points. So now you're just thinking, all right, dig in. Three, play three great points. Three First great three. points. Three Simple. great points. 12, 12, 1. Good deep serve by Young there. Gets him up. Oh. Ah! That's a great point right there. Good handles of a couple balls off the tape, too. Sounds simple when you're talking from the booth, but winning three points against 12, the best players 12, in the world two. is a lot more difficult than it sounds. And another lob serve to Pat Smith. Oh, and a lob works for the lob doctor, and Point. Taylor was behind him, takes a big swing at a kink it on top of it. 13 12 2. 13 12 2. Oh my, and <laughs> Pat Smith mishits this badly, and it goes off the edge of his paddle for an angle. DJ meant his angle, Pat did not. He kissed the paddle Side that out. he was just chewing on earlier, and they get it back. My 12, goodness, 13, this, this match is nuts. Smith up to the attack here, and we're 13 all. Point. Not at 13, exactly timeout. what we expected, I think, when 13, 13, this match one. has been moving along. I mean, there's a timeout called. So 13, 13. We'll come back. Will it be 15, or will it be more? We'll see. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Come on!
Does he do that every time? Every time. Happy birthday, Matt. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Oh, wow. And another one. Oh, you shouldn't have. I have one more surprise for you. Okay. Oh, come on. I love it, babe. High drama here in Peachtree City as Pat Smith and Chuck Taylor, who you see there, have clawed their way into this 13-13. Oh, and DJ Young goes for that same Point. very sharp angle on the jump, but that ball was much lower than the other one, and we have a match point for Pat Smith and Chuck Taylor. That is a great shot, but probably 14, the worst 13, time to try one. to pull it out. Chuck Taylor Second goes serve. for an aggressive dink off the ball that's close to the sideline. Second chance. 14, 14 13, 13 two. two. And that will do it. So Pat Smith and Point Chuck Taylor in. just grind Match out 15, and win. 13. That first drive by Pat Smith might have been long. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. So it is Pat Smith and Chuck Taylor who find just enough. Really, the second half of that match much better played than the first half. And then it was who's going to come through at the end. Really well done. They will move on. Their opponent will be determined later this afternoon. That's a great win for Taylor and Smith. We'll be back with more action right after this. Pickleball. Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge.
match point It's all up to me Nothing can get in my way And when they ask what are you gonna do next I'll say I'm going margaritaville.com. Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. Wait, but you have a... Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh-uh. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow? A gas card. I could use this. Hey, that... <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with a new guest. What's up, Johnny Pickleball? Zero, zero, one. Let's go. Got the ladies playing a game to 15. And Second serve. Wrecker and Fudge are sorry, not sorry, as we join this zero, again. Zero, two. We'd love the same amount of drama we had in our last game to 15, which was epic 15-13 struggle that Smith and Taylor Point. were able to get. Dazan and Jones ran into the steamroller that is currently Bright and Irvin earlier. That's and right. And they are One, looking zero, to try and find their game now. And I think this will be a good Point. team to show. Can can we elevate our play? And yeah, can absolutely. we do it? They oh, certainly no. are capable. Their last match, they uh, they were able to, to kind of they were down a little early kind of made some moves, and all of a sudden they kind of went on a tear, so I'm sure they're going to feed off of that momentum going forward here against Megan Fudge and uh, Rachel Recker. Oh, indecision in the middle, Sorry. and that ball's got to be designs all day long, and just take it and crush it. On, so there's a good Zero, look, two, Rachel one. Recker in the black about to serve. Megan Fudge always in that excellent ready position, the fighting Illini tennis star. Oh my, swing and a miss by Fudge, but Redger's back there with the backhand and we're still playing. Oh no. A little Point. love from the net there for <laughs> Megan Fudge as she laughs about it headed back to the baseline. Fun nice little uh, volleyball play there, you know, one swing and then the other one actually yeah. hits it. Yeah, we're going to bump set spike and you got three hitters <laughs> going up to get one, the ball. One. Which one's going to get it? Again, one game to 15 here. Second serve. Nah. Rachel Recker trying to pull the trigger right down the line. She thought she had the opening, just overcooked it a little bit. Second serve here goes to one, Fudge. Two, two. And Recker again had the opportunity. Definitely some telegraph in that, so you can see it coming. Two. Got Anisha Two, Smith one, one. making the call here. Point. 
That one's going to sail a little deep for Rachel Recker once again. Maybe just a little bit excited here on center court. Game to 15 still knows we got to come out swinging, come out hot. 3-1-1. Uh, see if she kind of reins it in here as the match progresses. It's a good Point. low ball combo from Elise Jones there. And she plays fast. She will be at the line ready to go the second Onisha Smith one, one. calls that score. Yeah. Oh, beautiful lob volley, but that somehow stays in. Oh, and Fudge comes Point. roaring from the backcourt. A little too much roaring. There's a lot of five, roaring going one, on. One. Um, nice try on the poach, though. I don't mind it. Going to take a timeout here. So we'll see how they do and see how they uh, respond after all of this. And maybe just like I said, rein it in. But until then, take a break. We'll be back right after this. I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to, we need to dive into the yellow more. All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Johnny Pickleball Andrews. Time in. Here for the rest of the day. Five, We've one, got one. Uh, this game to 15, and we're going to jump in all these delicious semifinals. It's going to be awesome, Pickleball. Point. For sure, Megan Fudge taking a step back off the line, trying to get underneath a nice little cut, just uh, Six, a little one, too one. much. So going back to Elise Jones' serve here. Again, it's Dazan and Jones getting mistakes from Rutger and Fudge and pushing the pace. You have seven. The amount of power that Megan Dazan has been getting on the ball lately has been a lot more than previous. Oh. I don't know what's the what's the main difference seven, there. Could be the, the new difference paddle? is the ace of spades. How about that? Yes, sir. <laughs> no question about it. I mean, obviously she's training hard and is a better player than six months ago, but. Second that serve. plus a new piece of equipment has been very, very effective Seven, for Megan. One, two. Absolutely incredible. Side out. And that one, she's just going to be on the back foot a little bit, so I uh, got, got caught, got a little excited, a little late one, on the timing. One. So you look for that switch sides at eight. You want to have as big a lead as you can. See if Wrecker and Fudge can settle in. Point. Wentz slides that lob wide. Jones was awesome with lobs yesterday. Two, seven, impressive win with Spencer Smith against Kovalova and Matt Wright in mixed. Talking about that power? Yeah, Is that I'm talking the power about that you were power. referring to, Johnny P. Absolutely. That power, ace of spades. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, incredible. And it's really nice to see Elise Jones really mix up her Two, game seven, shot two. selection with adding in the lob. But it's it's not just that she's doing it. It's doing it at the right time. Yes. Side out. Wrecker looking to find her A game here. 7-2-1. Point. Damn. Another power Switch shot in. there from Eight, two, Megan one. Dizon. And right now, Dave, if you're Megan Fudge and Rachel Recker, what do we need to do right now? Well, we're going to switch sides. So the first thing we need to do is to get to the other side of the court. <laughs> okay. And, you know, you're just feeding the beast over there, which, which is just play your game. Settle down, make some better thirds, and think about it. We'll take a break as they do just that.
Second Dazan third. lost her footing there in the middle. I'm glad she didn't go to the go to the ground and rolled her ankle a little. She seems okay. That was a little Eight, two, dicey two. there for a second. Definitely got a little interesting for her. Seems all right. Combo and I love design coming in front there. Absolutely, uh, she got exactly what she wanted once again. We're noticing that Megan Fudge and both Rachel Recker, although mixing up their shots, they're ending up putting it on out of nowhere. Two, eight, just kind of ends up in Megan Design's sweet spot on her forehand. Not ideal. <laughs> You mean Second just serve. like that? Welcome Absolutely. To, welcome to the exhibit of the no-go zone. <laughs> this is this is it. Two eight two. Yeah, she's loving this game right now. Oh my, now rips a two-handed backhand. Out. You know, that's not even a sorry, not sorry. That ball's up and that's gonna be crushed for a winner if it doesn't hit the tape. That's right, that's gonna be uh Given, given Rachel Recker's response there, just kicking the ball back nice and softly as she gets time to walk back. So I like the way that they're mixing up their shots, but again, just the Eight, final two, execution, yeah. leaving that last ball a little high, giving Megan Dazan and Elise Jones the opportunity to attack and finish. Boom. Point. <laughs> I mean, once again, her forehand, Stay so much power away. Right. Stay away. It's it's like the scary house at Halloween. Stay <laughs> away. Uh, at least Jones had great hang time though to get up and get that last no one though. Just set up the forehand for uh, Megan Dazan. But yeah, I mean, when you are someone with that volleyball background, the digs we know and love Nine, from two, Elise one. Jones, but being able to smack a ball over your head, not easy for some people to come from different sports. Oh, second sitting. serve. Sitting in the most comfy chair ever, was she there? Just a little bit too much Nine, left two, hand two. on top of it. So remember, this is a game to 15, win by two. I did not see. Uh, winner will be advancing. Side out. Yeah, and then we need to play some semifinals to see. That's right. We hate to talk about the teams that don't win, but somebody two, isn't going to win those, and they're going <laughs> to play winners here. So they're still going to have a chance to be winners. Well, wow, Megan Dazan living properly with the two-handed backhand, just, okay. Yeah, another net cord winner. She rolls her eyes at it, but I'm sure she's not. Oh. She'll take it. Her inside voice is saying, oh, yes. That's what Side Megan Dazan needs to do to be able to continue. It's the ball, too, before that where she filled the middle. And then Recker and Fudge have got to get it the heck out of there. Yeah, Nine, really two, start one. to think about isolating, dropping down a little bit more to Elise Jones, but I mean, just not the forehand of Megan Dazan right now. Ooh, good hustle. Second nice, serve. nice combo platter. It's the first time Recker and Fudge have really played good complimentary pickleball in a while here. 9-2-2. Two, two. Look at Elise Jones bail out her partner. Boom. <laughs> and once again, another one-two combo from Megan Dazan. Forehand, forehand. And just really looking to pressure and attack uh, Rachel Get Recker and Megan Fudge, knowing that she has the offensive firepower to do it. And once you know that mentally, it's even easier to just start applying more pressure. Yes, and we would have never gotten there without Elise Jones pulling a ball off of her ankles. So that's that's the complimentary pickleball that you want to see. So Team Utah, dressed in blue, looking very good here in this game to 15. Not today. Breaks over. 
drop something. That's a wicked backhand. Welcome back. Good look at Elise Jones and Megan Design, who are looking Ten, two, very two. sharp here. And oh, there's the forehand after some great playing from all four ladies, yes. but at the end of the exchange, again, once it's uh, landing on Megan Dazan's forehand. I mean, and she's not flush with this ace of spades, <laughs> just crushing balls. 11 2 2. The number of clean winners is a remarkable number with just seven points on the board. At least Jones wants a winner. She's not getting one. and Fudge do a great job of evening this point out and then a miss on the backhand. And Megan Fudge not happy with herself, but will regroup here going back to the baseline. And these games to 15, they go quick. And yes, so you really got to come out firing. And uh, Elise Jones and Megan Dazan have done exactly that. 12-2-2. 12-2 here. What? 12 2 here. 12 2 2 Point. Loose air there, and Megan and Elise just two points away. We're doing a quick. Let's let's change the paddle. Let's let's empty the hey, vault Megan. here. Whatever whatever we got. Megan Fudge just checking that in with Anisha Smith just to make sure. Thirteen two two. Point. Just, I mean, it's, it can't, you just can't let one shot win a match like this, <laughs> and it is. No, yeah. Elise Jones is playing awesome by her side. Let's not kid ourselves. But 14 2 2. Megan, and the fuel, you can just see the confidence oozing out of Megan Design with this. Oh, Point no. Game match. That's going to do it. Unfortunate miss Jones there at the end. So, I in a very short amount of time, Design and Jones rattle off a 15-2 victory. So they will advance. So they're going to get to keep playing. And we've got a slew of awesome semifinal matches coming up this afternoon. We will be with you for all of it. Dave Fleming with Johnny Pickleball will be right back right after this. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. How do you get what you want? Eric Weimer? Blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will.
of Mother Nature and the best in pickleball coming together here this weekend here at the Tennis Club at Newport Beach. 41 courts, 880 players all vying for championships. like that I mean we have to be ready they their game style works I mean they they they're in the finals for a reason
Welcome back to the PPA Orange County Cup in San Clemente, California. Bringing you all the live action here at the beautiful Lifetime Fitness. PPA has signed a long-term contract with the Lifetime Fitnesses across yeah. the nation. So you're going to see us in a lot of these beautiful venues. It was a great process working together with the team to put together the Orange County Cup. We believe that this facility is going to be a pinnacle stop on the tour, not just because of the venue, but because of the fans and everybody else that's coming out and the energetic feel that they bring to the court. The players love it, the facility is great, the town is supportive. We love San Clemente. Obviously for us, it was a new experience. It was our largest professional event ever in the state of California. And it was the largest event, uh, professional event in Southern California as well. So I mean, I think that's the coolest thing. Pickleball is young, right? Building up who the best players are, and just what's, what's happening in the world of pickleball. And until you see the pros play, it's a completely different game. I and mean, they hit the ball so fast at each other. So it's so fun to see that excitement. And when you watch pickleball, you want to play pickleball. So as far as an outcome of an overall tournament, um, I would say this one's probably been the best one so far on the PPA Tour. Uh, one thing I love about us and our team is our motto is to just get a little bit bigger and a little bit better every single time. And as you could tell, the stands were packed, the matches were incredible. We had some of the best matches that we've seen so far on the PPA Tour. Anna Lee and Lee were fantastic all weekend. Simone and Lucy, they played lights out. I mean, we were just super blessed to have the best players in the world complete, competing. And our team, we did a great job being able to create that platform for them to excel and also for the fans to be able to come and enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PPA Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here. Join with me, Dave Fleming. And we have our first men's pro seconds. double semifinals match ready to get underway. That would be Spencer Smith. Tyler Loon taking on Matt Wright and Riley Newman. Here we go. Got out. And for those of you just joining us, Matt Wright and Riley Newman saved a match point down earlier today against J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. So uh, great match. Survived. Point. And Loon and Smith are on fire today, playing fabulous pickleball. One zero one. Man, Matt Wright going to come up big on that exchange, as you'll see right here on our instant replay. Yeah, that was crazy town with all those balls. There's like two people tried. There was an Ernie and a bird at the same time, which <laughs> would have been Oscar the Grouch had they done it. So, yeah, Matt Wright in the pink as Riley Newman is in the, the green and blue. While Spencer Smith in the white and Tyler Loom in the black. Matt Wright coming up a little bit long on that one. Good idea, just kind of get him looking at it. Yeah, early. he's you know you know it's going to be coming all match. That's that's what got them a win over the Johns brothers at the Tournament of Champions. Got them barely over the hump against J Dub Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Side out. And looking to attack early is Matt Wright. Just kind of making his presence known, yeah. kind of to apply that pressure early to Spencer and Tyler, knowing that he does have that in the arsenal. Yeah, it's college football Saturday. You want to throw a couple deep balls earlier and loosen up that defense. Same idea here. Speed ups are coming. That's right, the one-two combo from Spencer Smith, trying to reset after attacking Matt Wright. Unable to do so, so Tyler didn't to serve. Almost had bumper cars in the middle as Matt Wright was itching into the middle and that gamma paddle of Newman's was coming close. Oh my. 
That's fantastic play from Spencer Smith, Tyler Loon. As if we're going to have points like that all match, we're in for a treat. I'm in. I, I'm signing up because there's a ball that Matt Wright got back in the middle of that. And when Tyler Loon is slapping overheads, that doesn't usually come back, let alone in a safe place in the kitchen, same guy. Yeah, Tyler Loon a little short on that drive, but as Dave said, sweeping forehands yes. don't typically come back from Tyler Loon. Love it. Second serve. And as Tyler gets some good hang time there, able to punch that ball down. Zero, three, two. So that feeling out process here early where although Tyler and Spencer have created that 3-0 lead, I think Matt and, Matt and Riley will get settled in here very shortly. Yeah, and these teams have uh, both been sitting a while. We ran through some ladies matches, some back draw matches. This again, just to be clear, is two out of three. Winner plays tomorrow. Second serve. And good deep return there, catching Tyler Loon on the back foot. Three zero two. Side out. And great pressure early on from Riley Newman for the side out, kind of just creeping in there. Matt Wright giving zero, him that ability one. to take some more court. Yeah, this team had to figure out who was going to be the alpha because they are dueling alphas, and they have it sorted out now and are playing really well. Spencer Smith leaving that one just <laughs> open enough for Tyler Loon to finish it up. And as we said, those sweeping forehands will do it, as you see in our replay. And great setup from Spencer Smith. And Matt Wright coming out on top of that one. The partnership of Spencer Smith and Tyler Loon becomes a great one because Spencer does prefer that backhand side yes. and is very good with a backhand dink. Whereas Tyler Loon, obviously being left-handed, prefers the right as it creates his forehand to be in the middle. A couple of boys from Utah. Look at that get. That's going to be in. Lob for lob. <laughs> and I think they just broke the ball, Dave. The ball has been sent into oblivion. That's incredible. The crowd <laughs> really appreciates it. We I mean, appreciate it. Oh, we love it. I like chaos. So when Tyler Loon is absolutely obliterating, literally to the point where he broke the ball, <laughs> the funny thing is, is the defense of that came back clean, even though they knew they were hitting a football. It was in the shape of an oval. Still, still dropped perfectly by perfectly. about right. Of course. It's great defense. And Riley Newman showing his athleticism as well as he kind of comes back after setting himself up. Yeah, caught uh, Mr. Ernie Tyler Loon looking for one and hit it right at him, which is a smart play if you see him move. Just deep. And Tyler Loon running back for the Matt Wright's lob. Probably on the, uh, we'll have to get a lob counter on Matt Wright here, but that ball being a little deep. Yeah. Right thought he kissed the line on We're that. We're having one. a video challenge. The ball is called out. That's right. right so and Newman have made the challenge. I believe they're going to be taking a break here to kind of review that call. I believe it's the first of the day. As Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith lead 3 2 early on here in game one. After Matt Wright's going to be talking to the referees here for a little bit. But. Come out the gate, Tyler Loon really really showing his athleticism and really getting involved early, Dave. Yeah, I mean, he broke a ball for heaven's sake. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, so, we're going to take a look at this on the, uh, on the lob. So, it's not a ball that was moving quickly, uh, obviously. And 
We don't have too many challenges very often, but they are going to take advantage of that. We do have our tracking referee, Isabel Gautier, as well as our video referee, Wayne Anderson, going to be on it. Uh, of course, our lead referee, Kathy Postal weight, and uh, she's going to be accompanied by her second referee, Sahan Hunter and Stan Brown. So they're all huddling up together now here at the front. Oh, kind of just, you know, have a, have a discussion. Let's, let's get a good play call here when we're, we're huddling up. What are we going to do? But a great venue here at the Peachtree Tennis Center in Peachtree City, Georgia. Uh, this is my first time here. Absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful facility. What do you Beautiful. think, Dave? I love it. Enjoyed playing on it yesterday. Uh, you know, I love when I can combine as do you, play some, come talk about it as well. You get a good feel for the courts. The courts are playing slow here, so that is, After you know. After further review, the ball is out. It All is right. side the out. The ball is called out. So the call will stand and Matt and Riley will be and charged a timeout. I'm sure as heck will. So, so the call stands. And Riley Wright and Newman have two points. Which will give Spencer and Tyler Lung now this Lung serve. And Smith have three points. Here in game one. Side out. Three, two, one. Side in. Three, two, one. And that is a fourth that was set up to be hammered, and it was, but not over hit. That's the beautiful part of what Spencer Smith did there. Four, two, one. Spencer Smith and Tyler Loon back and forth. Everybody went. What a battle. What a hands battle. Yeah, it was as fast as that replay was going back and forth there. More police. More police. I would like another helping of that. Where's the buffet? And all four players taking advantage of that Georgia humidity. Yes, As indeed. the ball is playing a little bit slower. And so their hands better be ready. Their hands are ready, and the counters don't come back quite as fast, so we get more fun points like that. And another well-shaped ball there from Tyler Lung has it dipping as Matt's unable to, to get it back over on the volley. And Spencer Smith trying to jump in front, kind of give Riley Newman something to look at, something new to look at. And all of a sudden, though, here in game one, 6-2 lead. Yes, he would like that drive if you're going to shake and bake to be more in the middle and well they just did it there Spencer Smith doing it for Tyler Loon setting him up with a beautiful shake and bake Seven, two, two. this is what they've been doing all day Spencer Smith had a great day in mix yesterday with Elise Jones as well and Spencer Smith taking over the court right now looking very comfortable comes back and taps the video board after every point is uh Keep doing that, that's working. Oh, Side up. He was ready to pounce on the next one. And clear game plan from Tyler Lung and Spencer one. Smith here early. One drive, the other one crash, or methodically work our way in. But both are working very well right now as they leave that one go. Yeah, so Matt Wright not sharp here early. Most teams return everything to Riley when playing this team. This is not the case here. Well, they made him pay for it there as Riley Newman closes. And Riley Newman once again closing and closing quickly as they get another one added in here and Going to be at 481. 482, correction. And Quick hands trying again. to go a little cute inside out there, and then the reply comes off the tape. Sideways. 
Start out. We'd like to welcome you from the Tennis Channel all the way here to the PPA Peachtree Classic here for our men's Eight, pro five, double one. semifinals match. First one of the day, we're in game one. Johnny Pickleball Andrews on the mic. Join with me today, Dave Fleming. Yeah, we love having our Tennis Channel fans watching some great pickleball from the Pro Pickleball Association PPA Tour and beautiful venue. And there you see Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith, who are two points from taking game number one. from all four players there. Riley Newman, Matt Wright coming out on top of that one. And since you're just joining us, Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith started out very strong. Matt Wright, Riley Newman came out a little slower and now have really caught steam and trying to gain some momentum back here. But Tyler Lung's going to put a stop to that right away. Yeah, just slapping winners off that forehand. Look at this go flying past. And Wright and Newman have actually switched sides. Riley Newman has played most of this match on the left. Since they're down, they're trying to trick it up by putting Matt on the left side. That has not worked at all yet either. We've got a game point we're in the middle of. And just riding the rail there. Spencer Smith unable to get that one to to go. Kind of looking for that Riley Newman to will it over yes, for him, right? Yes, he's, he uses the willpower against you as well. He has a special <laughs> power, folks. So 5-10, big hole. And as you see, Matt Wright winning that. Anything is possible in pickleball. So even down 5-10, you never know. There's one right there. We're at six. Yeah, you can only score when you're serving, but you can keep the ball as long as you keep winning points. So make it, take it is the name of the game here. Spencer Smith lining it up on his forehand even before Matt Wright yes. swings, as you see right there. Yeah, he's fired up. having Tyler Loon yelling, let it go, too, because sometimes you don't finish a ball you're on because you're like, oh, oh, okay. Point. And unable to execute on that one. So we're going to see Matt Wright serve here. Seven, ten, two. Good look at the man from Wichita who played his college tennis at Michigan. Taken by the and team. quickly, the lead is but two as two. Matt Wright finishes that one in paddle skirt. That's right, they definitely the kicked it. Definitely kicked it into gear here in game one. They got down early, started making a move, Dave, and here we are at a timeout. Now, if you're Spencer and Tyler, maybe you're starting to feel a little bit of pressure. No doubt about it. You're playing a team that comes in on a roll. They won one of the best matches in pickleball history a couple weeks ago at the Tournament of Champions, beating Ben and Colin Johns survived earlier as we talked about earlier they had a match point down and anytime you feel like okay our second life let's make sure we do something with this and then just did not come out playing at the highest level loon and spencer smith had a very clear pattern of cracking their balls from the baseline and then crashing and finishing so they had a game point they didn't win it now they've got to get the ball back that's right, and uh, you know, Spencer Smith, Tyler Lung, it's a, that adrenaline coming in. They were feeling it early, and it's a, it's a long, long two, two best two out of three games, that's for sure. So they're going to need to maintain that energy, try to continuously fire each other up. And uh, I don't think Matt Wright and Riley Newman are going to have any trouble firing each other up. No, no they're going to want the crowd to get involved in this. This is a big point coming out of timeout. Oh. 
and great patience from all four players until you get that one ball just high enough. And Matt Wright taking full advantage. And there within one of tying this after being in a humongous hole. And Spencer Smith, arms behind his back, nose big missed opportunity as he lined it up once again with his forehand. And just like that, we are tied at 10. This is win by two. And they finally get it stopped, but not till they look up on the scoreboard, and it is 10 apiece. That's a great finish by Tyler Lung there. So desperately need to get to 11, but 11, as you said, won't be enough. Ooh. And that ball kind of bouncing off to the left. Tyler Lung looking right, <laughs> and that's going to be yeah, a miss hit. You know, as we said, this court's playing slow, and sometimes the bounces are not as high as you expect either. And trying to continue to do that shake and bake kind of move where one closes, the other one drives to set each other up. And Spencer Smith not able to execute, so Matt right here to serve at 10 10. And we got another challenge here. <laughs> and the refer referee agreeing with Tyler Loon that the yeah. ball was out. Second serve. Okay. 10-10-2. We're at 10-10. Sit with the out call. Oh, no. Little, little off balance there for Spencer Smith on that nice drop. And look who's got a game point out of nowhere. Oh, no. It's going to be a tough ask for Matt Wright and Riley Newman to try to lob Tyler Loong again and again and again. This guy's the most athletic thing on the tour. <laughs> Look at him get up. He was just hovering like yeah. a helicopter waiting to smoke that. So they save a game point. And you see Wright and Newman did not want to switch sides and risk a problem. So they're opposite what they've played. Yeah, and Spencer Smith sitting on a forehand once again. Riley Newman unable to pancake it back over. So yep, empty bottle of syrup one. there. That's right, all tied up here at 11. Win by two still. Great handle by Smith there. Hello, hello two-handed backhand, just violence. Big two-handed backhand from Tyler Lung. And remember, whoever wins this match will be going to Championship Sunday to compete in the gold medal match. That is tomorrow. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and have a timeout taken. Dave Fleming, Johnny Pickleball Andrews here. And uh, at this point, you just ride that momentum if you're Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith, right? Yeah, you had that just, what happened in this game? Didn't we already win game one? It feels like <laughs> we won game one, didn't we? What? What? They came all the way back? Okay. But you saved. You saved a game point against, so you have that. Okay, we did that. We know earlier today that we were playing at a level that might have been better than them and we came out with it they matched us but now we got the ball with an opportunity so yep. here's call the play like this is the one time in pickleball when you can call a play no matter where the return is what are we going to do we're going to drive it somewhere where and then no matter what we're going to crash who are we driving it at all of that you have time to run that here especially on a game point that's right really impressive all four players obviously veterans of the game but to see matt right Riley Newman, although down to keep their composure and fight back, fantastic. And we have game point. Oh, lob serve, too. See if you can get a freebie. So there's the play. Just couldn't make it. Another opportunity, though. Try number three. Oh, that might have been deep. And somehow they save it, get it back. 
There's the close and the finish. So yes. game one going to Tyler Lugan and Spencer Smith here in the men's pro double semifinals. We're going to see if they can finish it off in two or if Matt Wright and Riley Newman have something to say about it. We'll be back for game two. No hurry, no hurry Let's take it one day at a time And welcome back. Beautiful view of Peachtree City Tennis Center here in Peachtree City, Georgia. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming as we get ready for game two of this men's pro double semifinals. Matt Wright, Riley Newman looking to force game three. Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith winning game one. Here we go. And uh, Santa has shown up here in the middle of September as you get a missed return after all the drama at the end of game number one. And Tyler Lou missing that, but we have seen uh, Matt Wright and Riley Newman's energy start to slowly come back. Yeah. But kind of starting off a little slow here in this match. Yeah, I think it's important for them to get, at least even if they don't win it, just play good points here. And that's going to help Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. Spencer Smith on fire right now. I love the way he's played all weekend. I mean, he and Elise Jones beat. Matt Wright and Lucy Kovalova in a thrilling match yesterday in mixed. And there is the signature shot of Tyler Loon. Just get that out of here. Sweeping forehand right down the line. Nice Ernie. Yes, those of you just joining us, he broke a ball earlier. So that's how hard the man from Utah can hit it. And Tyler Loon, after an incredible get from Riley Newman, yes. somehow Ernie's the ball. Yes. Yeah, that's what we talked about when he was being lobbed before. You want to lob a less athletic player than Tyler Loon because he can get to everything. And great hands there from Riley Newman. Tyler Loon to serve. Great lead there from Riley. But Tyler Loon and Spencer Smith, although side out, get on the board first here in game two. Leading 2-0. Okay. Yeah, hey, you get a couple and you're playing the same way that got you the winning game. Don't change. Don't change. Make them do something. It's that backside of the paddle defense of Riley Newman. Tyler Loon coming up big on that exchange once again. Again, just sitting on the two-hander and then kaboom. He's got a good read on the attacks coming at him. Nice 
And there's Riley Newman with the ATP going around the post. That's right, you can go around. You don't just have to go over. Just get it in there. That's, that is a ridiculously good execution. That left hand required to roll that into the corner, and then it comes up and walks that thing into the open court. So Great okay. setup. Okay. Energy level rising. Sometimes it just takes one trick shot to get you going. Another great setup for Tyler Loon for himself to just jump the kitchen and hit the Ernie without actually touching the net. Yeah, great play there once the again. Got to avoid the kitchen line. Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith really feeling it here in game two so far. Matt Wright, Riley Newman. Yeah, they're not making the nicest of eyes at each other right now. Get some Spencer Smith. Oh, get a whole bunch. <laughs> Look at him. On a roll right now. This is as confident as I've seen Spencer Smith play Four, two, at one. this level on this tour. It's great to see. He's ripping one handers from the baseline. That's how confident he is. Oh, no, he did not. Ridiculous gets from Tyler Lung until he finally puts it away with another forehand. And with some net cords and some drives, with some confidence, you just keep going if you're no, the boys from Utah. No doubt. Impressive. time they tried to lob Tyler Loon were able to escape with the point still but uh, Matt Wright trying to fire up Riley Newman after that yeah I don't know how Matt Wright found the key underneath the doormat to get out of that but he did but I love the game plan from Tyler Loon and Spencer Smith right now just loose fire away yes. swing out and sometimes that's what you have to do against very textbook players that have been doing this for a very long time. Yeah, and they, given that right. they have been winning by being the first to attack, and now you are taking it to them. And it's a replacement. Riley Newman able to put that at the feet of Spencer Smith, a much needed side out. As uh, here we are now, down 6 2, as we were in game one. Let's see if they make their move here. And he's ahead of it. Spencer Smith absolutely ahead of the ball coming in, reading the yes. attacks beautifully. And you got Wright and Newman saying, I thought you were attacking somewhere else. Not good. Yes. And another, ATP. another one from Riley Newman. And the cool part about pickleball, majority of the time, is anything is possible, as we've said, and they were down before. I'm sure they don't feel too too concerned yet. No, the only concern I'd see of this is the uneasy feeling between the two. I thought you were doing this. What happened there? Those are the things that are the concern. The That's team right. chemistry is Absolutely. the issue. Absolutely. And Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith not taking any chances. They'll be taking a timeout. We'll be back right after this.
a great look there at the crowd here at the Peachtree Tennis Center, the PPA Peachtree Classic Men's Pro Doubles Semifinal. Matt Wright, Riley Newman taking on Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming. And Dave, we got a game. We got a barn burner. I like that timeout from uh, Smith and Loon. They are up 6-2, two, two quick points. We're not having this. We're not having this. We're going to stop it, see if we can get back to our game, keep the lead. Point. And another point there for Riley Newman and Matt Wright. So inching their way closer Five, six, and closer to tying this up. Spencer Smith reading that attack once again, just coming up a little too big. Oh, he'd gotten the pre-read. He was sitting there ready for it and then just smoked it deep and we're knotted. And all of a sudden being down 2-6, they now take the lead for the first time in this game. Yeah, they looked a little out of sorts and now they have a lead. And Loong and Smith have got to find an answer quickly. And there's another round of posts and from look Riley at, Newman. Look at it like a three-point shooter. He's holding up Steph Curry, the three. <laughs> He is holding up the three. You only get one, but he's done it three times, just to be clear. So, my goodness, what a comeback. As a little love from the net there. Spencer Smith, great attack, though. Matt Wright unable to come up with it. So there's the uh, much-needed side out now for and Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. Yeah, six spot. Spencer Smith again reading the attack from Matt Wright, unable to complete the combo as uh, seven, eight, Spencer Smith gets the winner. So, 7 8. Oh. And trying to turn defense into offense is Tyler Loon. Unable to complete that. So we're going to have 782 Spencer Smith to serve. Now he's going to try to knot it up. Again, the lob over Loong is not the answer. That is no go zone. That is, you're not allowed to fly in there. Don't put the ball there. You will get your partner hit. You will lose a point. Boom. And Matt Wright puts his paddle up to Riley Newman with an apology. <laughs> it needs to be written. That needs to be a written apology, okay? 88, so snowmen everywhere here in game two. 8-8-1. And there's Riley Newman's one-two combo. First ball just setting it up for a nice easy put away as Tyler Loon could just stand there and hope that the paddle maybe touch it over. Yeah, his hand actually was the ball what it struck in the first one, which is legal if it's touching the handle of the paddle. Uh -oh. And now Spencer Smith unable to handle that one. And we have the first game point on Matt Wright's paddle, 10-8.
And that one's going to go. And just like that, we're going to have to go to three, Dave. Yes, we are. We had a team that looked like the 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 threads were coming across and out but they got them sewn back together and were able to finish so we're, we're going to play three Welcome back to the Peachtree Tennis Center, the PPA Peachtree Classic, as we get geared up here for game three of this men's pro double semifinal match. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming. Let's get this going. Tyler Lewis, Spencer Smith winning game one. Matt Riley, Matt Wright, and Riley Newman winning game two. So game three, here we go. Let's go, yeah. The Loong and Smith have to throw away the fact they were up 6-2 in game two. And Pull all their way back to uh, game three win. We'll switch sides at six. Point. And Matt Wright kind of going to the wheelhouse. Spencer Smith all over it, just coming up a little bit short now. He was all, all over it in game one. Yeah, and he's just taking too big of a swat. He's sitting on it, just punch that back. Seeing it's usually the hard part. Just a punch volley instead of a big swing. Tyler Liu yeah. letting that one go. Riley Newman, nice little head nod there to <laughs> well, Matt Wright. That is bad news if you're Lung and Smith because the bobblehead is a problem because that is that means, okay, I talked about the threads coming in a, apart. They are all together, and now they got all their tricks and antics going. Side out. Minus the willpower of Riley Newman yes. there, trying to push the ball over with his body. So. Zero, two, one. Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith don't want to let this get away from them. You're going to see if they can get some points going here. Second serve. And that is not going to help their cause. So Spencer Smith having a little bit of self-coaching to himself. and Yeah, unlike a past Smith who speaks and we can hear it, uh, this is inside voice from Spencer. The Smith family does like to chat. And now Tyler Lung has found that sideline again. He did it in game one, does it again here. One, two, two. That's a big swing of the paddle right there for confidence. Side out. And definitely great to see both teams come out swinging here in game three. You don't want to get tight. You want to get on a roll. As we will be switching sides two, one, one. here at six. Whoever gets to six first, then we'll switch and continue. 
game to 11, win by two. Oh my, Tyler Loon. Great defense. The bad news if you're Smith and Loon is that your format is now what they are using against you. They are dictating and that's why they are up. Second serve. Relentless attacks coming from Riley Newman and Matt Wright. One, two. And little, little miscommunication there as Tyler Loon was kind of trying to cover the middle. Riley going behind him. Four, one, two. Yeah, it's that whole, if you're stacked like they are and you want to put somebody on the other side and you hit a short return, you put your team in trouble. And Riley once again. Newman is staring. Like, are you seriously doing that again? Okay, one, you promised four, me. And Matt Wright does have one of the best lobs. It's just who he's lobbing over is the situation here. And he likes that a little bit better. So the one-two combo there from yes. Matt Wright. And the referees kind of conversing with one another. Our okay. head, our lead referee, Kathy Postalweight, okay, talking with Stan Brown, ball. who's on the other side. So look at this. So and we've got a challenge coming up here on that ball. Matt Wright Jump. set himself up brilliantly and then went off the tape and seemed to be in. But uh, now there's a challenge from Loong. Loong is maybe challenging his own call here. Yes, Tyler Loong is actually going to be walking back, getting a nice little drink of water, and they're going to go ahead and do a little challenge here. So Kathy Postalweight will talk it over with not only Spencer Smith, but their other second referees, Sayan Hunter and Stan Brown. And uh, we'll be talking with our video referee, Wayne Anderson, will be involved as well. Yeah, and this is one of those where Matt Wright set up a perfect point and it was over and then it kissed the tape and went almost directly to the left. It took an immediate a sharp left, like when your GPS says make a sharp left turn on Elm Street. That's what the ball did off the tape there. Oh, this is quick. Okay. The good, the good news is at this time while they take their huddle, Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith have an opportunity here to, even though they may lose a timeout, they have the opportunity here to kind of discuss what the game plan should be going forward here in this pivotal game three. So what they're doing was working in game one. Matt Wright, Riley Newman found a way to win game two and now are dictating this game so far. So figuring out a way to neutralize Matt Wright and Riley Newman should be the key objective here for Spencer Smith and Tyler. Yeah, got to stop giving them, you've got to stop feeding that, that attack. So ball is in, we'll go to the second server. Second server. Yes, you are. One, four, two. Lob serve has been in vogue today. And Riley Side Newman out. not even going to think about lobbing no. over Tyler Loon. Just going to go <laughs> right at him. No, I see your shoes. I see your shoes, and that's where the ball is coming. I see them. They're orange. Nice and glowy Four, target. One, one. The problem there, though, is that the Spencer Smith thirds are not nearly as precise as they were earlier in the match. pin drop for a little while, the anticipation of who's going to attack first. But after the exchange, Matt Wright, Riley Newman getting on top of that one. Not surprising that it was Matt Wright because he kept just showing that forehand attack and then finally found one he liked and set up Riley Newman for the finish. Second serve. And Riley all over that, kind of almost too far ahead yes. of it. Unable to get it over, so he'll be serving here at 4-1-2. 5-1-2, correction. 
Same move, different result. And the focus for Wright and Newman is 180 versus that 6-2 hole they were in where they were all crossed up about where they were attacking. That's right. So Spencer Smith, uh, Tyler Loon going to have a little bit of a talk here on the switch over on six. We'll be back for the uh, conclusion. What do you think so far? And welcome back to the PPA Peach Tree Classic. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming. And we have Matt Wright and Riley Newman looking very comfortable here in game three as we switch sides once they got to six. And they'll be taking on Spencer Smith and Tyler Loon right now. Side out. You love getting the ball back when you're down and you switch sides. So let's see if they can do something with it. And as always, anything possible in pickleball, even if you get down a little bit. Yeah, yesterday, Johnny P, tons of comebacks from ugly places in the scorebook. And kiss one off the tape, get a miss. 6-1 is 6-3 in 14 seconds. And all of a sudden, a little momentum now going in the way of Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. And momentum destroyed there by a Riley Newman forehand. Yep, we're going to back it. Okay, this is Three, six, two. reverse highlight for you there, guys. See how it happened. And catching Matt Wright, kind of leaning to the yeah. right a little bit, unable to recover in time. So Spencer Smith gets a winner there. And yeah, they just are off balance. Two. A little off balance Four, there. Six, Side out. And Spencer Smith letting the referee know that he touched that yeah. ball. Although it was great cover from his partner, Tyler Lewis. Yes. Yeah, uh, did not really affect ball flight either, but man, did they get what they wanted. Just great job by Newman of handling it. Point. And Riley Newman with a big time overhead. That is not an easy ball either. He goes on the outside of Tyler Lung. That's a nice, nice shot. Difficult. And coming up a little bit short there is Tyler Loon. As you can see that Spencer and Smith and Tyler Loon are trying to go back to what they were doing in game one with firing, firing away. The difference is Matt Wright and Riley Newman are now ready. Yes. And Spencer Smith ready for that as well. Yeah, everybody was ready there, and then Matt Wright thought he'd get a different ball. Spencer Smith's handle of that attack was really impressive to keep it in a safe spot. Yikes. Okay. And trying to close and do the signature Matt Wright yes. flick of the wrist there, unable to execute, but going to be a much-needed side out for Tyler Lung and Spencer Smith. We'll see if they can get something going here. I mean, it's... Structurally perfect. Executionally just not the same as game one. 
That's another ball that Smith had a chance to finish and goes deep. Slap again. And now you get to pressing a little bit. You know they're within three. You've got the ball on a two, and Loon went for a big swing there that's well wide. Got to be able to rein in your own emotions. Spencer Smith and Tyler Loon having opportunities. But now, Riley Newman and Matt Wright just making the most of their opportunities. Yes, and a little dance move wiggle in the middle of that two-hander from Riley Newman. Ooh, and Matt Wright might have been there. <laughs> they both went for it, that's for sure. Nine, four, two. But having a commanding 9-4-2 lead. Oh, wait. Okay, we got, we got both calls there. I'm not sure what's happening here. I think the in call is what stands match point. And Spencer Smith overcooking that one. So there it is. Riley Newman, Matt Wright, first to punch their ticket into Championship Sunday. The men's pro doubles gold medal match. Spencer Smith, Tyler Loon playing great. Don't go anywhere. We will be back for more great pickleball action.
Welcome back to center court. I've got our first set of finalists. These guys are heading to championship Sunday. Matt Wright, Riley Newman. Guys, you were the team to beat the last few weeks, last few tournaments, but unfortunately Riley had to miss the last uh, Grand Slam while he was throwing the first pitch at a Mariners game. Matt, how good does it feel to be back in another championship Sunday with your partner at your side? Oh, it's great. I mean, Riley's such a hell of a player. He's so athletic. He's a fighter. We both, we both want to win as much or more than anybody out there, so it's good to have that chemistry back and get back on our momentum. Well, guys, it looked like you were having a little trouble coming together in game one. Uh, how did you become more fluid and to figure out how to use the correct strategy there? I know you moved Matt over to the left side for a little while. Yeah, I felt like, uh, you know, they're driving and crashing on their third shot drives were really, really effective, and I felt like they were just getting us a little bit when we were transitioning. So I felt like just playing straight up there for a little bit. But honestly, I didn't think Matt and I played, you know, our best today, uh, but we were just mentally tough. I mean, that's that's one of the things that we do well is we, we fight, we stay in there, we get one more ball back, and uh, happy to be back on uh, Championship Sunday. Well, we know you guys have been in the sport a long time. You're grinding all the time out on tour. How tough is it to come back week after week and still perform? It's tough. You have to create uh, your own energy a lot of the time. I mean, we're playing so often now on the weekends, and, you, and a lot of times you have the same um, same opponents and a lot of the same matchups, and so you really just have to think of the bigger picture and realize that every match counts, um, and that's you know that's what we're trying to do out here. Yeah. Well, huge congratulations to you both. We can't wait to watch you guys compete on Championship Sunday. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the ladies' semifinal. A great look at the Peachtree City Tennis Center here in Peachtree City, Georgia. The PPA Women's Pro Doubles Semifinals. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming. And we have a great matchup about to take place. The number one seed, Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith, going to be taking on the number four seed, Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright. And the most confident team on the court is the four seed, not the one seed. Because the four seed won the Grand Slam at the Lindner Family Tennis Center up in Cincinnati. Played obscenely good in their quarterfinal. They beat Megan Design and Elise Jones, who are a tremendous team, just owned it. Just absolutely owned it. Kovalova and Smith look fantastic today as well as they've been running through people. They beat Megan Fudge and Rachel Retker 11-1, 11-4. So these are two red-hot teams coming in. Kovalova and Smith are the one seed, but they haven't won a PPA tournament in a while. It's been the Waters and then Irvin and Bright, so this is going to be something else. Point. 
Hannah Bright, you're going to see that two-handed backhand quite frequently if she if she has anything to say about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a dangerous place to put the ball on her, the left, and they're not going to change. Zero, Hannah two. Bright's going to play on the left side 95% of this match. Cal Bear, tennis star. And there, once again, finding the two-handed backhand, testing it early is Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova, and she's going to win that battle. 2-0-2. Two, two. That's what this team wants. They want Anna Bright's backhand to be a factor. And nearly out? getting the roll backhand there. That is a dangerous spot to put the ball. So luckily for them, the shark cage held up. And Zero, two, one. see if Kovalova and Smith can get going. Point. And there's a great close from Callie Smith firing away with a forehand. Coming in, nice forward one, two, lunge. One. The most fit player on tour probably and really can push off those legs and get into good positions to attack. And a nice <laughs> flick as Point. Callie Smith questioning Anna Bright for a second, but yes. Anna Bright calling that ball good. And after a couple points rattled off from Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright, they, they get it right back very quickly. Yeah, there was, we were cl close to it. Two, what did two, you just one. call it? But the flat hand, for you tennis players especially, no, that means the ball was good. That's what Anna Bright did. Smith and Kovalova because when you attack cross court, Jesse Irvin is so good at neutralizing that and then she thrust into the offense but blocked into the open court. Three, and what's two, interesting one. about this is Kovalova and Smith are playing reverse of the way they usually do with Kovalova on the left. Jesse Irvin be a spectator with the best seats in the house. And Anna Bright coming out big on that one. But yeah, absolutely, Dave. You can obviously see the game plan from Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova isolating Three, two, two. Anna Bright early. Kovalova deciding to let that one go. It just barely lands in after a great get from Anna Bright off the net. Yeah, you, especially with two in it back in, it's hard three, to reset one. that and keep the ball in. So she kind of floated it. That was the perfect response by accident. Get the ball back. Another point. great play. So at this point in time, even in game one, you're kind of understanding what the other team is doing by isolating one of your players. If you're Jesse Irvin, Dave, what three, do you, three, what do you one. do to try to get involved? you got to try not to do too much, and you got to have your partner put the ball in unattackable positions where you can sneak in like she did there. Point. And you can just high-five her paddle when Anna Bright hits a clean winner down the line <laughs> off the two-hander. So you can be cheerleader, you can be Four, finisher, three, one. but you can't be overdoer. That's right. And not overdoing Second it there serve. is going to be the big time forehand of Callie Smith. But Anna Bright's two handed backhand has proven so far to be a weapon. But let's not forget about the two handed backhand on four, the other three, side. Two. There's, there's a couple of them. There's, there's actually four on this court, to be honest with you. Side out. And Jesse Irvin 
Getting one finally on the forehand, trying to just roll it softly back, trying to off pace Three, shot. Four, yeah, one. She tried that little sneaky inside out where she pulls her body left and tries to leave the paddle face open and go down the line, but didn't execute it the way she normally does. Point. And another net cord, Anna Bright kind of leaning back on the hit heels, unable to kind of go forward with it, punch that over. Yeah, it's very interesting strategically, Kovalova and Smith that said we're going to put four, one. Smith's hands in front of Bright and we're going to have Kovalova dent cross court with her and we think that will win. Second serve. And hanging tough here early, all knotted up at four. Correction, I believe Four, just, four, two. Correct, 4-4-2. Four, four, and there's Jesse's two-handed backhand getting involved. So if you have a game plan, you have to just be maniacal about it. And there they chose to four, speed four, the ball one. up at Jesse Irvin. Now you give her confidence. Like you want her to just go into a funk. I haven't seen a ball in forever, if that's what you want to do. Because mixing it in, she can handle these cross-court attacks. And there's Anna Bright answering the call once Point. again with another two-handed backhand. I did not see it. Okay, okay got so a challenge on the court. Callie First challenge. says, I saw a wide. Jesse Irvin says, mm. And uh, we got a challenge. That's right. And our lead referee for this one, Don Morgan, with our second referee, Walt Hooker and Denise Smith. We also have for these challenges our video referee. And we have our tracking referee, Derek Prince. These guys will be out here trying to converse and make their call. A great play so far from all four ladies. We knew this level would be hot, Johnny P. What we didn't know is strategically how this would go. We've had a couple of un unexpected things. The fact that Anna Brown is the apple of their eye is not as surprising as the fact that Kovalova is staying on the left side of the court. And she is the one that is being tasked with the cross-court dinking, and it's Callie Smith who is standing in front of Anna Bright. That's right. We'll make sure to listen in here shortly for the referee's call as they will be presenting it to the crowd and to you at home. It's still talking about it. Oh, they're at it, folks. And as they dot their T's, <laughs> dot their I's and cross their T's, Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova looking ready, Anna Bright, Jesse Irvin looking ready. And this may have been a little bit closer than we have thought. And when you get these challenges, Oh, well, let's listen in. Call was overturned. The call is in. The score is 5-4-1. And that's a great announcement there from Don Morgan overturning the call. So Callie Smith calling it out. That ball is good. And so that also, with that, gives them the lead. Yes. One timeout. You yeah, Jesse to. Irvin probably had the best look of anybody on the court at that as she's standing right in front of that cross-court winner from Anna Bright. So little boost of confidence now for Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright. Yeah, and uh, it's Five, how do you four, overcome one. that mentally if you're Callie Smith? You're, you get your own call overturned. She should be able to handle that without any problem, but you just got to let it go. Point. Great advantage there from Anna Bright to rattle off another two-handed yes. back end, just kind of keeps finding that, but Jesse Irvin with the reset to set it all Six, up. And four, it's the conviction, one. like if you're gonna hit every ball at Anna Bright, you gotta have the attacks go there too, not these cross courts that Irvin is so good at neutralizing. Lucy Kovalova with a pancake and then followed it up with a clean winner. Yeah, sort of the uh, 
syrupy scorpion there in the in the middle there off the ball off the tape Six, able to four, bring three. your elbow you have to bring your elbow across your body and get the paddle in front of your face well done Kovalova Point. A little ambitious move there from Callie Smith, trying to initiate a little early on a lower ball, but definitely see that they are trying to take Seven, advantage four, of the two. less experienced yes. Anna Bright, but she is more than willing to be oh. up for that challenge. She knows. Point. Great play there from both ladies, Jesse Irvin, Anna Bright. At what point in time, Dave, do Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith start to maybe rethink their game plan? Yeah, at the very least, Eight, it needs four, to go two. to the forehand of Anna Bright and, and, and dink the ball in front of her body or just to the right. Just don't let her get confident with her backhand, which she loves. She knows she's going to get a lot of balls. Don't give her the same ball all day. Point. And then you're just leaving her with an, uh, just a dink with nothing on it that she can step into. And yes, she is. You got to yes, think about the placement of these dinks, Come but down, also, receiving. do we like the Team. fact that we Nine, have four, decided before two. the match started to not play the way we usually do? That's right. Maybe well, it's time to reverse that. They're going to think it over and come out swinging here in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. And welcome back here at the Peachtree Tennis Center as we get underway. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming for this women's I'm in. pro doubles Nine, semifinal four, match. Lucy Kovalova, Callie Smith trying to figure something out here as Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright have come out swinging. And a little kiss off the net there, Callie Smith. She'll definitely take it yes. right now, being down, but gets the side out. Four, the nine, out one. A little double bouncer that's un unreturnable. So now you got Anna Bright having to run. And there's that was the change Point. I was suggesting. We'll see if they continue to put it there. That's right, probably one of the rare nine, misses one. of this game so far from Anna Bright. Yep but it's the forehand, not the backhand. Okay. And emphatic Second come on serve. from Jesse Irvin as she got involved. And if you try to dink middle, you risk that. Now, what Callie Five, Smith nine, and Lucy two. Kovalova have also done is switched up who's playing on the left side. So Callie's over there. This is their traditional positioning. Point. And this is what you got when you're on an odd number and you've got to switch to the other position. Six, nine, There's two. pressure on your return. You can see it in 
and a bright space. I've got to make that and get there. Jesse and Anna Bright communicating effectively, letting that ball go. And some of the most important things in pickleball, patterns, percentages, and one of the most important adjustments. And as we see Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith right there making a major adjustment and getting a few points. Nine, six, yep. one. Which is now going to be forcing Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin to make an adjustment or two. Point. Or just take freebies that are handed to them. That's a killer right there. Also helps. And that's going to give us our first game point. 10, 6, 1. On Anna Bright's paddle. Second serve. And going to clip the top of the net. So they're going to get another opportunity here. And I guarantee Anna Bright's going to get another chance to hit a third because that's 10, where this return is going. And now that one's going to go a little high yeah. and wide. So, center court, 10-6. Got to make it. Keep six, putting ten, the pressure one. there if that's what Kovalova and Smith's deciding to do. Bright will get it figured out. He's playing brilliantly here. And a great lead there. Great communication from Jesse Second Urban. Serve to let that ball go. And the, the mental fortitude it takes for Jesse Irvin to hit one out of 10, 15 balls and to be Six, playing at the 10, level two. she is really tough to do. Great resets and patience there from Anna Bright, trying not to counter, but rather resetting yes. and change, changing and dictating pace. And then forcing Ten, six, them to try one. and do a little too much. It's it's working. She's going to have to make a third here. Oh, the deep serve caused a different return. And there's Point. another reset, Game. and that's going to be it. 11, Game six, one going to Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin, the four seed. But feeling like a one seed. No, I'm, I'm, the, the confidence coming in was a one seed. We'll see if they can keep it going. That's right. Game two coming up. Don't go anywhere.
And welcome back here to the Peachtree Tennis Center, the PPA and the Women's Pro Doubles Semifinals with Anna Bryant and Jesse Irvin zero, looking to zero, give, take game two and the match, whereas Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova trying to force game three. Let's get started. So there's that one-handed backhand attack that Callie Smith might be 0 for 4 on here today. It's a little low. She can get a better zero, ball zero, if she's one. patient. Second and a serve. rare miss for Jesse Urban on a reset, but only getting about one ball out of every 10. Zero, zero, two. Yeah, it's a rare, rare miss. Great one, two, three combination there from Anna Bright, who is more than up for the challenge here, being isolated from the number one seed. Yeah, and the good news on that is you one, get a groove, zero, you two. see a lot of balls. And if you know the ball's coming, you play better. Like, it's it's the not knowing you're getting the ball that makes you less skilled at the Side kitchen out. line. As we see right there, as Jesse Irvin unable to reset the ball once again, not knowing. Right. She's zero, like, one, what? one. We're supposed to hit that to Anna. Okay, Point. and now we got a little emotion. The Lucy Kovalova fist up to just the floor below the penthouse. She's got a little bit higher that she still has in her repertoire, but you don't use that until the third game if you lose the first. That's a good one, point. One, you can't one, go one. To the penthouse at 1-1 one, one in the second when you lost the first one. Ridiculous reset clinic from Jesse Irvin right there. Oh. Point. Banana Bright not able to get that one over. Lucy kind of apologizing, but not really. The sorry, not sorry, as she heads back to the baseline. 2 1 1. As they have a 2 1 1 lead. I like the Kovalev and Smith decided, hey, this is what's gotten us championships. Is Callie on the left, let's play the way we play. And defense Point. leading to offense as Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova now racking Three, up another one, point. One. pump from Callie Smith as she's able to set up her own combination. A lot more comfortable for the ladies in pink Four, that come one, in one. as the top seed. Good look at one of them right there, Lucy Kovalova. Oh, that's the ball she's got to make. Second that's their, That's when they're going because that feeds the next one and the next one. This is a very emotional team. We've talked about Four, one, two. swinging at the ball. That's the way they win. Look what we have here, no switch. So a little confusion in the middle, Points. but that's gonna come with a new switch, having Anna Bright on the right, Jesse now moving to the left. Yeah, I don't know how I feel Five, about one, this two. if I'm coaching them. I liked what happened in game number one. I know we're behind here, but now you're giving them confidence. And now we have to figure out something new. And Callie Smith right smacked, now, and she's going team. directly to her seat. That is a timeout. There's two signals of a timeout, a paddle rolling across a, a, a court and a direct route to the seat. That's right. So they'll take a sip, take a thought, and we'll be back. Don't go anywhere after this.
I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throwin' a fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues. Told them don't miss me. And welcome back to the PPA Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited here in Peachtree City, Georgia. An amazing game two as six, Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith have taken a 6-1 lead. And we'll see if they can keep it going. slider off the net but I do like as I said right before we went to break like if we're going down we're going down the way we should one, play six, and that is with Jesse on the right which puts Anna Bright it's all about making your partner most comfortable Jesse can play both sides Anna is much more comfortable on the left side and Jesse Irvin Point. calling that one wide okay. got a video challenge of the out call and Callie Smith right away going to be challenging that call. Okay. So referee Don Morgan, lead referee, is going to get together with Derek Prince as well as Walt Hooker. Yeah, absolutely. Let's make a call. Non -clink scales. Okay. As well as Walt Hooker and Denise Smith. So they'll all get together. Check out the video. And Jesse Irving calling that ball out. Callie Smith challenging. But as you said, Dave, they went back to the original position. Anna Bright on the left, Jesse on the right. This, when you win game one, and yeah, you get down a little bit in game two, but you are just telling them that the fact that you went back to the way you like to play might be a better strategy than what we did that won. Plus, we saw just confusion in the middle. You need somebody to be aggressive in there. You need, you, it's hard if you're down. Like, if this is the same situation in game three, that's a different story. Don't leave any strategic idea out. But I, I felt like that was a little early, maybe for a point. Now they're back where I think they are most ready to win. Absolutely. So a little sense of panic there for just a second. Took a timeout, refocused, regrouped. And uh, we're going to see if that pays off here uh, in this game, too. Obviously, this is the best two out of three, 2 11, win by two. As Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright feeling very confident, though, having game one under their belt. But Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith, that long term partnership and the experience together starting to pay off. But we're going to be listening in for this challenge and what the call is from our referees. Boy, and they're staring each other down right there. I mean, this is Derek Prince and Don Morgan are going to make sure they've got this communication right. That's the intensity we're getting from the players and from the referees here. And a nod of approval. Don Morgan, here we go. Speak up, son. The ball is in. There we go. Score is. One, one, six, two. Give it up, folks, for video challenge. So Don Morgan makes the call. That ball was in. in. Absolutely. So we've had two challenges, both overturned. Hmm. So two. missed call on both sides of the court here so far. Great use of the challenges. No doubt.
And Start a out. couple come-ons there from Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova. Getting that overturned call yeah. kind of fired them up. Yeah, because sometimes one, if you one. think you got a call that didn't go your way and there's no way to get that righted in on every other court but center. Second serve. That either fuels you one way or the other if you think, hey, man, that wasn't a good call against me. Here, you get the benefit of getting it right and having the fuel. That feels good. Six, one, two. Callie Smith had to look back and see if there was a pedestrian in the crosswalk. And great focus, Point. and there's your big fist pump from Lucy Kovalova to the penthouse, Dave. Yeah, yep. Now, now it's uh, penthouse time, and that's Seven, one where one, Irvin not, did not slide over and fill the middle. And again, when you're when you're the non-object of their desires, it's hard to just keep focused in there. And there's another ball down the middle in confusion. Point. So from looking like a well-oiled machine to confusion, now maybe they are going to want to talk about it again. Paddles are down, beelines with the GPS to the, to the chair, and they need to think about it because now I think everything's in play. That's right. And Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova getting on this run a while ago here in game two, not looking like they're slowing down and looking very confident even though they lost game one. Yeah, I mean, the scoreboard obviously shows us that. And, and the fact that they were convicted in, okay, we tried something we thought would beat this team. We knew they were on fire. It didn't work. Let's go back to what we do, which is Callie on the left side, dictating, has the middle covered, Lucy doing her thing on the right and being ready if she gets attacked. And now we've got Jesse and Anna discombobulated. That's two balls down the middle that went both ways in the ax. Who's covering the middle? My belief is the person cross court should be filling in the middle and that could be a forehand or a backhand. So they are going to switch in a Time back in. where I think they are better with her on the One, left. Two. But it's execution now and there's so much confidence in Pink on the other side. That's right. So we'll see if they can do it now. overhead another couple fist pumps as you said earlier the Lucy Kovalova Callie Smith team filled with emotion when they're playing Nine, well. One, two. And 9-1-2. And somehow or another, Lucy Kovalova sneaking that ball inside the baseline. She and was almost on the ground when she hits that big flowing swing, but enough top just to land inside the line. My goodness, everything working for the top seed. Ten, That's one. right, and here we are yes. first. Yes, you are. I'm game be point. Score. Ten, one, two. For the smiles have certainly switched sides, too. I don't know if they're only handing them out on that side of the court. And there's a come on from Anna Bright as Jesse Irvin just trying to gather herself after chasing down a few overheads. And they just had a conversation one, about one. what side, who's going where. So this is probably a good time to see what this looks like down 10-1 and then make a decision for game three. And 
and that's going to help their cost. And really at this point, Dave, do they just need to try to string together some points yes. to, for some momentum going into three, game three, three or is the mindset, let's try to come back? Oh, you want to, you never say die in pickleball because you get Second serve. the ball and you can keep it. That, as I mentioned in an earlier match, that make it take it mentality. We're down, but we don't have to give it back. There's no rule that says you get it a certain amount of time as long as I'm winning two, points. Ten, two. I like this for them to see, can we do this particular positioning and win with it? The Side problem out. is it's not what we have played, and it requires Jesse to go from passive defender and counter to be 70% of the court. Ten, if they two, want to play one. like this, I want her all over the middle. Certainly capable of doing that, but it's just a big change. And Anna Bright Point. firing game. away a Level little two. too late on that one, so that's going to go wide. Lucy Kovalo and Callie Smith forcing game three, dominating game two. And we're going to see if the momentum can switch back and forth again between Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright. Don't go anywhere. Game three, Johnny Pickleball Andrews, Dave Fleming. We'll be back right after this. Like I'm in a big leaf. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stance. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the rest. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. Dad, kitchen up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big loop. Beautiful Peachtree Tennis Center, the PPA Peachtree Classic, powered by Five, Invited six. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Five, Dave eight. Fleming. We're zero, getting ready zero, for game three of this women's pro double semifinals. Let's check in. Yeah, chestnut checkers here. So Irvin and Bright go back to the way they started. Zero, zero, Makes one. sense to me. The difference is Callie Smith is the one cross court and they're putting the ball not in the same spot every time. So Bright not as dialed in. Can she get it back? Well, Jesse Irvin not <laughs> gonna miss that overhead as she puts a stamp on it. She puts a stamp on it and got the protractor out zero, and found zero, a beautiful two. angle to go with it as well. That's the no go zone. Just don't come speeding that up on the move to Jesse Irvin. Just, just don't do it. Zero, Making zero, it look one. effortless Effort. there with a big forehand volley. Point. And there's the two-handed backhand from Anna Bright. 
That's game one, two hand back that was, And obviously that's, I mean, they didn't give her hardly anything in the air one, zero, in game one. two to be able to crack like that. So they did a great job of their execution of keeping the ball down. Here you see Bright go way out of her way to hit a forehand drop and it was a beauty. Mixing up Second the pace serve. there, mixing up the depth of the shot. And the location. They just said backhand, 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 backhand to Anna Bright, and she's like, I love One, this. Zero, don't, tell them, don't tell them there's a forehand. Now they're going on both sides of her body. Point. And a great drop there from Anna Bright. And the so. other difference is, is how clean Kovalova and Smith played in game two. None of that happened. There was not a two, freebie zero, to be found anywhere. The points that they did give up were earned. Side out. So that's an interesting thing. I've seen Bright now want to hit forehand thirds and run around her backhand. Her backhand's so good. Interesting. Zero, two, one. I have to find out about that. I'll talk to her. And that's a nice setup there from Lucy Kovalova. And both Lucy and Callie Smith having very aggressive returns, leading to very tough, one, two, difficult one. shots for Jesse and Jess, er, Jesse and Anna Bright. So really doing well to get the ball back to create their own. Great lead there from Anna Bright. And really at this point, we're in game three. You look at the physical fitness of all four of these ladies and just not even, not a problem. Oh, not a problem at all. Anna Bright has hit 9,000 more balls than anybody else on this court because uh, Smith and Kovalova has been closer to 50-50. But fitness is not an issue. These are great athletes. Okay, Point. so now. Kovalova saying way out. Okay, so message is sent with the wording of the call of where the ball two, was landing. Two, two. What a get by Kovalova. And trying to hit a nice two-handed backhand on defense to create some offense was Callie Smith. Coming up a little bit short yeah, as that one got one behind her. Maybe one more up two, and then two, try one. and get that ball in the kitchen there. That was a tough position to try and swing away. Oh my. Second serve. And the sorry not sorry oh. with the hand up, but with the smile walking back to the baseline is Callie Smith. Yes, two, two, shot. two. Don't let him see me. Great way to step in there with yeah. Jesse's powerful backhand. No one has more on that one-handed backhand volley than Jesse Irvin. Three, and that's two, the danger two. if you want a dink middle and add variety to it. Well, the long arm of the Irvin is lurking. Side out. And great direction there from Callie Smith, able to be extremely accurate down the line. So they're forcing Bright to hit the thirds. Now uh, we'll see Two, if they three, continue. One. Obviously they will to isolate her, but where do they put the ball? What an angle there Second by serve. Jesse Irvin. Incredible overhead. Right at our camera, beautiful Two, shot. Three, two. 
you see, because they're receiving, they're choosing not to get in trouble and unwind the stack and just staying. Oh, my. Callie Smith right over cooking that one. Kind of great idea to close. She had a great ball to do it on. Just, just punch it. Just punch it down. That didn't need any. Anna yes, Bright was are. in so much trouble backing up there that just Three, punching two, it one. down would have been easy with no pace. Easy for us to say, isn't it, Johnny? Peter? Absolutely. Okay, so not now in a time when they could decide where to put each other, Irvin will stay on the left. When this happened in game two, the middle became a problem. Second serve. And they just look a little off balance in this formation. Not saying they can't win with it, but it needs to get cleaned up quickly. Well, Anna Bright pushing that ball a little wide. Callie Smith electing to towel off here prior to the Jesse Irvin serve. We'll see if they hold this formation and for how long. Yep. Three, two, two. Point. Oh. But getting a little gift there from Lucy Kovalova. Very rare miss there with a the two-handed backhand. Did they ever? Four, two, two. And, and they extend their lead. It up. Four, two, two. Make that five, Point. two, two. And remember, once we get to six, we will have a one minute as the players will change sides. That's a nice job by Anna Bright saying, okay, you know what? I got plenty of game over Five, here on the two, right. Two. Just, just stay with me, Jesse. And Anna Bright right elected to fire away <laughs> by her ankles instead of the reset. And Callie Smith sitting there with a forehand saying thank you. Yeah, and then held the fist in front of her and just showed it to her for a while. So uh, Kovalova and Smith showing off Two, their fists five, to everyone. One. Although Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin quietly leading here, Three, you kind five, of feel one. the sense of Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith going to creep back in. Yeah, they got away with one there where Callie hit a ball that was going well out, but uh, was able to hit down. But Anna Bright Second finally serve. settling, it, set it, settling in on that forehand cross yeah. court, Dave, and. Finally gets that one down. Yeah, I mean, the, the reality here is the Jesse Three, Irvin five, has two. to fill the middle and be aggressive and then just tell Anna, just keep that ball down and then when you get one, go after it. So much heat from right Jesse up. Irvin. She's found angles, she's found sides of the court and there's just raw power. Love how much strategy is involved Five, three, in this one. battle. <laughs> and Point. that ball, Callie Changes. Smith unable Point to get out. the roll Six. to go over. So we're going to have a change of sides here as Anna Bright and Jesse Urban lead 6-3 in this final game here. The third game, 2-11, win by two, as both teams playing chess against each other at this point. Yeah, who's going to get the checkmate position? Now, Irvin and Bright have said, okay, let's squeeze this middle a little bit with Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright just keep rolling that ball safely. The difference is it's easier to go cross court when you're trying to find Anna Bright. If you're trying to go in front of you, guess what? The net's higher, Johnny P. That's, That's right. created a couple of mistakes here on balls that were dipping that both Kovalova and Smith have missed. So you have to sort of recalibrate with 
the target in a different spot. And Anna Bright didn't look comfortable there. They haven't really pressed the middle as much as I would like to see, that being Kovalova and Smith, because we saw just a couple of lower level disasters in the middle of the court when they were in this position earlier. They've got it cleaned up. The communication is better. And they look very confident as they switch sides, do Bright and Irvin. That's right. As you saw Jay DeVillier talking with uh, yes. Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright. And on the other side, you saw Matt Wright Six, three, one. talking to Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith. So a couple of male mixed partners given their point of view. It's always nice to have somebody from off the court. Maybe sees just a little something that can help. Second serve. And more and more people here at the Peachtree Tennis Center kind of starting to funnel their way to center court as this one Six, kind of comes three, to the conclusion. Two. Yeah, I want to see who, who gets to the finish line. what you want them to do if you're bright and urban. We've got that big, powerful forehand in the middle. If you think there's an opening there, go right ahead. urban has got to be there. She was there yeah, seven. easily. Yes. So, yes. and Jesse Irvin counterpoint. Seven, Absolutely, three, Jesse two. Irvin asking for clarification on where to be for the serve as they lead 7-3. And that ball is going to find out. the forehand of Lucy Kovalova. Much needed side out. Yeah, and Irvin, if she's in that cross court, Three, seven, does one. not need to go down the line in that position because she's even with Callie Smith, and that's where they want to be. Point. Wow. And a loud roar for a ball that went off the tape and stayed in. So, okay. Four, seven, one. ATP. Oh my, Callie Smith. Oh my, Lucy Kovalova on the line. That point had a little Second bit serve. of everything. Defense, offense, overheads, and you keep just keep going down the list. Insane steel curtain-like defense over there, but uh, Four, then seven, two. dropped in and couldn't handle the little backhand. So that's a frustrating miss for Callie Smith after all that work to get back in it. Right behind right Lucy up. Kovalova, Jesse Irvin faking her out a little bit, and, and they get it back. And that's nice, and that's what this formation will do is Jesse's seeing more balls now. So that has enabled them Seven, to get four, one. the power of Jesse Irvin inserted into this match. She's just got to play aggressive as she has here. And that ball is going to go a little Point. long. So Eight, Smith four. and Kovalova have not handled their Eight, side four, change one. well by being able to put the ball on the ground in front of Bright. They've tried to go cross court, and Jesse Irvin is eating that alive. Now she's going to be able to take thirds. And overextending there is Jesse Irvin trying to get out there and just kind of poke the ball. A little out of the reach. Yeah, a little, one Eight, more little four, slide two. there, and she's there. Oh, no. Point. And an unforced error there from Lucy serve. Kovalova with a missed eight. return. Nine, and there's going to be the timeout that they probably need as Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright now lead 9-4 here in game three. Johnny Pickleball Andrews, Dave Fleming, don't go anywhere for the conclusion of game three.
you're stuck in a hurricane Cause everything around you just keeps on turning I can see you searching for a stray The fire in your heart, it just keeps on burning Keeps on, it just keeps on burning Keeps on, it just keeps on burning Keeps on, it just keeps on burning Fire in your heart, it just keeps on burning Welcome back to the PPA Peach Tree Classic, powered by you, uh, Invited. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming as we get ready for I'm in. Nine, possibly four, the two. conclusion here of game three. We shall see. You never know in pickleball. Side out. And great time out there, not just because you're tired, but just to break up some momentum that Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright were starting to get. Four, nine, one. Yeah, all that, all the fist pumps and taking it to the penthouse has been missing for a while. So this is the chance to get it back. And another Second serve. head clinic from these two today. Huge high-level tennis players. That's a very handy thing to be able to pull out of the back Four, pocket. Nine, they both hit balls over their head since they were little. And Callie Smith, down. the shoulders were down. Yeah. The ball was dropping. Just couldn't get the lift. Yeah, it's that one hit backhand poke that's maybe one for six or seven. Just uh, Nine, four, really one. tough ball to make there. Let's see, again, it's another chance to get to 10 as you look at Anna Bright spinning that paddle and ready to go. And Anna Bright <laughs> upset with herself <laughs> after setting herself up for a beautiful opportunity. Nine, four, two. Just didn't finish it. And now Side Jesse out. Irvin with a rare miss. Okay. So. Going to give the ball right back to Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith. And if you're trying to win four, this game nine, against the one. number one seed, you Good don't want to give them that many opportunities. Got to at least make them earn it. And Jesse hearing Dave Fleming over here. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and poke one right down the middle. Beautiful shot. Four, nine, two. Make him earn it. Point. And trying that one more time. Not gonna be able to execute on that one. So point awarded to Callie Smith as they try to get even closer here. Five, nine, two. Five, nine, two. Another one of those low one-handed backhand attacks that's just really hard to do off that particular ball. And Jesse Irvin with right a fist pump and a stare down as you see it right here on instant replay going right behind Lucy Kovalova who is favoring the two-handed yeah. backhand in the middle. Always sitting backhand there. It was the spot that was Nine, missed five, on the one. first speed up though that didn't get to the body of Anna Bright. Making them stretch is yeah. Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith. There's Unable. the ball that was a little Nine, wonky five, there. Two. Fourth chance to get to 10. And that ball is going to go out as Jesse Irvin able to go behind Lucy Kovalova once again as she kind of shrugs her shoulders Ten, five, as we two. now have our first match point.
Callie Smith right says not yet. I mean, dead. And Lucy sticks her paddle out, and the angle of the paddle on the windshield wiper keeps the ball in. Five, ten, one. They've been flirting with disaster on these cross-court dink battles where Irvin is going to feel yes. so comfortable with that and then put Kovalova in a bad spot. They're going to keep making them do it. Look at that inside out. Callie's able to recover, but just too much. Unbelievable. Second, and Lucy Kovalova going to have to get helped up by her partner. But yeah, the just, roll uh, shot of Jesse Irvin with the backhand followed up by an inside out forehand making that whole point start to fall apart five, for Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith. Yep, and Jesse's getting a lot of balls right now at crunch time. Side and not able to lift that one over is Callie. So match point number two. 10, five, one. Second serve. And this return has to go to Anna Bright also. It has to. Trying to end it in one big drive was Anna Bright there. Unsuccessful, so she's going to get to serve. Five, two. With another match point opportunity. So a big serve could force a different kind of return. Oh, just a loopy one to Jesse. Oh, and ball point off the game. Net. That's, That's going to do it. Eight. Jesse Irvin, Anna Bright. Able to take this one and three against the number one seed, Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith. They will be headed tomorrow, Championship Sunday, to go into gold, and we'll get to see who they go against. But we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. PBA Petrie Classic. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Welcome back to Center Court once more. I've got our first set of ladies finalists. Guys, you're headed to Championship Sunday. Jesse Irvin, Anna Bright. Guys, big congratulations to you both. That was some phenomenal pickleball out there. Lucy Kelly came back for a dominant game two, but how did you shut them down, come back even harder in game three? Um... We played a really solid game one. They made some adjustments in game two, and we've uh, gone to three games with this team every time and always the same pattern, but we've lost the third game, so really just had to lock it down. We had Jay, you know, giving us some amazing coaching, probably the best coach in the game. We had some really amazing fans cheering us on and helping us stay calm, cool, and collected, and we got it done. Well, guys, you're coming off a Grand Slam title just last week. You took down Leia Catherine in that one, now Lucy Kelly. Is this the harbinger of our next number one team? I mean, that's our goal, you know, like, I think we both 
we are enjoying what we're doing. We're out here. We're fierce competitors. You know, we try hard for every point. We're helping each other out. Um, and yeah, like we kind of, you know, our goal is to be number one. But I think our goal for the most part is just to come out here and always just have fun and play good pickleball. You want to add something to that, Anna? Um, yeah, Jesse's already the number one ranked, so right. it's really on me to just kind of climb the rankings a little. Um, but Jesse's already number one. I just want to throw that out there. That's right, Anna. You're relatively new to pickleball. You came over from tennis. What is something about pickleball that was a little tougher for you to catch on to when you first moved over from tennis? Um, the forehand grip and uh, not hitting every ball as hard as I can. If people watch earlier videos of me playing pickleball, I just speed up everything. Um, and now I'm, I'm better at being patient, so working on it. Well, guys, congratulations. It was so fun to watch. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the second semifinal on the men's side. There it is, the beautiful Peachtree Tennis Center, the PPA, Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming, and we have another men's pro double semifinals match between the number one seed, Ben Johns, and Colin Johns, taking on the number four seed, Tyson McGuffin and Jay DeVillier. Dave, what do you think? Well, here's going to be interesting, and I think that affected our, our last match. There's been a lot of time in between when they played their quarters. Who can come out and get a good start going? The Johns boys certainly looked motivated earlier today. Now they got to find that same level. De Villiers and McGuffin, as we talked earlier on the broadcast, are on the rise as a, as a duo. They've been trying to figure out who do we play where. They played straight up earlier. Obviously, Ben Johns will only be on the right side of the court when he runs in front of his brother to get a ball on the right side of the court. He will be on the left the entire day. That is not up for debate. I think we'll see more and more of that in pickleball, actually. I play here, you play there. Just get awesome at one part of the game and pair that up. That's what these two have as Colin Johns is tremendous on that side of the court. I think you have to be solid on both sides. And we saw Anna Bright have to go both ways on the earlier match and played very well down the stretch. So game kudos one, to them. So we got zero, Newman and Wright waiting. Here we go. And Colin Johns trying to speed that one up, unsuccessful. 
Yeah, that's his magic. That forehand there, there sort of holds that cobra, just threatens you with the paddle. And he can dink from there. He can attack from there. And there's the baby brother coming in front. Second serve. Kind of setting himself up there with the pattern. You'll see him step in for the first one and then cleaning Here's it up, two. putting it through Jay de Villiers. And Colin John's not electing to let that one go. <laughs> Just kind of a statement backhand volley. Yeah, thanks for saving the video boards there, Colin. Appreciate you. Zero, zero, one. Got some heat on it. Ben John's getting what he wants out of that combination against Jade Villiers, moving the ball around first, and then finally the one-two. Yeah, Ben is definitely going to test the hands of both of his opponents here. As he's thinking, I like my chances. John's trying to pancake that ball. Yeah, had the scorpion position ready and just couldn't get on top of it enough. One, zero, Saw it, read it like a buck. Point. Oh my. The long arm of Jay Davilia gets in front of the forehand two, zero, of two. McGuffin and gets the miss. Colin John's trying to go for the one-two himself. Actually sets it up. Looks like he went a little loose on pressure of his paddle. Almost fell two, out two, of his one. hand. It came back so fast. Yeah, he's usually so good at that combo. Hit down a little bit on that one. Oh, great hands, Tyson. Just yeah. prolonged Second, the sir. agony, but uh, nice job of getting that ball back. And off the net court as you see it there. And Tyson McGuffin having a little bit extra pop lately as well. Indeed, these uh, Selkirk went into the lab and came out with a lot of magic. 001, 002, hello fire. 003 is what's going on here with the power air. So uh, definitely have upped the game in different types of paddles. Selkirks have always been Zero, so two, two. good with the feel and the touch and you generate your own paddle and now they've got both. And Ben Johns, as we've probably said thousands of times, coming coming out on top in that dink battle. Imagine that. <laughs> news flash, not news. And Colin Johns taking a step back there on the uh, kitchen line, just setting up to counter. Three zero one. And that's what he does, and he does it brilliantly. And he can afford to do that because he's got baby brother next to him. We'll clean up the middle. And another slap <laughs> winner there from Colin Johns. You're going to see it right here as he gets ready and just cleans up back there on the baseline. Yeah, hit the T almost on that. Just perfect. So speeding up at Colin is not working on this particular uh, possession. Okay, Second it is sir. now. <laughs> One so missed shot there from Colin. But as you see already, they're isolating Four, zero, Colin Johns a little bit more, trying not to get Ben involved too much. But very, I mean, very well-established teams here. Side up. Indeed, and I think, you know, what we saw in the Battle of Brigham that everyone talked about, and we may or may not get a rematch of that. Zero, four, a lot of balls sped up at this team from Riley Newman and Matt Wright when we last saw them play against each other. Uh, 
just that deep on the lob from Davillier. But I like that he tried to continue, like, just to mix up yes. something else. Don't just grind out, be textbook with the Johns brothers. They're very textbook players, and so try to be a little, a little unconventional. unconventional. Yeah, absolutely. Point. As we witness that little exchange there as well. The whole thing's about comfort. And One, four, two. Don't let your opponent get comfortable. Point. And a rare backhand dink miss from Ben Johns. Two, four, two. And so Tyson McGuffin and Jay Davillier just hanging around so far and trying to add up some more points. Side out. And ben John's not going to let that happen. Uh, that register is close. You're going to have to go to self-checkout because that was roped down the middle. 4-2-1. And Second again, serve. witnessing the power there from Tyson McGuffin. And the shape of the ball, too, as he's putting that ball, what you can't see sometimes is the amount of spin where the ball is shaped and kind of going down. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of rec players are just hitting the ball. These guys are hitting the bottom of the ball, the side of the ball, the Four, two, two. getting spin and pace from where on the ball they strike it. And that's how you generate spin, and that's how you recreate strings for those that are tennis players Point. by scraping the ball on its various sides. It's a skill you have to practice or you will Five, be hitting two, balls two. all over your rec game, let me tell you. Point. The other Damn. interesting thing about this match, Johnny P, is the fact that they've chosen to put Tyson McGuffin Six, on two, the left two. side here. Jay Davillier has played left side pickleball most of his career. They feel like for this battle, this is what they want. Yeah. And Jay finishing that one up here. As ready on the counter from Colin Johns. And maybe they're looking at different matchups here of who they want in front of them and across from them yeah. versus just, I Two, want six, this one. side or that side. Yeah, so that's, you know, they're making a decision to put De Villiers in front of Ben Johns. And sometimes Second you have a third. shadow, meaning. I am going to go wherever somebody on the other team goes. In this case, two, six, two. the ghost is known, okay? And that ghost is Ben Johnson. He's going to be on the left side. So if you want De Villiers in front of him the Point. whole game, he's going to have to play the right. Three, and six, the Johns two. brothers taking a 6-2 lead here. We'll see if Jay De Villiers and Tyson McGuffin can get something going. And although he misses that one, the one thing I will say is that a lot of teams who after a good long break will come out a little flat yeah. or a little slow. Both these teams look pretty pretty Four, dialed six, in. Yeah, early. This, is a, this is a nice level right off uh, the jump here after they haven't played Point. except for a missed return. Thanks, Ben. 5-6-2. The lead is just one now after that miss. And Jay Davillier flying through the air there. You know, I think that's what we're seeing here is Jay's just going to pinch one. and they're going to just put a clamp on Colin Johns with McGuffin in front of him and Davillier filling in. You can see how far over he is. He's going to say, go ahead and beat me down the line, Ben. Point. And they like the matchup. I know Colin Johns probably likes the matchup of having Jay Davillier cross court from, uh, from him for the dink yes. battle. And, uh, Seven, five, one. He just has to deal with the new power from Tyson McGuffin straight ahead. Point. And that's the ball Timeout that receivers. Eight, if five, De Villiers one. takes that ball, there's nothing that's going to come of it. If Tyson gets that ball, it's a forehand that he can do a lot with. So he's got to get the battle out of there. That's right. And these guys are going to take a little hydration break. Don't go anywhere. PBA Classic.
And welcome back to the PPA Peachtree Classic powered by I'm Invited. In. We have the number one hey, seed, Ben one. Johnson, Colin Johns, taking on the four seed, Tyson McGuffin and Jay DeVillier. 8-5 lead here, game one. And that's probably what Jay DeVillier and Tyson McGuffin were hoping for of having him on the left side. Yeah, I mean, the attack Eight, choice five, by Colin Johns, he's one of the best strategists in the game. He would say to any student taking a clinic from him, don't do what I just did. Listen to me. Just don't do that. Side Ooh. out. Big swing by Ben Johns in the middle. So timeout, really effective there. No five, damage eight, on two serves. Point. And great leave there from Jay DeVillier as that one sails wide. Six, eight, one. As they creep their way just a little closer to hopefully tying this up with Ben and Colin. Nice reset by CJ right there. Oh. And going after second Tyson serve. McGuffin that time is Colin Johns and winning that battle. So second server coming up. And he told Ben Johns, get... Hey, I'm the older brother. Get that paddle out of here. I'm going to finish with my backhand. Thank you very much. Don't get all the winners. Much better stuck volley by Colin Johns after the one before that. He did not hit clean. And there's Ben Johns to clean it up. And that was an issue when they lost to Newman and Wright. So clearly he's been working on that. That was a nice volley. Oh dear, is that in? Oh and my. after missing that one, he just doesn't know what happened because he had an amazing get off an overhead. I mean, the point is over, and he flings it up in the air, and now they have just a, a simple drop to get to the kitchen. And unable to get that overhead back from Jay DeVillier. Tyson McGuffin jump in the kitchen, and Jay able to mark that one. Six, eight, one yeah the flying Frenchman lives up to his tennis pedigree right there second serve and Ben Johns wisely letting that one go as Colin Johns leans in almost halfway into the kitchen to Six, eight, apply two. pressure And just too much, Ben Johns, just straddling, just sliding ever so effortlessly. He's not in a hurry, but he's there. How is he there and not in a hurry? It just works that way. His anticipation's terrific. And there's that nasty CJ smoked forehand down the middle. You put it just close enough to McGuffin where he's sitting back in that he can't get his forehand there, and DeVillier is not there to cover it. Point. And they get an easy one there, but Colin Johns Timeout holds that paddle in position and just waits for you to make a move before he finally does his shot. And what then are you he'll gonna redirect do? I'm it. Counter. Yeah, absolutely. And so with that, Tyce McGuff and Jay DeVillier are going to be taking a timeout to try to break up the momentum from Ben Johns and Colin Johns. As you are said in the beginning, Dave Fleming, they they look like they are on a mission right now to kind of rectify what happened. At yeah, you don't want to look ahead when the day starts because there's a lot of great teams here. However. <laughs> They won the Grand Slam, but Riley Newman was out throwing out the first pitch in Seattle, so Matt Wright and Riley Newman were not in the draw in Cincinnati. They were in the draw at Brigham City for the Tournament of Champions. It was one of the best, I've called it the best men's match I've ever seen, just because of the intensity and what was on the line. They want that rematch. They still got a lot of work to do to get there, though. Absolutely. And Tyson McGovern and Jay DeVillier would love their opportunity to play in Championship Sunday Absolutely. as well. And Tyson McGuffin with the Second tongue out of Colin John saying not that one. 
and always a ten six two. A fun character on the yes. court. Just wasn't happy that that ended up in. Point game. And there's Ben Johns to clean it up again with another combination. One two bang bang. There's game one in the books with Colin Johns and Ben Johns taken down. Tyson McGuffin, Jay DeVillier, 11-6. We'll see what adjustments the number four seed can make to try to force game three. Don't go anywhere. Johnny Pickleball Andrews, Dave Fleming, PPA Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. We'll be back. Welcome back to the PPA Peachtree Classic powered by invited Johnny Pickleball Day Andrews here with me. Dave Fleming. Here's We're getting two. ready for game two. Tyson McGuffin serving. Let's go. Side and a vicious return by Colin Johns. Maybe he should start playing some singles if he can return that serve that well. Zero, Let's zero, go. One. And just no go zone there. Just do not put that ball on Ben's paddle cross court. And you see he, what he does better than anybody one, goes zero, straight one. down with it. Doesn't hit it parallel. Second serve. And ben John's trying to feel that roll out a little bit and Misses Maybe. it wide and let me get the ball. I got the ball. Here it comes. Up. Oh. Horrible throw. I hit the tent, folks. I hit the tent. I hit the tent. I got to be better. I hit the tent on my throw. I'll be the first to admit. One zero two. A lot of comments here. Oh, and CJ gets tagged. So. Tyson After McGuffin. the Dave Fleming throwing clinic, it's <laughs> CJ gets nailed. Uh, Tyson Zero McGuffin one, one. able to handcuff Colin Johns, really getting it up on the right shoulder. Hard to get that paddle out there. That's Second just too start. good right there. And Ben Johns trying to do what Tyler Loon did earlier and break the ball. Yes. Zero, one, two. Yeah, that was one of the hardest hit balls we've seen, and uh, the ball showed, uh, I'm done with this. Set out. Oh, good return, man. The return game to start this really good. And really not very much wind out there one right now, one. so uh, the depth and precision 
really making it difficult for Tyson and Jay to, to have quality returns. Oh my. And Colin Johns setting up Ben Johns perfectly with this around the post, but uh, unable to clean it up right there. Just kind of. That's one, one extra Christmas two. gift. Come on, brother. That's exactly how ATPs work now. And Tyson McGuffin with a, this we'll call it Ernie and a half. Kind of. I'd say more of a half Ernie. Zero, one, just straddles one. the kitchen yeah. line a little bit. And hikes the shorts up and puts that ball away on the uh, second shorts time. Shorts are definitely up. Ooh. Second serve. Big rip. Zero, one, two. You can see. De Villiers now on the left side of the court. And side out. boy. Gimme's gifts, candy everywhere, and it's trick or treating. It's all trick. One, zero, one. No one wants the treats. Players relentless. <laughs> getting what they want. Ben Johns going directly at the body of Jay Devilliers after one, two, three, able to finally put it away. And like his brother likes to do, holds that two, zero, up one. over his head and said, here comes trouble. But great resets there from Tyson McGuffin. And Point. as he tries to slap that ball. Yeah, and now they seem a bit confused as to who's going to be playing Three, zero, what one. side of the court. They're going to keep Devilliers on the left now. Let's see how that works out. And Second gets to serve. be a little tricky when you and your partner need to try to find a solution midpoint. Yes. Three, zero, not two. ideal. as a semi-no-look there from Four Colin Johns, kind of yeah. moving his body towards the left in the middle and putting that ball right down the line. Jay Devilliers, Tyson McGuffin going to talk about it. Don't go anywhere. Game two coming back. We'll be back after this. And there's a look at championship court here at the Peachtree Classic Two. powered by Invited. We're ready to get underway here after a timeout from the number four seed. We'll see if they can come back with some adjustments. Side out. And that at least going to break up the momentum of Ben and Colin Johns. Yeah, they get the side Zero, out. Four, they go back to McGuffin on the left. Oh my goodness, De Villiers, I can't even believe he got the one that was behind him. That is as ridiculous a get as you'll see, and he turns it into a winner. Jay De Villiers, highlight reel, one, four, part one. one, right there. And Second that serve. ball gonna go wide as Jay De Villiers was flying across once yes, again. I believe some sort of uh, one, four, rocket booster was inserted into his tennis shoes during the timeout. Playing very aggressive, coming out. Yeah, point. And aggressive and a little bit of energy now inserted into both Tyson McGuffin and Jay DeVillier just trying to get going here. That's the key to their, two, four, two. their game is built on that and they haven't had a lot of it in this match so far. And Side out. now we're boxing out our partner to get the rebound and to hit the ball there, De Villiers. 
is hungry four, two, for the Dura right now. Honestly, they almost ran into each other again there. And great hang time there from Colin Johns yeah, with a backhand there. overhead. Again, the tennis players are used to doing that. If you don't come from tennis, that's a very Five, two, awkward one. shot, a backhand overhead when you got to flick the paddle in the, with the back of your hand as opposed to the front. Silky smooth reset from CJ right there. Second serve. And trying to pop that one just over Tyson, kind of gets caught. And a little bit of a little bit more life Five, here two, coming two. from the number four seed. And there's the come on. <laughs> After a multiple overheads, he's yeah. finally going to get one. Colin Johnson able to come up with it. But you got to think now, if you are Jay DeVilliers and Tyson McGuffin playing against Colin and Ben, who are playing very well, it's time to just swing Two, five, out. Got to go. Point. And they are continuing to just go for it. Yeah. Drive the ball. Three, five, one. And crash. Second serve. And there was the crash, just unable and to convert. The crash unfortunately happened on their side of the net. So uh, good handle. Again, that's Three, you got to stick two. the fourth volley when you know that strategy is coming. Point. And Ben uh, unable to get the roll. And that's what the pressure does. You can drop and crash too, which is what they're doing. Four, five, two. Point. And another missed volley from Colin Johns and Ben Johns. And they don't call timeouts, though, five, unless five, it's two. just dire. So they will play on. And Point. it's Colin, getting close to dire. Colin just actually tried to get out of the way, unable to. And now we have our first lead here Six, five, two. for Tyson McGuffin and Jay DeVillier. So that, that is going to be the strategy. We saw DeVillier boxing out McGuffin to get the ball a minute ago. All pressure, making sure that they get themselves in the proper position. We're not going to have people Five, six, getting points when people are out of position anymore. Let's get everybody right and earn it. This hustle. Oh. And trying to crash once again is Jay DeVilliers after kind of bailing himself out. He made an unbelievable recovery in the middle and then came flying in front of McGuffin there and smoked it into the net. Colin Johns pleading with himself to just get some of these resets. Although they're going in, they're all coming in very high. A little high. Side out. A big swat at that run from CJ. So only able to get one. And Jay DeVillier and Tyson McGuffin not trying to stay in that dink very long at this no. point. They are trying to just fire away. You're going to lose one. fundamentals to these two. You just are. So you got to come firing. And DeVillier is just, they're Second literally serve. just clamping the court down, meaning throw it in front of CJ, and then the two of us are going right at him. Great two. job there by Colin of handling that. Side out. 
And going for the third shot drive there was going to be Tyson McGuffin. Side out. In 12 seconds. Pick, pick one. And all tied up. And Colin now being the one to initiate first. Normally, he kind of just continues to go yes. cross-court battle. Especially that particular six, six, ball two. where McGuffin has no other responsibility except to cover down the line with, with De Villiers so close to him. Oh, a silky dropper. Look at this get. What a point. Best point of the match. Tyson McGuffin, Jay DeVillier coming out on top. And it is DeVillier showing that emotion. They were so far ahead in that point, and Johns threw up a humongous lob to get Colin back in the point, did Ben, and they got it back to neutral, but end up not winning the point. Tied up still. And pump the brakes, they caught Jay DeVillier. I mean, that's, they're going to live and die by that. So if the drive isn't six, six, low, two. that first volley is going to be a problem. Point. And an error from Ben Johns. So here we go with another lead for Jay DeVillier and Tyson McGuffin. Seven, six, two. As they're at 7-6-2. is on the prowl. And there he goes. Once again, getting a little fist bump, getting a little chest bump from Tyson McGuffin as he sneaks in there as Collins unable to retreat back after an Ernie. 862. Another one, and now we're starting to get the energy from Tyson McGuffin. We haven't heard any barking for a while. We just got it, and the rare Johns Brothers timeout. Right on cue as they see the lead. Kind of had momentum going in favor of Tyson McGuffin and Jade DeVillier. So don't go anywhere. Johnny Pickleball Andrews, Dave Fleming will be back right after this. A great look there of Jay DeVillier and Tyson McGuffin as they are getting ready to resume this game two as they've taken the lead. We'll see if Ben Johns and Colin Johns have an answer. Side out. 
And so proves to be a solid timeout to break up the momentum of Tyson and Jay as they get the Six side out. And Colin and Ben now will get to work. As that one goes over the head or shoulder and head of Ben Johns, yeah, able to get the, out of the way. That's the risk of the cross-court attack, keeping it in Seven, nine, inside the sideline, not deep, but you got to tag the person if you're going to go that hard at that yeah. severe an angle. It, that one, of course, is staying in as Seven, nine, Devillier two. is really feeling it right now. And Tyson McGuffin almost coming up with that reset, but unable, just a little out of reach. Lava. That ball is going to go after a big exchange from Jay and Ben back and forth. And we're tied up just like that. Timeout receivers, 992. And there's going to be a timeout taken from Tyson McGuffin and Jay Devillier. As the Johns brothers looking calm and composed as ever. When don't they? I mean, they get out of sorts every once in a while when they aren't communicating. We saw that happen actually at the match we referenced earlier, but uh, De Villiers playing so aggressive and it has been working. They've just got to find the right execution here to get the ball back. There are two points from being sent to the back draw, but there are also two points from forcing a game three. It's been that press and that push that McGuffin and De Villiers, and especially De Villiers, he has wanted every ball that's come over on their side. He wants to hit it. And Tyson McGuffin doing a great job of playing his role yes. as kind of the reset rhythm man. And we'll see what happens next. Point. And De Villiers took a ball out of the air and then was caught moving on the next one. And match point. That's where we're at. 10-9-2. And that's going to do it. Ben Johns, Colin Johns, moving on to Championship Sunday for the gold and the rematch that they wanted against Riley Newman and Matt Wright. Yeah, I really like what Jocelyn De Villiers did in the middle of that game, but just couldn't get to 11, only got to nine, and that's where they will stay. That's right. We'll be back. More pickleball coming.
Welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for being with us. I've got Colin Johns, Ben Johns here with me. They're on to Championship Sunday. Guys, your opponents made quite the run in game two. It looked a little scary there for a minute. How did you guys stay focused and finish that one? Yeah, they're both great players, and they always fight hard, so we'd expect nothing less there. So we always know they're going to try to push back and win as many points as they can. Uh, they got desperate there at the end and made a little run. Uh, fortunately, we were able to get the ball back and, and shut it down. Well, we got to see Jay Devillier play the right, which is not something we generally see. He's more of a left side player. How did that play out in this match? Uh, yeah, he's a pretty active mover, so you don't often see a player on the right side being really active with movement, so that's kind of a, a new angle. Uh, and, and he played it well, so um, yeah, it's a little bit of an adaptation as you're playing. Well, guys, you're going to see Riley Newman, Matt Wright, obviously, on Championship Sunday tomorrow. You've lost a couple of your last meetings against them. How are you going to make sure the result is different this time around? Yeah, we had our opportunities in the last time, uh, last match that we played them. Um, we didn't take those opportunities, so I think it's really going to come down to, to a few critical moments, and you got to seize your opportunities when they're presented. Well, guys, congratulations. We'll see you compete tomorrow. We still have one more match to show you, and it's going to be an electric one. Lee and Lee, Anna Lee Waters against Leah Jansen, Catherine Parenteau, coming up next. And a good look there of Anna Lee Waters. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PPA Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming as we get ready for our final semifinal women's pro doubles match of the evening. And that's going to be Anna Lee Waters and Lee Waters taking on Leah Jansen and Catherine Parento. Yeah, so this is very interesting because waiting is the four seed, Irvin and Bright. They beat both these teams to get the Grand Slam title in Cincinnati. So somebody is gonna go to the back draw and someone's get a chance at revenge. This matchup will be very interesting. We saw Lee Waters get off to a slow start in their last match and then Anna Lee Waters cranked it up and she was all over the place. Can Catherine Parento and Leah Jansen neutralize that and make Lee Waters hit a lot of balls? We saw Anna Bright targeted, one. Time in. did a brilliant zero, job of zero, handling two. that to get herself and Jesse Irvin to the final. Can Lee Waters do the same? A right, little net cord there is going to help right. Catherine Parento out. So they strike first. One, zero, two. It's the 
birds from Pronto are just nasty. Man, right that on. forehand behind Catherine Parento was nasty yes. by Anna Lee Waters. Yeah, just a, uh, I'm not sure why Catherine Zero, got out one, of that pattern. One. She was in a good spot and then gave it to the more dangerous player. Got lay Jansen keeping this point alive. And a great shot there from Catherine Parento catching nice. Anna Lee Waters off guard. Yeah, it came across her body and she was holding a forehand, so unable to get the forehand grip in front of the ball. That's nicely done. Parento Zero, one, looks two. highly motivated here. Not that she isn't always, but really dialed in at the start of this match. Again, these teams haven't played for several hours. Side out. And we'll see if this is a case of the Waters kind of coming out a little slow. Yep. One, but we'll get zero, dialed one. in later, or you know, the quality of the ball they receive will have a big Point. part of that. And this is it was balls like these that uh, were dropped in their Two, last zero, match one. that created a bit of a lead, and then it was all Anna Lee all day long with Lee doing her part as well. But right now it's all about Leah Point. Jansen and Catherine Parento. Yeah, as you'll see it right there, just Leah Jansen just setting it up for herself. Able to put that ball away. Three zero one. As they have an early lead here at three zero one. And that ball, although called out for a second, did land in. Second serve. Three zero two. And that landed in as well. So I see Point. you, and you let one go, and thanks for letting one go in return. Appreciate you. Four zip. Four zero two. Point. And nice another handle. one. Nice Time handle out. Receiver. by Leia Jansen. Five, so earlier zero. in their last quarterfinal match, they called timeout within 30 seconds. They were down. They lost the first four points. This isn't the first four points, but it's a quick timeout. The Waters have done this throughout their career. Obviously, she's just 15, so it's not like it's a 20-year <laughs> career. But uh, they just settle everything down. All right, we have a five-point hole. No big deal. Let's get this figured out. I really like what I'm seeing from Parento and Jansen because when these two are playing well, it's some of the best complimentary pickleball because Catherine can do just about anything with the ball on the court. Jansen does a great job when she is set up of finishing. She's got that aggressive mentality. And the other part of what we saw from Jansen in the last couple of points is her resetting the ball when she or Catherine gets in a little bit of trouble. So uh, really on point here for a start of a match when you haven't played for a while. Yeah, and the Waters have been playing together since, you know, forever. So <laughs> The answer is birth. <laughs> so yes, I'm sure they're going to be okay, kind of settle in here and uh, lay a Jansen to serve, but they do have I'm in. Five, zero, two. a five-zero lead. And we'll see if they can build on it. And somehow right able out. to recover after a massive two-handed backhand was Anna Lee Waters able to pick up that big forehand. Zero, five, one. Yeah, the movement is spectacular. Yeah. Sensational. Second serve. You know, they've decided like they did earlier today when they were in trouble putting Anna Lee on the left side and Zero, Parento five, and Jansen two. were up to the task on that exchange. And leaving that one, Lee Waters able to find the Point. middle. Yeah, that's sort of a tennis shot, a running, uh, not a passing shot because you hit it between them, but uh, one, five, that's when two. Parento wants back to step in there and close it.
And that was going to spell trouble for Parento yes, and Jansen. T-R-O-U-B-L-E, but uh, the net said, I got you. Five, one, one. Second and serve. The net giveth and the net taketh away as yeah, well. Yeah, again, we saw Callie Smith hitting that Five, particular one, shot quite a bit. That is a rough ball to try and attack a low with the one-handed flick backhand. Now Anna Lee once again Second flying serve. in there with a forehand. And just the amount of power, Dave, that she's able to generate with such minimal backswing. Yes. Side out. It's impressive. Side and out. Nice cross-court attack by Lee Waters set that up. So uh, the beauty of this team is we talked about one, who's five, comfortable one. in a lot of these matches. These two are comfortable on either side of the court. Whatever you need, we're good. And Anna Lee all of a sudden coming alive there with the two-handed back. And you'll see right here, right in the middle, as she catch, two, catches Leia Jansen one. leaning. You think the middle's Point. open. She is Time rushing out. back, Receivers. and then she just Three, throws five. on the brakes and sticks that paddle. One. The paddle is always in good position, and her movement is so good. So That's right. And Catherine Parento, Leia Jansen, going to think about it, take a timeout. But don't go anywhere. More pickleball to come. We'll be back right after this. And there's a good look at Lee Waters and Anna Lee Waters as they get ready to go here. Time in. And it's three, interesting, the last match one. and this match, they started with Anna Lee on the right and immediately switched point. and had a roaring comeback. Four, five, one. And are going to stay with this and now get a freebie out of the timeout, which they will certainly happily accept. Second serve. And Leia Jansen kind of telling Catherine Parento, let's go. Take advantage of those opportunities that they have as they jumped out to a quick yes. lead early Four, on five, in game two. one. Jansen reset clinic, unbelievable. And Catherine Parento unable to follow up as they were so close to getting back yes, into the kitchen. I mean, just ridiculous from Leia under siege yes, from Anna Lee Waters. Five, five, two. Point. And kind of coming up too soon. Yeah, and a short return just creates Six, a lot five, of problems two. when you've got two players that can drive a ball as well as Anna Lee and Lee. Waters honest was Catherine Parento. Yeah, she kept threatening to come in there 
Great job by Lee Waters of maintaining her focus when Anna Time Lee, out. the ponytail, Seven, five, is two. jumping in and out in front of her. She kept it down, and then Catherine tried to trick her. All that movement created a ball that shouldn't have been hit there in the first place. So this yeah. is what they do to you. You get ahead, and then Annalie Waters says, I am going to dictate the points, and you're going to have to deal with it. Leah, Wa Leah Jansen has done a really nice job of being able to reset the ball. You heard her screaming at Catherine in a nice way, but in an urgent way, go get the one ball, wasn't able to finish it. So... After having a 5-0 lead. Yeah. Yeah, they just got to get back trail. to what got them that. That's what, they're, that's what they're missing. So Leia Jansen, Catherine Parento coming out of the timeout, hoping they broke up some momentum. Yeah, they've used both their timeouts here. So uh, in the event of any Time replay seven, interest, five, they two. couldn't use it. That's the one downfall. I agree with using the timeout there, but. And Lee Water is able to kind of just hang back at the baseline. As you can kind of see, Anna Lee just kind of lurking Throw, there. Yeah, just my half's covered. Mom, now get up here, Eight, Mom, five, two. and goes with the lob on the run, gets the miss from Parento. And the side Point. switch for Parento and Jansen does not work as this run continues. Nine, five, two. Side out. And there's the much needed side out after being much. ahead 5 0. Underline now down 18 times. Much. 5 9. Five, nine one. And ready for that Second attack is going to be Lee Waters. As so, she counters very quickly. Yeah, the indecision in the middle there, then you're not sure who's taking the middle ball. Five, and that's what nine, Jansen two. and Parento were stuck with on that point. Side out. So all the positive mojo from 5 0 has been absolutely nine, erased. Five, it's one. gone. And they may see 11 in a row go the other way. And point. speeding up very quick and very early is Anna Lee Waters, and just like that, game point, ten, five, one. 10 points in a row so far. And point. there's 11, game. there's the game. Game one going to the number two seed, Anna Lee Waters, five. Lee Waters, they'll switch sides, head into game two. We shall see if Catherine Parento and Leah Jansen can turn things around. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back right after this. Should I been through So I put it all in that rear view Clean money in a black whip Got old problems with the friends new Yeah, I'm in the big leagues Told them don't miss me Ballin' like Houston Ayy, feelin' like Whitney Yeah, I need a bag, bruh Send it through quickly I'm making his dog Like I'm in the big leagues 
Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the raps. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. They ain't catching up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big leagues. Told her don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big league. As our referees get back into position, the players get back into position as well. Johnny Pickleball Game Andrews two, here with in. Dave zero, Fleming, zero, the PPA two. Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Let's get started with Game 2. Side out. And Anna Lee Waters in disbelief that she missed one. <laughs> zero, zero, one. So not going to risk unwinding the stack, so just a fake out of Lee Waters there. Point. And it's Leah Jansen and Catherine Parento striking first in this game. As they did in game number one, one. Zero, they struck one. first five times and then didn't strike again. So you got to wonder, Second Dave, if, if you're Catherine Parento and you see this ball by Anna Lee Waters just sail past you again and Leah Jansen, obviously, you one, know, something zero, happened two. in game one. What kind of adjustments do you make in game two, or is it just execution? No, it's it's just commitment to make Lee Waters hit 9,000 balls. There was just too many. I mean, zero, let's try one, that. One. Now, it's easier said than done. Lee's a tremendous player, but Anna Lee Waters took over that game and had her stamp all over it. Second and serve. they do just that going at Lee Waters that time, but it does feel like Anna Lee Waters saw the ball quite frequently Zero, for one, a little two. while, but insert, and, was able to insert herself. And if she knows every ball is going to go to her mother, she's going to sneak in there, and we saw her do that, but at least it's not her dictating the points. As that one's going to go a little little deep here, as you can see on our instant replay. Just trying yeah, to get over the shoulder two. there of Lee Waters. Again, it's that one-handed flick that uh, has not been a strong shot for the ladies today. That one was high from Leah Jansen. And so there's something for everybody to drill. We're going to go with Point. it. It's got to get down. And Anna Lee Waters just put a thumping on that ball. Two, one, two. Lee Waters unable to reset that one, but you see Anna Lee continue to just crash faster and faster. Oh, yeah. Like she's a menace and one, a threat. One, two, one. I'm going to switch her over to the left. Second goes for a little, not even a drop volley, just a come and try and get this on the move, and I think you're going to pop One, it up. Two, two. And she ended up getting a mistake instead. Side out. So and we'll that's be. what you're going to have to live with. Like, if Lee Waters is going to beat us, then we're going to get beat. But we cannot two, let one, one. the best player on the court dictate it. As that ball goes Point. wide, and that is definitely a role and a skill for, for someone to, to learn. And Annalie's been able to, to learn how to Three, be one, the one. best player on the court. That's not the easiest thing no. to do sometimes. No, and if again, ever. 
and the Point. just Time the out, presence receiver, of her four, one. coming in there. Obviously, Lee Waters can drive a ball from anywhere, and then you've got the pressure of making a good volley with the ponytail and all that Anna Lee Waters brings at you. That is not easy to do. That's right. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the PPA Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Johnny Pickleball Andrews here with Dave Fleming as we have game two underway. Yes, ma'am, you are correct. As Lee Waters and Catherine Parento struck Time first. In. Four, one, now one. Now we have four unanswered here from Anna Lee Waters and Lee oh, that Waters. Sounds like something that might have just happened. Point. And there's number five. Yeah, and just a stick volley by Lee Waters. Really impressive. Five, one, Not one. over swinging on that one. Just punch, go. And Leia Jansen Second able to serve. go behind Anna Lee Waters. So. Yeah, and that's the, the quality Five, of the ball. One, I mean, two. the trust between mother and daughter on all things in life, but especially third shot drops. She's going to go. And there it is again, turning defense to offense, able to Point. hit a nice defensive shot and just how quickly they both close yeah. in. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, as they, they smell blood. They just keep Six, coming. One, the, two. The most underrated part of their game, you know, everyone loves the Anna Lee Waters show and the pace that Lee Waters has, but their defense is so good. Point. The resets. You know, we've seen Lee Time Waters out, receiver. literally Seven, staple one, to two. the baseline, and she's just patient to be able to get it back. And now we've emptied all the timeouts over there. Parento and Jansen are trying to find any answer that they can, and the Waters look incredibly comfortable considering they've won 18 of the last 19 points. Oh, they're completely dialed in. Lee Waters and Lee Waters both, not just with their offensive opportunities that they're executing, but really just making the most and capitalizing. It's all their defensive efforts that really give them yeah. the setup shots to finish, the, to finish all these points. And again, this is... You try not to look ahead, but we're allowed to. We're sitting here with the mics. The Waters got beat by Bright and Irvin in Cincinnati. Wouldn't they like revenge? So we could have revenge served on multiple platters tomorrow on Championship Sunday if they're able to finish it. Again, stranger things have happened. You have two talented players on the other side, but uh, this is a significant run that Time they're in. on right here. Seven, on one, court. two. Point. And another missed shot there from Catherine Parento. And then you just like you feel like you're trying you're trying to hit an eight, eight one, point two. home run, which of course does not exist. Oh, as the right as out. a great exchange is done there and one by Leia Jansen, the sense of urgency you can start to sense it, but on the other side with the waters. A more one, sense of eight, calm and able to just swing and reset away, no problem, and more comfort. Second serve. And yeah, now the third percentage is not where, I mean, it's got to be 100% for the rest of the match, 100. One, eight, two.
Yeah, and that's in the wheelhouse of Anna Lee Waters. You'll see it right here. Big drive from Leah Jensen. Right bigger forehand volley from Anna Lee Waters. Just Eight, cannot one, be one. a drive of that height when she's just standing there waiting for it. And Point. there's Lee Waters trusting the drive and setup of Anna Lee and finishing it off. Nine, one, one. That might be the number they need to call on the other side. <laughs> Second serve. Nine, one, two. Wow, Lee Waters point. with a great stab in the middle and match point. Match point. Ten, one, two. Close to that, but not after an amazing point and an amazing run once again. The Waters 11 5, 11 1. Yeah, they Unbelievable. Win, they win 22 of the last 23 points against a high quality team. They're going to be tough to deal with tomorrow, and guess what? Annalie Waters has another triple crown possibility in front of her. That's right. Unbelievable play. We'll be back. Stuck in a hurricane Cause everything around you Just keeps on turning I can see you searching For a escape The fire in your heart It just keeps on burning Keeps on It just keeps on One last time, Mama Waters, Baby Waters are headed to Championship Sunday. Congratulations, ladies. That was quite the clean victory out there. Were you just feeling good? What was coming together on court for you? Yeah, we were feeling pretty good. We had a pretty long break after our quarterfinal match, so we went back to the Airbnb, relaxed, and I think we had a good amount of time to come up with a game plan, get back out here, feel fresh, and I think that's what we did, and we had a lot of fun. Well, Lee, I know you've heard people say it. Everyone's saying, how long can mom keep this level of play up? What is your answer to that? Last weekend, I would have said I don't ever want to play again because uh, <laughs> the level wasn't there. So I really focused this week on trying to like really up my game and get back focused and be there for Anna Lee because really, as long as I'm playing well, I want to play with her. But uh, as soon as the level drops, that's when it's time for her to find, find a new partner. You won't be taking off anytime soon with the way that you're playing, Lee. <laughs> 
Annalie, you're vying for the Triple Crown tomorrow on Sunday. You're going to play in three finals, which is a lot of matches, and they are best of five, not three. How long is this sustainable? How long can we keep this up? Yeah, I don't know. Not long for me personally, I hope. Um, it's definitely tough to play three finals. You almost have to pick like what's your most important event and maybe play that first just because you know the last event you're going to be the most tired for. And you could potentially be playing 15 games in one day. So I have to eat a lot of food, you know, rest up, but maybe like a championship weekend and play some finals on Saturday and Sunday. But overall, I'm happy to be in three tomorrow. That's right. It's a good problem to have for Anna Lee Waters. Guys, congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow in three finals. Thank you. Over to you, Dave. Ball joining me for the semis. Johnny, any final thoughts before I put a bow on this? Uh, it's going to be a fantastic championship Sunday. We're going to have some rematches taking place, and, and oh, I wouldn't want to miss it. No, so tomorrow morning, folks, tennis, 8 a.m., watch it. Then we're going to switch over to pickleball. So 8 a.m. tennis, 10 a.m. pickleball. We're going to have championship Sunday, and as Anna Lee said those are best of five so those are grinded out it's going to be another beautiful day here in Peachtree for all the crew for our friend Hannah Johns getting all those great interviews for Johnny Pickleball I'm Dave Fleming thanks for watching the PPA Peachtree Classic powered by Invited